Breakers! Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit in holiday mode already. Yay! Yeah! Holiday! I did this to Willow <laughs> last night. I put her to put her to bed. I was like, night Willow, just think tomorrow. I, we can say we're going on holiday tomorrow. And I sang that song, holiday! And she's like, <laughs> you're so uncool, mummy. <laughs> So, I think you'll find I'm very cool. I am very, very cool. <laughs> so cool. I quite like embarrassing her though. Isn't that one of the joys? Look who's with me. Speaking of joys, we've got the lovely Debs. I thought you were say, I thought you'd say, speaking of embarrassing mums, here's Debs. Yeah, but we'd embrace that, wouldn't we? Oh, I love it. Yeah, you got. I think it's part and parcel. If you become a parent, you have to be able to embarrass your children. Yeah. Like, and even Willow does an impression of my dancing as well. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> I, what, doesn't everyone dance like that? Yeah, like I said, you become a mother and you, all of a sudden you get shoulder action. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? It's true. Something <laughs> must trigger during the birth. Shoulder action appears. Come on. See what I mean? She's got good shoulder action, isn't she? Mine's just the up and down one. Deb's has got the. You just, you need to just <laughs> shimmy it back a bit. Okay. Yeah, well, you remember Deb's is also a dancer. Well, in a land far, far away. <laughs> <laughs> I have never been a dancer, so my moves are limited to just up and down. I used to teach salsa. Very, Did you? Very quick story. And then one day at the place where I used to work, we had like a Christmas party. And so then something came on like Ricky Martin or something. And I was in the middle just doing a bit of salsa. And I looked behind me and there was like 10 people copying me. And I was like, no, this isn't a class. This is a social Like dirty event. dancing down the <laughs> corridor. That's it, Deb's literally walking through like Patrick Swayze. Oh God, I've got some stories, but for another time. Oh, what are you singing? Da -da, live in La Vida, vida Loca. <laughs> yes. You have to Love shimmy. a bit of Ricky Martin. Yeah. No. That's proper 90s, isn't it? It was very. Tell nice. me you know who Ricky Martin is. That's okay then. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> You've got to know who Ricky Martin is. Right then, jewellery makers. Yes, we've got a super Thursday. <gasps> Can I just say there's a real selection of. I don't want to say old school. Although there is an element of old school to the strands today. Mm. Because the first thing I noticed, I'm going to start with your deal of the day. The first thing I noticed when, um, or thought of rather, when I saw your deal of the day, and it's all your multi gems. Do you remember when we used to have your multiple barrel strands? Yes. Was my lovely next door neighbour, um, Marie. Now, Marie, I can remember when we were in Ivy House when she first got multi barrel strands. You'll remember this as yeah, well, vividly. Yeah. And she was literally running around the building, shoulding, uh, <laughs> shoulding, holding, holding her multiple barrel strands, showing everybody she was that excited. And they were a huge success with you guys at home, of course. Um, and we had them in different shapes. Didn't actually have that many rounds at the time. And I can tell you, they were much paler. They were lovely, but much paler than what you're about to see today this is, this is the strongest pastel i know that's a bit of a contradiction but the strongest pastel multi-barrel strand and it's not just barrel either uh, that we've ever done you've actually got amazonite in there too it's absolutely incredible take a little look at your deal of the day that's coming up at 10 o'clock we've got them in six mil and we've also got them in eight mil they're absolutely breathtaking and i think these are going to sell out in a heartbeat Look at those, Debs. I know, I said to you, didn't I? What's that? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look at that. I know, they're incredible, aren't they? So unusual with the colours. Yeah, beautiful. So those are at 10 o'clock today. Do you want to know what else is coming up in today's show? I'm loving your early bird today. Loving, loving your early bird. You've got your starfish bead caps. And um, they're absolutely beautiful. So they'll literally have a little starfish sat on top of your pearl. I love those. I need them. I need them too. And we've got them in the gold and in the silver. How beautiful are they? Thank and you, Lauren. Lovely. Especially if you're doing like a sea themed bangle yes. or something, making a little charm and maybe you've got a little shell charm that you want to put with it. Really well, I lovely. was thinking, I know your piece is in your masterclass is inspired by um, our late queen's beautiful necklace yes um but you could put them on some of the pearls that are coming oh. up at 12 o'clock as well Do you know? so shop ahead on the starfish we have let me just remind myself um oh 
150 of the silver and I've got 100 of the gold, which I don't think is going to be enough. They are um, so unusual. They're lovely, aren't they? Mm. So those are in your 8 o'clock hour, lovely jewellery makers. So do make sure um, you shop ahead on those. Then at 9 o'clock, this is exciting, Debs. We've got water casting. What's water casting? Well, water casting is where you pour the molten metal into water instead of sand. So you just get random shapes. So because it's a 9 a.m., I'm not actually demoing the actual water casting part of all the tools because we don't have time. But if you want to see the actual water casting, I demoed that on the 29th of August. Right. But we've got two really amazing shop 29th plates of August? Of July. Right. <laughs> I was like, if it's that date, I shouldn't be here. I'm going forward <laughs> in time. <laughs> 29th of, of July. July, sorry. Right. Um, and then you just pour the molten metal into the water and then what you get are like these really organic shapes and then you can put them into the shop plate. Oh, amazing. And make jewellery, which is the jewellery that, um, that, that we're I've looking got on the at. desk. Yeah. Amazing. And we've got two shop we've plates today. We've got two today. today, yeah. So we've got one that will go perfectly with your early bird and we also have, ah, oh, so you've got like the sea. Land and sea. Yeah, it's really perfect, aren't they? And if they're going to go to what I think they're going to go to, I was so blown away by the price last time. Yeah, unbelievable. Incredible. Um, we also, jewellery makers, have your deed of the day, which we've just spoken about, haven't we? Your lovely uh, multi-gem strands, which includes kunzite. Oh, just casually, kunzite, one of the very expensive gemstone in the finest grade. Aquamarine, um, goshenite, you've got uh, amazonite in there, green beryl in there, it's yellow beryl in there. It's absolutely amazing. I thought it was kunzite. Yeah. You can't mistake it, can it's you? It's gorgeous. Um, then at 11 o'clock, lovely jewellery makers, another amazing launch. Now, sorry, just interrupting myself. <laughs> also, at 10 o'clock, we are going to do a surprise pearl selection. The biggest pearl selection that we have had in at least two years Ooh. so we are in our element right today Debs yeah. um, can I say why Russ so Russ messaged me last night and he said Elle it's your last day for the next couple of weeks so I've put your favourite gemstone into the show our audience will love it because obviously it's one of our top number one and two favourite gemstones it's probably number one I would say I would at the say. moment is pearls so we are he said I've put together it was literally, was it last night? Yeah, last night. Um, he says we are talking more than 10 strands of pearls that we are going to bring to you. We haven't done a showcase of pearls to that scale in over two years. <gasps> and if you think about the situation of pearls, obviously, it's not possible to do that quantity. So you've got a pearl showcase. Um, pearls like this that we only launched the other day and they're absolutely incredible. Gorgeous. Oh my goodness me. Pearls like this. <gasps> Pink pearls. They're amazing, aren't they? I need to close my mouth. <laughs> pearls like this. <gasps> wow. And that's three. Pearls like this. Oh, oh my goodness. What about pearls? Oh, look at those colours. The pearls luster. like this. <gasps> the biggest pearl selection showcase that we have brought to air in years and pearls like this. They are like 24 karat gold luster, aren't they? Oh my goodness me. Ross, I'm... Uh, can I just say, thank you, Ross. Yeah, because that, 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 that gives me my pearl fix for the next couple of weeks. Yes. Um, so that's at 10 o'clock. We've never done a showcase. A month's worth of pearls in one show, basically, today. Oh, so it's going to be incredible. Um, then at 11 o'clock, you are reading this right. We have, from a very small parcel that has been discovered... We know the rarity of Sakura agate, often referred to as cherry blossom agate. It has been discovered in these beautiful natural greens. And I'm going to say it, it's my favourite. Yeah, it's my favourite. I prefer the green. 
but it is it's always the way isn't it you always prefer something that's even rarer um and it is i can confirm totally and utterly natural i mean can you imagine that in a knotted necklace how beautiful that would be so unusual the colors it's yeah. just nature in a strand yeah it is it's absolutely stunning and then at 12 o'clock, Debs, mm -hmm. yeah, are, are we saving the best till last? I agree, because I was admiring your recording about this. Um, we take inspiration from um, lots of avenues, don't we? Yeah. Of course, you can go to the catwalk, you can go to the Hollywood elite, you could go to the royals. And this is very much regally inspired, isn't it? Yeah, this is inspired wow. by our late Queen's necklace. And they even ha commissioned a clasp that is almost the same as a replica of the one the queen used to wear and if you google the picture of the queen you'll see her almost all of the time in her three strand necklace yes yeah. um, it was her go-to her favorite um i couldn't believe the quality of them <coughs> and they're huge and i thought that you know maybe if we had a project it might be with shell pearls or something yeah. you know because they are amazing pearls. Yeah. Incredible quality pearls. And you know, that, that bottom strand, the, the largest, because obviously they graduate, is massive. It's really big. Absolutely massive. So, um, and we have quantity of those, I believe. Do Let me we? just double check. There's 70. Oh. 70 available. They're absolutely unbelievable. So, it is going to be a wonderful show. You've got a real mixture of gemstones. Um, don't forget that the biggest showcase of pearls that we've done in two years. Very excited about that. Don't forget your early bird as well. Uh, don't forget the water casting. And we've got, don't forget the launch, uh, um, your green Sakura. And don't forget your first three auctions. Here is your hint, jewelry makers. First three auctions. <laughs> I was winking at our customers. <laughs> first, first three auctions. It's okay. I don't need a first aid or I just can't wink. <laughs> I've given you a big hint now. The auction is about to open. Get ready. Get ready. On your marks. Get set. Go. Go. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. You know what's happening, don't you? <coughs> There's your hint. <coughs> Debs, you know what's happening, don't you? I do. <coughs> <coughs> Everyone's just uh, clearing their throat. Because, you know, it is that time. We'll do it all together, shall we? Okay. Ready? One, two, three. And. And. <coughs> Next up, next up, multiple, <laughs> multiple Mike reads, multi barrel, <laughs> multi barrel. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, this will go lovely with your deal of the day. Beautifully with your deal of the day. Ready? <clears throat> I mean, quite clearly, this should not be. It's not available right now. You can't get this. You can get everything else in the anti-clock hour, but you can't get these deals. Once the graphic is live, then it's available. Auction is open. Pe <laughs> Pe <laughs> Pe Pe it's a pound, pet. It's a pound. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, actually, halfway through the show yesterday, I was like, oh, I've got a bit of sore throat. It's probably because I keep going, bah, bah. Sound like an old goat. <laughs> <sighs> well done. Sold out. Oh, this next one's a goodie. It's not available, it's not available, it's not available. Three. <laughs> Two. I'm with you, Ross. I'm waiting for your cue. <laughs> One! <laughs> <laughs> he said... <laughs> Adam's like, hang on a minute, you're doing the countdown. It's like saying to the runners, I won't fire the pistol until you start running. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> On no, your mark, yeah. get set <laughs> when you're ready. 
<laughs> we always go, not yet, not yet, not, not yet, yet, not no. yet, not yet. <laughs> do you remember on your sports day, you used to do that, didn't we? You'd be like, false start, everyone back, yeah. and you've already finished, like, because kids used to just go, didn't they? I'm like, they've already done it. I'm going to run it again now. <laughs> it's a pound, one pound. Well done, everybody. See, um, doesn't Carol have a pound slogan, doesn't she? What she used to go? I don't she, I know she doesn't do the Frank Butcher, but she does definitely does some pound thing, doesn't she? Just one pound deals, just. <laughs> right then, what next, Roscoe? A big quantity mega deal. Yeah, that sounds good, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. I tell you what, everything goes so beautifully together today. Literally everything, the whole show. Um, you know, clear quartz, it's gonna get, that's going to match everything, isn't it? Eight millimetre rounds. We don't see those every single day, do we? I've got 100 available. Want to see how many of you are watching on this very windy, very windy Thursday morning. Very windy. <laughs> um, it feels like the, the autumn autumn's set in. Yeah, there were a load of kind of branches down on the motorway and yeah. that. So it made, I thought, wow, I didn't hear it. I was fast asleep. Our next door neighbour's fence kept waking me up last night because they've got a creaky fence. Like, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's annoying. Kept waking me up, yeah. But I can't be that person that goes around and say, says, oh, your fence is creaking. Because that's like... <laughs> I can't be that person. I'm just going to have to put up with it, aren't I? I'm proud of you. I couldn't be that no, person. No, no, no. Because that's like, can you fix your fence, isn't it? Mm. Basically. Mm. Um, <laughs> I'll just prop it up with something. Um, anyway, back to the beautiful clear courts. Eight millimetre rounds, 38 centimetres round. We don't see this size very often in your clear courts. And these, are, again, you can see that lovely clarity. It's going to work beautifully with all your pearls. It's going to work amazingly with your multi gems. It's going to work stunningly with your green Sakura. Um, with your deal of the day, imagine having a little starfish perch on this. Oh, that would be gorgeous. Oh. I love the size, I love the gemstone. I love everything about love it. love everything about it. But what's not to love about clay quartz? Um, and also, if you're into the metaphysical side of your gemstones, then you're definitely going to love it. Yeah. We've got a big quantity. We're at £14.99. pence. we have half that price. How about, who wants this? Under £10 this morning. Mm. I know, they're big too. They're not small. We're not talking about sort of your six or four mil here. We're talking about eight millimetres. But we've got a mega auction quantity, remember? Under ten pounds, maker in Fife, Joe, Paula, Jocelyn, Northampton, Lavinia, Susan, Lorraine, and Florence. You're all there, nice and early. Well done. We're not stopping there though, just so you know. Thirty second clock, and we're going to go even lower. You want to see how quick one hundred sells out on our screens? It's going to be super fast, especially clear quartz, because we always say it. It's our diamond alternative, isn't it? Yes, yes, it certainly is. And I love the fact that whatever colour cord you put through the middle yeah. comes through. So yeah. that's another look that you can use with these. Yeah. I love the idea of the starfish bead caps, charms, earrings, see if I can perch one. one on a bangle, just gorgeous. Here you go. Look. Oh, it looks gorgeous. Oh, that is, isn't that lovely? Look at the difference that makes just one bead cap. He literally looks like he's resting on top does. of it, doesn't he? It's lovely. It's, it's like he's perfect. resting on a bubble. Yes. Oh, sorry, little starfish. It's perfect. I'll do it with silver. Yes. It's perfect for an eight mil round, this. Ah, come on. Sit there. I think I read somewhere there's about 250 different species of starfish in it. Look, 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 it's perfect. Yes, you could do a lovely uh, marine inspired piece of jewellery. Hang on a second. Not nearly enough people getting involved on this. I've just looked up at the call screen. Right. Very Silly. Good. This is, for me, this is a, at Jewellery Maker, this is a 14 99 pound strand. At Jewellery Maker, outside of these four walls, I think you're going to struggle, aren't you, Debs, to get clear quartz of this quality? Yeah, and it's, I think I was saying we did quartz the other day that I feel I used to use it so much in commissions because yeah. it's a neutral gemstone. Yeah. So if somebody asks you for a pendant or something and they don't necessarily want a chain, mm. then this neutral gemstone, it's also like the master healer. And yeah. it will, if you're into that, it amplifies everything that you put near it. So if you put amethyst with it, it'll amplify the properties of the amethyst, you know, whatever. Um, so I love to use this gemstone and I haven't got enough in my Stash. And people know it, don't they? They as know a it. Rare gemstone. No way near enough people for oh. eight millimeter pristine eye clean clear quartz 
You forced Ross's hand. He says, the only thing I can do, we want to see how many of you are watching on this very windy, windy Thursday. Let's put another 30 second clock on your screens. We've got 70 left and we will take it even lower. So if you were one of the first collectors to secure those, um, then um, sit back and enjoy, it's going even lower. The starfish, FYI, are going Ma rapidly on pre-order I'm not surprised they're absolutely gorgeous they might be one of my favourite early birds that we've done actually I love those because they literally look like they're just resting on a little gemstone they are beautiful um, we're going even lower we've got a hundred available opportunities now is the time to stock up your sashes um, especially when we don't see clear courts every single day unfortunately we wish we could there you all are well done and welcome jewelry makers linda kathy pauline denise paul has got two jacqueline well done to you six pounds 99 not nuggets not four mil not rondelles we're talking eight mil rounds which are still the most popular size or up there with the most popular sizes for, for sure um and clear quartz is a huge gemstone on our screens really popular because it goes with absolutely everything and like you said if you do commissions it's very well well known and recognised by um, your potential customers. Well done, everybody. Six ninety nine, Ross. It's not a short strand either. It's not a twenty centimetre strand. You know, it's a full thirty eight. You think about the multi gems that we've got coming up. If you want to add that little bit of uh, clarity and sparkle, it's going to go beautifully. If Definitely. you're going to put it with some aquamarine, if you're going to put it with pearls, beautiful with pearls, beautiful in a mala. Yeah. Um, if you're doing a, a mala or a long line necklace to add I like to add sort of different gems in together of around the same color palette so if I'm doing pearls I like to have maybe a clear one in there and you know especially with oh can you imagine that with one of the little starfish oh. either side of them oh that'd be beautiful I want to do that stunning <laughs> absolutely stunning do shop ahead on those starfish because they are very popular love it my new favorite bead cap uh, Pfeiffer's got two, Michael's got two, Lynn's got two, Paula's got two, you get the general gist. Lucy, Catherine, Pamela, London, Raphael, hello to you, Susan, Jocelyn, Northamptonshire, well done. Um, by the way, worth mentioning, this hour, we have the last remaining quantity of the sterling silver hammer sliders. Yes, these. Um, so, to make your own slider. So, we had 200 of these. Um, if from memory, I think you get eight in total. Is that right? Two of each size. Um, yeah, two of each size. Um, and they're slight, yeah, so some are larger, some are smaller. And they've got the silica in the centre, so you can use them to create your own sterling silver if you're buying mm -hmm. silver by the chain, sliders, or the cords. They're coming up this hour. Here they are. I've got less than 40 out of the 200 that we launched last week. Um, they're in item number three, so I would encourage shopping ahead. Um, also worth mentioning, the starfish bead caps are flying. Um, Ross is saying in my ear, I'm actually shocked at just how fast they're actually selling. I'm not. I'm not no, I'm not, Ross. I think they're, they are my favorite early bird, I think. Yeah, we love a bead cap and this is an unusual bead cap and as jewelry makers we love an unusual finding so it kind of ticks all the boxes really well, there's, there's there's your collection straight away yeah. isn't it you know you can just literally say you, you could call it the starfish oh, i love it on there Elle. look oh that goes beautifully look absolutely you could go gold silver gold silver yes Oh, I love Isn't that. It, it's lovely. And by oh. the way, that's aquamarine that's coming up in this hour as well. Look how beautifully that goes together. This Natural. show is incredible. Yeah, it's a stunning show. <gasps> Tell you what. Tell you what. Pulled out all the stops you have, Roscoe, for today's what show. What a lovely show, Ross. <laughs> yeah, he does put a nice gemmy show together, does our Ross. It's gemmy. It is. It's gemmy. You can tell Ross is a gem fan by his show. Yeah, you can really tell. Because you are a gem person, aren't you? He's all gems. They all go together as well, like yeah. you said. It looks like... Every uh, hour. Yeah. Perfectly works together. No, that's not true. Ross has just said, sometimes I don't think you appreciate how much effort I put into the show. I definitely do. <laughs> he says it's... It's like almost as if you planned it. Well, he goes, yeah, that's my job. It's beautiful Ross, planning. You, I know, I know how much effort you put into it. You're a very uh, conscientious 
very conscientious and you can tell that you love top quality gemstones because you see them in your show so i don't that doesn't go unnoticed i promise you i promise you of that um right should we do some more goodies enough of that enough of singing his praises <laughs> um let's move on to something a little bit different dragons a little dragon head carved Ooh. gemstone look at him he's very cute rawr <laughs> rawr funny enough we had the hobbit on last night he's a nasty dragon that one i like toothless I like Toothless. He looks like Brutus. <laughs> my dog. That's my dog, by the way. My dog looks like Toothless the dragon. <laughs> my cat looks like Toothless. <laughs> my, my black cat is a Manx cat. It looks like him. It's so Does cute. Does he do that? Yeah. 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 I sing this all the time to Brutus. Sometimes my lips get stuck on my teeth because he's always like this. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a shit sandwich. <laughs> he does that as well. He looks at you like that. Oh, hello. So cute. Um, right then. Carved, beautiful, genuine gemstone. It was just, and it is drilled as well. Oh, I love that. It is drilled, so you can actually wear it. Can you see? He's literally going, ooh. Um, so you can literally incorporate that into your knotted jewellery. You might do one of your amazing weaves with your seed beading and, to, and create a whole I dragon. Think, yeah, that would be amazing. So many people into dragons and like the fantasy jewellery yeah. and the. Um, so this would be great. Also, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, that whole vibe. Yeah. Um, I just blows my mind how they do it with a little gemstone and make him into a dragon. It's just amazing. I know. Yeah, there's loads of things with dragons out now. You've said yeah, there that. Are, yeah. House of Dragon. Like I said, it was at the beginning of The Hobbit. I was watching The Hobbit yesterday. Uh, toothless. Oh, it's a lot of games that people play that have dragons in. Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, those sorts of things. Ah, uh, you can show my age now. What was the people little... still play that. Yeah. Yeah, aren't they like events, Dungeons yeah. and Dragons? Um, now, this is a carved, beautiful, genuine gemstone, quite clearly amethyst. The lovely detailing of it as well. I've got 14 available. I'm imagining like a really nice seed beaded dragon body. That would be I think that'd be amazing. Yeah. So you can, because, oh, like an Ouroboros, couldn't you, where the dragon, well, it's a serpent, but, you know, literally is that circular, circle of life meaning behind it. You could do all of those things. Um, oh, the inspiration is brewing. £99.99 pence only for a 10 carat beautiful carved amethyst. Um, it is drilled again, so you can literally use it as you would do any other of your um, round gemstones too. What about Are you a wire work dragon? Oh, yes, like Viking it or something like that. Yeah. Look at him. We're going to so do it in one price crash, Debs. Can you see he's going, hmm. I love him and I love that he's amethyst because we don't see enough amethyst. No, that's true. One price <gasps> crash. All that detailing in a solid gemstone of 10 carats. That's so good, isn't it? So good. And even if that was like £40, I think that was a great price. Agree, because it just blows my mind how they do it. It's carved by hand. All that detailing, even down to the sort of, I don't know what to call it, like the eyebrows. crest. Eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, the eyebrows yeah. and the sort of bump in yeah. the centre of it. Yeah, he's, he's... He's quite cute, though. He's I think he's a bit on his head. He's a, he's a friendly one. On his brow? His brow, Yeah, but it's it. like a spiky brow, a isn't mono it? mono spiky brow. Yeah. Look at it. He is quite cute. I agree. Um, we had 14 jewellery makers, so make sure you are checking out your baskets, everyone. Um, 0800 655 is the free phone telephone number to call to get hold of this. Um, you could also use maybe some of your beautiful round gemstones that we're <coughs> bringing you today. Um, how about, I don't know if this is possible, you could maybe kiss cross from him. Maybe. Yeah, you could, yeah, because you could just add him on the end. Oh, you could add him as the clasp and then just a loop that goes over his head to fasten to loop it on yeah that's a good idea that's a great idea make sure you're checking out hello samantha hello to you deborah hello to you pauline hello to you denise who's your favorite dragon is it puff <laughs> puff the magic dra dragon puff. Favorite dra it's got to be toothless sea. isn't it you like who who's smoke from the hobbit oh is that him but he's a bad dragon yeah it's got a nice voice um, uh, toothless. There is another dragon, by the way, in number in, on our website in item number eighteen. That's in Amazonite. If you, I was, I was just saying, there's another dragon called Amazonite. I was like, is there? <laughs> um, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> right, let's do what? Sorry. Look at the starfish oh, that are coming up. Yeah, they're absolutely gorgeous. 
Um, so you get four of them as well. They're bead caps, so if I hold one of them up, you can see you've got the drill hole there in the centre. So literally, just bead it as you would normally, oh, and it looks him. like it's literally perched on your on your gemstone. Um, absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Equally, you could use them at the top, maybe of a pendant if you wanted. And we've got a starfish in the shop plate at nine. So if you're making your sea things, jewelry, you can yeah. make a starfish charm and then have a starfish on top of your pearl that went on whatever you're using say a bracelet or Debs what were you finding on the sea on the seashores the other day sea glass it'd be lovely with sea glass it'd be amazing with sea glass wouldn't it so you can have definitely really sort of tap into that sea theme um I tell you what let's let's whet your appetite for the pearl selection that we've got coming up today at 10 o'clock which we're going to be an absolute element with um natural oh these are insane oh these are okay there are only six so it is limited if you are shopping for the finest quality pearls and if you are of the same mindset that i am i'm making hay while the sun shines because these opportunities will go thank goodness at the moment jewelry maker has got pearls but that quantity is dwindling rapidly rapidly i've got six if you are shopping for the finest heirloom quality pearls the ones that you could literally see in the places like yoko of london harrods hatton garden for the thousands of pounds and i am not exaggerating jewelry makers at all then this next opportunity is for you natural metallic purple pearls Um, a cut, oh, last week, I did a presentation where we were talking about the rarity of metallic pearls. Because I didn't realize that I'd actually been given you previously, I'd always said that from a harvest of 10,000 pearls, less than 10 are metallic. Mm. It's way less than that. From thousands upon thousands upon thousands of pearls, the statistic of finding a natural metallic pearl is naught point not one percent so they are literally lottery wins i was going to say how do they get a whole strand yeah it takes years to and i've and i'm so glad now i know because we're lucky enough to bring you metallic pearls here yeah. at jewelry maker i just didn't realize that that characteristic was as rare as it is i knew it was rare but mm. i didn't realize that rare naught point naught one percent that's so rare yeah and as you said, to make a strand must take years. Years. Because a harvest takes years. Literally takes years. These are nothing short of breathtaking. I have six available in the vault. They are natural baroque. The colours are natural. These are not dyed. Freshwater ripple pearls and they're a 10 millimeter size they come jewelry makers beautifully presented as you would expect with luxury pearls obviously in the finest of our jewelry boxes so you've got this lovely kind of natural per uh, sorry purple velvet box that literally opens like a book it's the whole presentation and there are those amazing metallic pearls. So um, yeah, last week we did, uh, um, I did a presentation and I'm always in my absolute element when we're talking about pearls. I've, it is my favorite gemstone, Me too. Um, without shadow of a doubt. And we were discussing the fact that, you know, you've got your virtues, obviously, I narrow it down to five. There are actually more, because you can obviously talk about overtones, undertones, and things like that. So size, tick, 10 millimeter. Shape, baroque, one of the hottest si uh, shapes at the moment. Color, are they dyed or are they natural? No, these are totally and utterly natural. Then we start talking about the nacre and the luster, which leads us into your metallic. If you've got an abundance of nacre, you should have, I don't wanna say will, but you should have high luster. H luster is basically how mirror-like your pearls are, but you wouldn't have metallic, they wouldn't be metallic if they didn't have the high luster. But again, 
we've got to match each and every single one of those rare traits as well. So you've got to match that natural coloring. You've got to match the size. You've got to match the, um, the colors. You've got to match the um, shape. You've got to match the luster and the nacre. And most importantly, you have to invest enough time to be able to put together a full 38 centimeter strand. You know, that's, that's well, 38, 38 natural metallic pearls. When it's 0.01% likely of discovering one of these out of any given harvest, which is thousands of pearls. They should be priceless when you put it yes. like that. Well, they are really. I mean, forget money because we're in our bubble, but they, they're priceless. Jet, they're treasure. They really, really are. Aren't they? So, do you know when we show you these prices like from Yoko of London and, yeah. and Asile and all those high... That's what they're it not be. wrong. Yeah. These prices... You know the tens of thousands of pounds worth oh, of they're not wrong it takes years to acquire enough pearls that's actually i bet that price has gone up i bet it's not 2300 now 5700 i bet that price has gone up and these are round pearls but whether it's baroque whether it's button whether it's round whether it's fireball whichever it is that's all down to um your personal preference but i'm showing you the prices of pearls they are not wrong it's us that are in the best possible way ross in stratford upon avon took a photograph of some pearl studs quite simple beautiful no it's not a huge amount of sterling silver for two purple pearls 535 pounds mm. i have six available and in 30 seconds we're going to make these possible um hello to you Anne in county antrim i have these and wow they are stunning well done Anne. they are absolutely amazing aren't they um i'd be curious to know what you're going to do are you going to keep them um all as one necklace is it um an heirloom piece that you're going to pass on to future generations are you going to knot it with silk um just so you know because anybody that's getting pearls like today's pearls we are bringing you gold it's in Yay. it's on the horizon <clears throat> i've had the confirmation from the buying team so um they are on the horizon so that's what i would do personally it's up to you if you want to keep it with your silver just because of the quality of the pearls the auction is open and i have to say that's already far too low anywhere else you know, we've had messages from customers who said they bought strands from a jewelry maker they've walked them into a jeweler with no intention of selling them but the jeweler has actually offered to buy them for two and a half thousand pounds that's too low to be honest the actual price um but it puts it into perspective it they are the pearls that you were buying now we are going to take this lower but on the first price Oh, okay, Ross is just saying from this first price crash, you would think that he'd gone straight down in one crash, but he won't be. This, one price crash, final price, here it is. That's what we should be saying. That's amazing. It's not what we're saying, That's though. That's an amazing yeah, deal. It is. Are you ready? Because I only have six. You've got another price crash. Judith, Maker, Maker, Amanda. 299 incredibly is not where we're closing i'll say it again make hay while the sun shines because we'll look back on auctions like this and go goodness me no way ross what oh my goodness i'm literally thinking like buy them not them gold class sell them if you want if you want to be if you know if you want to make a bit of money you could do that i personally can't part with them yet so and, and right now, pearls are at the most expensive that they have ever been. What on earth, Ross? That's amazing. Don't sell them at three figures, though. Please. I can't believe you're going lower than 299, frankly, but okay. Natural metallic. And just remember this number. 0.01% and that's each pearl at 149 pounds hello Samantha morning lovely ladies I have this strand it's absolutely stunning good luck it's beautiful well done Samantha it's absolutely beautiful morning Sam amazing absolutely amazing 149 I'm genuinely gobsmacked by that price tag that price tag is just 
I don't know, it's your pretty woman moment. You know, you yeah. open that box. You'd pay that for the box in some know, places, wouldn't you? Our boxes are gorgeous. I mean, yeah, stunning. We do pearls. We, you know, we are like, hold my beer. You know, look at our pearls. They are incredible jewelry yeah, maker 100%. pearls. Yeah, 100%. I've always said it. I've believed that from the beginning, and I believe even more now. Um, we can do pearls. Oh, th we've, we've literally had some some of the luxury jewellers that we mentioned reach out to us oh yeah i'm not surprised to buy pearls Just from us directly our pearls are beautiful so please know that your pearls are sourced from exactly the same places that theirs are yeah it's the, just the difference of the price point that we retail and that yeah. You know, you are getting that same fine quality. Um, it's just the, the price is different, which is amazing because we are bringing you, this is a prime indication of what Jewelry Maker does best. We bring you the best quality at the lowest price. Absolutely. No else in the world would give you, well, even, even at the gem fairs, oh, if no. you went to Hong Kong, you ain't buying natural metallic pearls for 149 pounds there. You know, it's just not possible. You know, so make hay while the sun shines. That's why I keep saying that. Rupal, Margaret, Wendy, Pauline, make. I've got, oh, hang on. I've got two left. But, and can I just say, there's 36 of you with this in your basket. If I was not going on holiday tomorrow, I would 100% be joining you because that's one of the maddest prices. Joan, Maurice, Elaine, Maker, Nottinghamshire, Christine, Christine, two Christines, Rupal, Maurice, Margaret, Sharon, Judith, uh, Amanda, Maker, and Caroline. I've got one left. Well, that, that's beyond silly. Should we do another silly deal? Yes. Getting you ready for the selection of amazing pearls that are coming up. Um, okay. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I was, I'm so glad you said these because, you know, I was saying I was making jewellery a couple of nights ago and I made a uh, pearl and ruby sa uh, tassel. <gasps> mm. Mm. Are you taking a holiday? I haven't finished it. Oh. It took me far longer than I was expecting it to. Yeah, it does, though, but you've got kids and yeah tom not being well and yeah you've got a lot on your plate a already. lot on my plate at the moment i'd have yes. made it for you oh bless you you've got a lot on your plate as well, well. um but it's okay i'll wait i'll it'll probably be made for christmas <laughs> yeah. how about some beautiful potato pearls and the reason why i say that is because these are they're so easy to incorporate into your jewelry aren't they i love the size i love everything about this strand and do you know what putting them on there with the aquamarine oh Wait a minute. I think those together, like everything on the desk goes together, more than I've seen for a while. It's almost like someone has done a window display. Yeah. You know, and they've color coordinated it. You can put a few, what do you think? Now, this opportunity, we have 20. They all go so beautifully together, don't they? Yeah. We're gonna do it in one price crash, and then we're gonna give you a minute, because it's that low. Those aquamarines are coming up, jewelry makers, so get ready for those. Um, you just use these a lot, don't you? Five to six mil, they're like, a, they're like one of the most e um, incorporating size, and yet we don't have them that often. You've got a minute. <gasps> On your marks, get set, go. Yeah, 19.99. And then we shall never speak about this again. <laughs> oh, Adam's like, yeah, I agree, Adam. Adam's like, we are unbeatable on pearls. We are. I we totally are. agree with that. I genuinely believe that. I genuinely believe that. Where else in the world will you get the quality, the quality of pills that we offer for 20 quid? It's ridiculous. These are just every day. You know, I use these so much. You just go on my guest designer page and look. Yes. At how many times I've used pills. You are like a pearly this. girl. I am. <laughs> You're a pearly girl. I totally am. Yeah. I am. And I love that. Like I said, uh, do you know, you, you, your favourite gemstone changes, doesn't it? Yeah. Pearls are my number one now. And mine. Yeah, love it. They asked us what our favourite gemstones were the other day, the designers. And they said you could have 10, and I put Pearl as my one. And then when I got to 10, I put all of them in capital letters. <laughs> Pearls, 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 pearls. I was like, pearls, pearls, all types of pearls. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there you go. There's, there's my 10. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Should we do the aquamarines? Can I keep these pearls with me? Because they just, I mean, pearls and yeah. aquamarine yeah. and the starfish, it's just got to happen, isn't it, in a lovely piece of jewellery. Um, aquamarine, we've always said this, it's the number six, isn't it, of the big five? And I almost then feel a little bit sorry for it because it's not quite in the big five, but it always was before tanzanite came along and like shoved it out of the way. I prefer aquamarine to tanzanite. Do you? Tanzanite's my birthday and I'd rather it was aquamarine. Would you? Yeah. 
Uh, well, if you're a March baby, then it is your birthstone. Mm. Um, but this was the gemstone <gasps> originally of engagement. Oh, I love um, it. It's a it's a beryl. Remember the beryl family. Um, and it's iron that actually offers these beautiful azure blues. Now, normally, most aquamarine has undergone some kind of treatment, um, heat treatment, mm -hmm. for example. This is totally natural. Is it? Totally natural, which is incredibly, incredibly rare. Um, we've got a message coming through from, hello, Kim. Um, have some beautiful pearls from Jewelry Maker. Can you please start selling those special pearl boxes you display some of your pearls in? <gasps> no way. Saturday's early bird. So what? This Saturday. This Saturday coming, your early bird. Is that with Carol then? Um, you've got the most amazing boxes. They've See got if we can show. There's a light in the box. <gasps> There's a light in the box. There's a light in the box. Oh my goodness, I need that. Oh, we've that. been seeing these, but I didn't notice the, the light. There you go, Kim. Um, they're absolutely amazing at eight o'clock. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So that's good. Are you working Saturday, are you? There you go. So make sure you tune in for that. Um, but also, can I just say, I'm with you. I want these. I love those boxes. I'd love that. I'd love it. Um, okay, yes, duly noted, Kim. I know, amazing pearls. They deserve to be presented, don't they? Let's start this early bird with your eight millimeters. Some of the best price aquamarine that we've ever seen. Yeah, I agree. I mean, look at that perfect color. Again, matching still applies. You've got to color match the gemstone and yep. the strand. Um, if you want to know, if you want to know uh, uh, or picture the best quality aquamarine, what are you looking for? Just look up on a gorgeous summer's day it's that azure blue that's what you're looking for in this amazing gemstone and yes if you are a march baby then you're blessed with certainly one of the most romantic uh, previously the gemstone of engagement now how many do we have roscoe 30 okay that's not as many as i'd hope these these starfish are just crying out to be with this it's like i've made a nice little project right there right there would you be happy if i sent you this project oh i'd be very very happy and then i'd probably add some silk it's one of those, just let the gemstones speak because they are stunning. Oh, look how lovely. Just have your little starfish nestled in there as well. Another price crash that we're not paying. For natural, not heat treated, natural aquamarine. Not paying. Okay, there's 30 available. We don't see aquamarine as, um, as often as we'd like. We're already way too low. Um, if this was a showcase, I mean, I think 29.99 is more than reasonable, but we have a far more limited quantity. It will go beautifully with your deal of the day as well. Aquamarine and pearls, and we've got the finest pearl selection today, um, are just a marriage made in heaven. That just makes me want to reach over and make something. It, it just, it, you know, I think it will kickstart anybody's mojo, that yeah. one there. Yeah, and wearable as well. So wearable. Good luck, everybody. We're talking about the eight mils. I agree with what Ross just said. That is the most affordable <laughs> natural aquamarine we've ever brought to air. Have we ever done natural aquamarine of eight mil size at twenty four ninety nine before? Because you expected to pay a higher premium for the for the quality. It needs to be really considered, and also we don't see it very much. No, do we? Hardly ever. Am I allowed to jump on the soapbox for a second? Yeah, go on. Because I know that I know. Uh, look, we give you a broad selection of prices, don't we? Yeah, we do. A broad selection of prices. We wouldn't have brought, and Debs, we've been here for many years, that strand would not have been twenty four ninety nine five five years ago, six years ago. No way. So people say our prices are going up. It seems to be going the opposite way. Yes, we bring you more expensive strands as well. Yeah. But I think the selection has grown. So, but that would not have been twenty four ninety nine years ago. No way, because it was considered, you know, like Aquamarine, Aquamarine was like £50. Pounds. Maybe you had one strand that you'd bought, yeah. you know, and you were, you were saving. Yeah. Um, I, I don't even know if I've got, I think I've got one strand of Aquamarine in my yeah. stash and my stash is large. Yes, I bet it is. I've got a large, lots of gemstones going back years Deb and years and years. has a large stash. Very large stash. And yeah. only one, I think one in there drops. So I haven't even got any rounds. Yeah, and we used to, if we saw Aquamarine, it tended to be in rondelles. Let's do the six mil. I'm just saying, 24.99, we wouldn't have done those prices years ago. Highly unlikely. We're going to do this in one price crash, because <laughs> frankly, it's stupid. 
Yeah, it, yeah, it is Frank Butcher stupid. It's going that low. And everybody loves a six mil. How many have you got? 30. Lots okay. of you are shocked ahead on this one. I mean, that's just a beautiful project, isn't it? 20 quid, yeah. 20 quid, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Debs is like that. 20 quid. 20. I d For I aquamarine. Need that. Oh, guys. Natural. What a morning. 90 carats. I love today. I love the other day. The shows are getting better every time I'm on. I know. And we've only just started, Debs. What an amazing day. I know. It's <laughs> incredible. Super exciting. Um, the starfish are coming up. There's a sentence I never thought I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> they are coming up, jewelry makers. Do shop ahead because they are flying. Flying starfish. Uh, 1999 jewelry makers. They're going to sell out. Well done, everybody. And I'm going to keep this lovely selection here, I think. Um, but at the same time, you could use them with your deal of the day. You could use them with the amazing green Sakura. You could use them with your incredible pearls. You could use them with Deb's incredible projects. Um, it all works so beautifully hand in hand today. Your early bird are flying. Flying starfish. We've got them in the silver and in the yellow gold color. But just so you know, there's 100 and 150. It's not going to be enough. Up next. We're flying starfish. <laughs> We've run out of time to play the sliders. So we'll tiptoe them into the next oh, hour. Oh, good. Okay. Okay, right, cool. Yeah, they'll be in the next hour, so you will be able to get hold of these. Now, which one do you want to start with, Roscoe? Start with the gold. Ooh. I've got a hundred of them. In fact, half the stock's already gone. The detail on this starfish. Again, can you do a quick Google? I want to say there's about 250 different species of starfish. That's what I've got in my head. Who knew? You reckon there's more? You think there's more? We've definitely discussed this before. Um, they're amazing creatures, though, aren't they? I said 250. Am I well off? Oh. Is it 2,500? It's close. 1,900 really? different varieties of starfish. They're miraculous little things, aren't they? Like the colours and yeah. just... Nature's wonderful. What do they come under? Oh, are they like, you know, because like you've got obviously mammals and things like that. Yeah. They, like they what, do, what kind of... What, what kind of... So what would you call them? Um, an animal? Obviously... I don't really know. Yeah, but starfish, are they a fish? They must be a fish. But they're not a fish. They haven't got lips. <laughs> <laughs> don't get started on that again. <laughs> Look at these. I'm just going to tilt one forward. I love this early bird. It's my favourite early bird yet. I want to see the detail. He's beautifully detailed. He's got the most amazing texture. A scientific name for a starfish. Asteroidia. Is it? That's lovely. Ah. Oh. Asteroidia. Asteroidia. And where are they, like, have they got faces? You know, like a stingray, his little Underneath. face is on the bottom, isn't it? What about a Nemo, the one in Nemo when he's on the tank? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can he hear you? <laughs> yes! Ah, oh, I love this. Absolutely love this. They have flown out. So all that tells me their face is underneath. Yeah, that's what I think. Is there face underneath on a starfish? Well, they have. The Finding Nemo tells me he's got a little face underneath. Um, five pounds per starfish. <laughs> now, I know Finding Nemo is no David Attenborough, but I'm just saying. Five pound per starfish. And again, let me just perch one, shall I? Just imagine, in your jewelry, you've just got oh, one little love starfish. That so much. Look how lovely. Even down to how it like literally flows, it curves beautifully. Um, onto the actual gemstone. Oh, they're stunning. I, these are a guaranteed sellout for sure. Absolute guaranteed sellout. Even down to like the movement that you get within the starfish. Do you notice some of their, what, I don't even know if they call them tentacles. Do you call them tentacles? They walk with them, don't they? Like little suckers. Yeah. They've got little suckers. Have they got little suckers underneath? <laughs> We're at five, oh. 
Where's he gone? There he is. Even down to the fact that, that you've got... Because they're not symmetrical star, starfish, no, are they? No. So these aren't perfectly symmetrical to make them actually lifelike. We're going again, but they're absolutely flying. I think the sea is a big inspiration as well, a, a, a big source of inspiration absolutely. for. Absolutely. When I was away, there was so much sea theme jewelry, you know, just a bangle with maybe a piece of sea glass with a bead cap, and it's oh. like 120 pounds yeah. or 130 pounds, as it should be. Yeah. Um, but things that us makers, you know, it doesn't have to be intricate to be amazing jewelry. No. So this with a pearl, because you've got that sea thing, this with aquamarine, because of the colour, you know, it's just going to elevate your jewellery. Yeah, 100 you could put shells in there, something exactly. like pearl shell would be lovely too, be wouldn't beautiful. it? Beautiful, sandcast shells. Oh, loving it, literally. Little seed pearls, I think they'd be amazing with those two. 12 that's amazing, 12.99. Okay, that, I mean, that's um, way lower than I was expecting these to go. Seriously, that's incredible. How many did you get? Four. 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 What's a group of starfish? Are they solitary or do they hang out in groups? Don't, don't know. know. A genuine question, I don't know. I wasn't going to tell you the answer that I don't actually know. Ross, what's a group of starfish or are they solitary? I'm intrigued. Because some animals are solitary, aren't they? Yeah, they are, yeah. I'm just genuinely curious. We, we need to learn, you know, every day's a school day and all that. A galaxy? No way. No, that's perfect, of course. And do they hang out in groups? A galaxy. A galaxy. A galaxy of starfish. You could do you could call it your galaxy necklace, couldn't you? Oh, your galaxy collection. Oh. And it all be little starfish. And by the way, I do think mixing the colours would be absolutely beautiful. Um, hello to you, Kathy in Warwickshire saying starfish are classes invertebrates. Oh, um, really enjoying the show today. Ah, oh, thank you, Kathy. There oh, you go. Thank you, Kathy. Invertebrates. The galaxy collection. Yeah. Oh. oh, that is inspired. Wasn't she called Flo, the She's starfish, clever, by the way? Oh. Was she, was she called, no, no, Flo's the one on Nemo. Oh, the one on Nemo. <laughs> Can't hear you. <laughs> she had to peel a tentacle <laughs> off to speak, <laughs> didn't she? Love that. Oh, we had a hundred of these, Roscoe. They're not hanging around, are they? Absolutely flying out. Would you mix your little starfish? So would you put um, the gold with the silver? I think that would be lovely. So yeah, just I think work together, be don't they? Stunning, absolutely stunning. Let's introduce the silver, because obviously they are going to be... Yeah, mix them. Here we go. Oh, look. And I'll hold one of them up for you. I'm going to put these behind just because, you know, you can visualise them then. Pick up one of my little starfish. Sorry, little guy. Um, and there he is. Oh, look. Oh, they're lovely in the silver too. They're I can't gorgeous. choose my favourite, you I know. can't, actually. I mean, it's a crazy low price. Should we do this in one price crash, jewellery makers? Shall we? Just down to how perfectly curved each of those tentacles are. I hope they are cool tentacles. We're going to go straight down to the price tag. We've got 150 of these, or rather had. Well done to those of you that have shopped ahead. Enjoy your galaxy of starfish. There we go. We've learned something today. 9.99. Yeah. £2.50 per starfish. <gasps> it's amazing. We have a clock to close. <sighs> The hammered slider beads are coming up the other side of the break, jewellery makers. You get eight, basically, and they're all, uh, four different sizes. Uh, make sure you're shopping ahead. We've taken it out of this hour, so you can actually add it to the next hour, um, just because we're running out of time. Um, and they would go beautifully as well with uh, Deb's amazing shop puts. They'd be amazing. Not shop puts. The shop, shop plates. <laughs> you could throw it. <laughs> yeah, just for your scene, whole collection. Yeah. The Galaxy Collection. I the Galaxy it. Collection. That's made my day, that has. I know. It makes sense, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It does make sense. They go with the little sea turtles that you've got in your shop plates. They go oh, with the pearls that you've got coming so up at 12 o'clock. Little sea um, 20 seconds and we're closing this hour. Everything will disappear. Your starfish and everything else. The aquamarine, the pearls. Well done, everybody. It's going to be a super show. It really, really is. Make sure you check it out. We're loving that. Galaxy of starfish and beautiful shop plates and inspiration from Deb's coming up after this. <laughs> Morning all, Alison Terry here. 
just giving you a heads up of what's coming up on Saturday. We have got, oh, the most amazing jewels of splendor. They're gorgeous. We've managed to get some more of one of my favorite ever gemstones, Nilmani, um, and they're absolutely stunning. We've got some more of the panther um, clasp with the pearls. They are gorgeous. So they're coming up in the 9 a.m. And then in the 12 a.m., we've got a most magical, I love, I love malachite, it's special to me. So we've got malachite, um, we've got some black jadeite, and I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different with it. So join us on Saturday to find out a bit more. Bye. it's Ellie and I am back with you on Bank Holiday Monday the 26th of August. We have these amazing beautiful different coloured agates in the greens and the reds also in this really beautiful deep blues. I've had so much fun working with them they come with some amazing cords as well I can't wait to share those with you and uh, that will be at 12 o'clock and at the 9 a.m. hour we have got the Czech rondelles along with the beautiful micro faceted beads. I can't wait to see you guys soon. Bye. Debbie Kershaw, I am back with you on Thursday the 22nd of August and we've got an amazing show for you. In the 9am I'm bringing you two shop plates and water casting. So we'll have the tools for water casting and the shop plates, so that'll be really, really exciting. But in the 12, well, you know how much I love pearls. I have got a three strand pearl necklace which is a replica of our wonderful late Queen's necklace that she always used to wear. I think uh, Princess Catherine has it now um, but you can make one very similar and they've even made a replica of the clasp so how lovely is that and the pearls are just stunning. Dunning. So that's the 12 o'clock. I'm really excited for the show. I hope that you can join Elle, Ross, myself and the team at JM on Thursday the 22nd. See you then! <laughs> that's my pearl face in that VT. Did you see me? I looked all wistful all the way through. See, I... <laughs> <laughs> Deb. That's my pearl face. I was like, I, had these pearls. I just kept stroking them. I looked a bit demented. Sorry about that. <laughs> No, you look beautiful. You I was there beautiful. going, oh, and my that's God. a very inviting space. It's where full you of. Sat. I've got a crystal amethyst crystal cathedral in there, and I've got, um, yeah, I've got gemstones. I've got Buddhas. I've got wood. It's very what you'd think my front room would be like. It looks really inviting. There's a load of toys in there as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, well, that's because you've got family as well. Yeah, and I think that means it's a home. 
yeah, it's my it's my relaxing room. That one, you know, the one you keep tidy all the time in case anyone comes. No, oh. dogs aren't allowed. I don't anymore. have one of those theoretically. I'd, the only time my house is tidy is when the kids are in bed. That's the only time. But it does look like a bomb's gone off when, when Clemmie comes. You know, she's like, come on, Nana. I'm she, I mean, I am a bit. I said to Daisy the other day, I don't think Clemmie's got enough toys. And she looked at me and went, are you kidding, Mum? She's got a play kitchen, a ball pool, all in the front room. At one point, she had a slide in the front room. <laughs> Do you think she's spoiled? <laughs> yeah, but that's what they're for, aren't they? Oh, the first thing that my three-year-old did when you came round to my house was, do you want to come up and see my room? You got dragged upstairs, didn't you? And then you were trying to get her down, and I went, I've got something in my bag for you. <laughs> Straight, Straight down, down she was. Straight down. I do get asked all the time, when's Debs coming round again? Oh, they can tell me about the turtles when you get yes, back. Yes, yes. Now, jewellery makers, we've got the most amazing inspired um, demonstration and also shop plates, which... To somebody that's maybe new to jewellery making, you might look at these and go, what on earth do I do with those? Don't worry, Debs will guide I you. I will. But I know they are causing quite the frenzy amongst our jewellery maker audience. They're so cool because, you know, when you look at the real intricacies of these little um, motifs that you're getting, and I think the other shot plate was first bought by Nikki, who did some absolutely beautiful jewellery. She's such a good jewellery maker. And she's got little bees and things like that. And then mine was more sea themed. But you've got such a lot of intricacy in there that usually you'd only get from something like precious metal clay. But you can actually use your regular um, sterling silver mm. to make things like that. So obviously that's the turtle pendant. Love the turtle. Now I could have sort of sawed or pierced around him and just had the turtle, but I quite liked him there. On, yeah, I like Because him on it was that. water casting. I, I'd cast this quite interesting shape and I just wanted the turtle on there. So the turtle's on there. And then I did a shell on the pearl ring. Mm -hmm. um, he probably needs to tip that a little bit so that you, you can go. then have your shell motifs beautiful and then I think there's um, a starfish on the on the bracelet oh a starfish yeah to go with your starfish galaxy oh, collection so that's part of my galaxy collection you should call it that <laughs> you should literally call it that so now your shop plates are coming up jewelry makers also can I mention that we have the, the last of stock opportunities and we launched these the other day um, we had a mega auction quantity that would go beautifully again with Deb's your project um, <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, I mean, I know you can make these. You've got to buy the silver. You've got to buy the jump rings. You've got to buy the pearls. Ball At the end, pins. Yeah, ball head pins. We'll put these on pre-order because they go to a crazy low price. Crazy low. And we showed you a pair of earrings, didn't we? And they were like £135, if that, see, if that was right. There or thereabouts. Um, for sterling silver pearl earrings. Very similar to this. In fact, we even said they weren't as nice. They're lovely. I was just thinking two of those for earrings. Yes, yeah, definitely. They go to a mad price. They're um, available on pre-order right now. But first, as promised, jewellery makers, let's bring you the last remaining opportunities of your slider, hammered slider beads. Now, um, first, you've got the lovely hammered effect, lovely texturing to the surface of them. Um, if I tilt one of them up, you'll actually notice they've got the silica in the centre there. So we all know the slider bracelet, right? We all know that. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, maybe you're not a silversmith, maybe, um, or maybe you are, and sometimes you don't want to do soldering. Um, perfect way of actually closing a bracelet or a sterling silver chain. I wouldn't bother making these. They're too fiddly. Yeah. And it, sometimes if you just buy the innards separately to go in your beads, they don't stay in there. No. Like, these need to be strong and good quality, and they are. This is what you're getting in these ones. Yeah, you can see that quality, can't yeah. you? Um, and they'll grip, won't they? They'll they grip will the grip. chain. They grip so that you can be adjustable. I like to use them for necklaces, mm. you know, and you can use chain or you can use cord. You can use anything in there, really. Loving, loving, loving that. So, yeah, use it on your, um, on your cords, on your threads. We're going to be introducing the graphics any minute now. But just before we do, I want to show you the first pearls, um, the, hours, the pearls in the first hour, get your words out, Elle, <laughs> um, sold out. I'm not surprised. We have a surprise selection of pearls, the biggest selection of pearls that we have done in over two years. When was the last time you had a pearl hour or pearl oh, show? Gorgeous. Pearls like this that literally look 24 karat gold. Pearls like this. <gasps> the most amazing, and they'll all be different. Pearls like this. Oh my goodness. 
They've got a blue overtone, they haven't they? put the luster on those. How about pearls like this? <gasps> Honestly, the selection is enormous. The biggest one that we've ever done. Pearls like this. Oh, I do love this one. Oh. Yeah, that's very you, Debs. Oh. The pink pearls. Do they come in a box like that? Yeah. Oh, I need them. Pearls like this. Oh. Seriously. What a selection. Uh, we are going to be in our element. So last night, Ross messaged me. It wasn't last night. It was yesterday afternoon, wasn't it? It was like, L, last day before you go on holiday, we've done a secret pearl showcase. The biggest collection of pearls that we've ever brought to air in two years. Oh, amazing. So thank you for that, Ross. And obviously, that's a win-win for all of us because you get to see some of the most amazing pills. We have to, let me just explain as well, we have to monitor the quantity of pills that we bring to air because if we did it, we do it all in one go, then literally it's... They'd be gone. They'd be gone, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, a bit like Kotan is, basically. They've actually uh, <laughs> banned the mining of it because they don't want to mine out. If you love pearls, then you are tuning in on the right day on the right occasion because in the 10 o'clock hour we're doing this selection of pearls and it is going to go crazy because they are absolutely unbelievable so we'll do the deal of the day first and then the secret pearl collection is coming up straight after that brand new multi-gem strands coming up at 10 o'clock which includes kunzite Amazing. the finest amazonite aquamarine green beryl yellow beryl and they're incredible, the quality of those. Now, okay, the last opportunities of your hammered sterling silver slider beads. They've got the silica in the core. So you can use them with your cords, you can use them with leather, you can use them with wire, you can use them with chain. Yeah, yeah all of those. Um, I love these because you can make your adjustable pieces. Of course, you can make your slider bracelets, slider mm -hmm. necklaces, but I like to have something that's adjustable, especially on a necklace with a chain. Sometimes you might want to wear the slider up towards your decolletage you might want to have it more long line depending on what you're wearing so these are perfect for that and it's easy to put on isn't it yeah, lots really of people easy. do struggle with things like bolt rings and toggles now they were only launched last week jewelry makers and i think how many do we have left okay 40 left that's it so i think this might well be um the last time they're actually brought to air you'll notice you do get all of these by the way so eight in total in four different sizes which i think is really clever really really clever um so I tell you what, how about £5 per sterling silver hammer detail slider bead. You can also use them, if you, if you think Pandora, they use sliders like a stopper bead to keep something yeah, centre. Uh -huh. So you can use them mm. like that. Yeah, if you wanted to keep, keep something sort of central, you can use these as a stopper. Now, we're at £5 each. I've got 40 and already there's people on the phone lines. Should we put a clock on screen, Deb? Let's do it. We do it. Who wants these under 20 pounds? Me. For eight. And then, you know, all that aside, they're really beautiful. So like lovely. One of those large ones in the centre of a like a round snake chain or something like that. Wouldn't it be beautiful and elegant in your bracelet yeah. stack? I also think these are the starfish. You could have these in your galaxy collection. Yeah, I haven't you moved most on from starfish. I think, I think honestly, these would look, because you've got almost like the textures of coral. I do really like them as beads. I just think they're really beautiful. Oh, beautiful. We're going lower. Who wants them under 20 pounds? Last chance opportunity, jewelry makers. We only had 40 and there's lots of you there. Angela, Pamela, Norman, hello to you, Karen, Sussex, Lynn, Jacqueline, Tracy, Julie, well done. It's going under 20 pounds so you get eight. You know, even if I was bringing you, I don't know, what do you reckon? Three? Three of them? 20 quid? Yeah, that's what you'd usually expect, wouldn't you? Maybe yeah. Three. That would be awesome at 20 pounds. Yeah, yeah. You don't get three. You get eight. And they are sterling silver. Very difficult to create, as Debs was saying. 19 pounds and 99 pence only. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, yeah, if you pop into uh, two Pandora, you're not buying a stopper bead or one of it, which is basically a slider. You're not buying one for 20 pounds. Well, well, I don't think so anyway. I wouldn't have thought so. I mean, you know, it's very expensive usually. How much is it each? Two pounds 50 a bead. That, it's definitely not that. <laughs> no, you don't, no, no. I, don't, I think I could be pretty confident in saying that. No. I don't think you get anything in Pandora for £2.50, can you? Not even the bag. 
Not even their bag. <laughs> no, absolutely. I don't know, but... No, I haven't been in Pandora for a very long time, but you know, you know, very commendable on their marketing. Their marketing's genius. Yeah, oh yeah. Absolute genius, but it's not too, 250 doesn't get you very far. Um, they will sell out today, jewelry makers, so um, until the next time. So I should imagine that they will be on reorder. Oh, the best thing, says Ross, is believe it or not, that's not even your final price. They were, really? Oh. Never was. They were, there's okay. two pound fifty each. Not You've got the silica in the centre, which are, if I show you, if I hold them on the tweezers. So the silica is what grips and makes it a slider, makes it adjustable. Um, so can you see there? And it will basically mean um, that it doesn't scratch the precious metal if you're using them on silver. Yeah. Um, and it keeps it nice and secure. So yeah adds that sense of adjustability to these as well they're real quality real quality let's pop that there because sometimes the silica can sort of peek over can't it yeah it peeks over or it, or it perishes um, yeah. i've had a look at these and they're really nice quality amazing and the four sizes believe it or not it goes even lower i would have been happy for three at 19.99 let alone eight you can make whole suites of jewellery with what we've bought so far this morning. You know? Today's show is epic. Isn't it? Yeah. We're just getting started, says Ross. Yes. Woo! It's an unbelievable show today. I'm here for it. I'm me. I'm happy. I'm me. I'm me. I like looking at it all. It's like ASMR for me. <laughs> I come in, I look over there and go, oh, I just sit and stare lovingly. Everything is just completely <laughs> yeah. dreamy and just works so amazingly. <laughs> and you got Debs. What more well, could you possibly want? It's always got to be one And downside. deals like this from our lovely Ross. Oh, Ross, no. 40, did we do that, Ross? 14.99. So what's that That's each? That's really good. What's that each? It's Less silly. than £2. Or is it £2? I can't do that math. Nice. No, £1.87. Oh. Per slide of beads. I wouldn't even bother trying to make them for that much. No, what's the point? Factor your time in. I mean, how would you even do it? You'd have to cast them because they're three dimensional, unless you made them in precious metal. Probably pay more than that for the silica bits. Yeah, which is a load of faff. So no, I'm not doing. And then you've got to get it in. No, nah. which I can imagine is quite difficult. <laughs> yeah, I knew. it was the it was the hand action that I did there that tickled you, didn't it? Well, you have. You've got to kind of stuff. I imagine <laughs> you have to kind of stuff it in. Well, you do, and then it perishes or it. <laughs> comes out and you just you know i know i don't do fiddly i know i'm a jewelry designer but i don't i just, fiddly i mean it should work they're made have, to work well have, have you seen that meme where there's a little kid and she's trying to put like a like a, a i think it's a straw in a cup she's trying to put it back <laughs> into the hole and you see this little kid she's like probably i don't know maybe 10 months old oh, or something yeah. like that perched up and she's going trying to get it and in the end she goes <laughs> That's, what I'm that's like. me. That's me. That's me. There's, I wouldn't be able to make those. I don't like fiddly for the sake no, of fiddly. Frustrating. No, frustrating. No, no. um, make sure you check out your baskets, everybody. We only had 40, and there are loads of you there. Loads and loads. In fact, I've got 12 left. <gasps> Um, so Quick. if you are Sandra, Lucy, Karen, Christina, Kerry, Angela, Devon, Maker, Mary, um, or Warwickshire, make sure you're checking out those lots of multi buyers. Wiltshire's got two, Fiona's got two, West Sussex has got two, um, Helen's multi bought, Kate, Marion, Kathy, Paula, Pat. You get the idea. Lots of you there. I think it's going to sell out today, jewelry makers. Incredible. Now, are we ready for the shop plates? Yay! What is a shop plate, Debs? So a shop plate, it's Ooh, they're, heavy. they're usually really considered. And like last time I bought a shop plate, I was literally gobsmacked about the price of, that we're bringing these to you for. It's because we're making them ourselves now, isn't it? Because they're just brilliant and the quality is incredible. So it's basically um, a plate where you can hammer metal into it and get a really detailed little motif. So whatever the motifs are, the ones that I had on mine were a starfish, um, a seahorse, a shell, and a turtle. I love the turtle. Now, I've seen these for like, well, I think the cheapest I've, the one I was looking at was £90. And they, sometimes they're over 100 Yeah. And these are, if they're going to what the, I think they're going to, they are. Well, I, re I, I, rem I remember looking at prices, and yeah, you can buy them individually for less, but obviously you just get one motif. I tell you what, Deb, should we do this the opposite way around? Should we... They're all on pre-order, so you yeah, can shop them. ahead. Yeah. Shall we show people how to use it and then bring the graphics to look? Uh, I think that's a really good idea. Okay. 
And if you have any questions, then do text in. Um, do text in because we are live if you're watching at 20 past nine in the morning. Um, so do text in. If you're watching in the evening, we're not here. Um, <laughs> But you can always reach out to us uh, through like social media, yeah, yeah, etc. So, absolutely. Um, any questions, text us. Take it away, my lovely. Take it away. Well, what you need to do is make sort of a um, shape of metal and then you just bob it onto your shot plate and hammer it in. Now, there's different ways you can do this. And the reason this is called water casting is because I water cast some, but there is a much easier way of doing it as well. So I will tell you about both ways. Now, if you want to, you can just take your scrap silver. So it's absolutely fabulous for upcycling. So any old earrings, any silver you've got left over from any of your projects, just cut it up and put it all together. Or maybe you've just got one piece of, of a broken earring, as long as it's a precious metal. Is your ring water casting? My ring is um, exactly what I'm going to explain to you now. Oh, That's sorry. How I've done it. No, no, but I wasn't going to reference it, but it, you, this is how you do it. So thank you for that. Um, what you do is you get a piece of scrap silver. Now that's this, this is um, after it was flat. So this was a bit of sheet. Pop it on your fire brick and heat it with your torch. You don't need any special torch. It can just be your little torch. Keep heating and keep heating. And in the end, it will turn molten like when you're um, casting in the crucible. It will turn molten into liquid terminator, like mercury it looks like. And it will form like a bubble. And you take your, your flame off. Don't try and lift it off and quench it while it's still cherry red because um, it will still be soft. So just wait a couple of seconds. Take it off and quench it, put it in some water. So using your tweezers you lift it? With your tweezers mm. and you'll end up with like um, a really organic shape like this. Now what I did with this ring, just while we're talking about it, is I got, after I'd done this a few times, I put them in a circle on my fire brick, nothing fancy, nothing difficult. And I just went over it with my flame round and round and round till all of these melted into each other and I was happy and I quenched it and that was it. Wow. So this isn't even sand cast. As far as the water casting, which is a little bit more intricate, um, if you want to try that you've got your um, crucible and you've got your tongs, then you just put your scrap into your crucible, heat it and pour it into a container of water. And you will get, this is how I did these, all of these kind of really organic shapes, which is lovely for a pendant. Can you imagine that ring maybe with a little starfish in the bottom? Oh, I think yeah. that would be really, really pretty. But if you're really wanting to go the easy route, get your scrap metal or, or anything that maybe you may think you don't like it cut it up put a little bit of metal on there and it will become three-dimensional so because you've heated it that way it will usually be flat on the back and then it will be slightly rounded on the front and that's the bit you want you want a little rounded bit so you get your shot plate and depending on the look that you're going for, so my turtle pendant, I knew I, want, I wasn't going to saw around that turtle. I wanted to have metal around him for a pendant, so he kind of looked like he was sat on top of it. Yeah. So I made sure that the piece of silver I used was big enough to go all the way over the turtle in the shot plate so that I couldn't see the turtle at all. If you want to make a little charm and you don't want to have really much to file or saw away, then you really want to choose a piece that just goes into your so if you can see the shell there that would almost be the perfect size to go into the shell so that it spreads into it it spreads into it with the hammer okay um so you just pop that in you can see i've got the flat side at the top now this is actually electrical tape which i found to be i usually use masking tape but this really holds it down now i'm not going to hammer this because i will break the jewelry maker table don't do this on your coffee table. If you've got a jeweler's bench, find the hardest point, you know, the join. The best way to do this is to put it onto a concrete floor. Put it onto the floor on a um, sterling silver uh, block. And then you need to get a good substantial hammer. This is our brass mallet that we do here at JM and it's, it's an epic hammer. And then you just, you whack it in. Now, when you've finished whacking it the first time, you'll, you'll feel it going, you'll feel it probably is not going to go anymore. You can take it out and you can see where the little imprint is. So if you can see that, I've got a little bit of a turtle. I just sort of half did him. So, and you might think, oh no, I need to do it more, but it won't go. Because what's happened is it's work hardened. 
So pop that back on your fire brick, anneal it, just heat it, don't heat it till it melts, just heat it till um, it gets warm so the molecules soften again. Put it in water and then pop him back in again. And because you've already got um, an indentation, you'll find that when you pop it back on the top, you'll feel it kind of go into, into place and you can do that again. You keep bashing it again until you're happy with what um, you're left with. Now, when you've finished that, you can either polish it up to a high shine, which is a really lovely way of doing it. And I've kind of done that, let's see, if we can have a look at the ring, mm -hmm. um, I've done that on the ring. So I kind of polished that up to um, quite a high shine and I used it because it's a shell with a pearl just for an easy adjustable ring. But if you want to really bring those details out, then the way to do it is to use some patina. So I've got one here to show you. Is this the stinky stuff? It's the stinky stuff. Now you can, um, you need to work with it in a well ventilated area. This is the gel, the liver of sulfur gel. Um, you get a whole page of instructions with this stuff. Please read it. Um, you need to, it, it says apply patina finish to silver, copper and some bronze and brass. And it basically will add this blackening to your silver. So let me move my block so that you can see that. So oh, yeah. it literally goes all black yeah. and then you just put it in water and it will stop developing. Right. And then what you do, now I usually use my rotary tool, um, my Dremel rotary tool, or if you've got um, any rotary tool, but you don't have to because what you can do, you can get your trusty four um, buffer, nail buffer block, and you can start to use this. And what this will do is take off the top layer so I'm just going to do it really gently can you see that now I don't know can we come in on that add a bit is that possible please um, oh that's Ross <laughs> sorry Ross oh, oh thank you Ross, Ross. man of many talents so can you see now that that shell motif is far more defined defined because the patina has stayed in the lines, the recesses, mm. and polish off the top. So you'd keep doing that with um, working up your grits of sandpaper or, or your buffer. So now that's shiny because I've gone down a grit and then I would take longer. Then up to the top or if you've got your rotary polisher. So now you can really see the detail and that really works on a starfish and especially on the turtle, you really got to see him. And then you can always go around the outside and have a shiny outside like I did with the ring. So I know I've told you loads of information there, but basically it is just hammering a piece of metal into the plate. I did get an impression the first time. I didn't need to put in a couple of times. I think sometimes when you're learning, you might not hit it as hard. So you yeah. might, you know, you can do. But these are incredible tools so that you can get these beautiful motifs. Are you a stone setter? Do you do you set your cabochons? You can have shells and set them around your cabochon. You know, you can cut them out. Um, these are an absolutely amazing piece of kit. I love the fact that you can literally use them for upcycling as well. You I know, love I mean, that lots whole of us, thing. I should imagine, will have broken jewellery yeah. or maybe old jewellery that you've um, inherited, but it's not yeah. something that you're going to wear, but you still obviously have that sentimental side. So of you upcycle it. My mum had lots of silver. Um, and I have melted that down and made myself mm. like a cuff bracelet. Oh, gorgeous. Um, but yeah, and all you need is a fire brick and a torch, and that's all you need to do. And you know, wow. have a clay. And these are really great quality pieces of kit, and they don't yeah. take up a lot of room as well. No, no, that exactly. Now we're going to bring the graphics live, jewelry makers. You can get shop plates elsewhere, but one of the things that our jewelry maker team work really hard at. And, and I'm going to say it, sometimes they don't succeed in, in, in actually being the lowest price. Sometimes. Most of the time they do. Yeah, most of the time. And I have to tell you, this is one of those absolute occasions because shot plates can be quite an investment, can't they? Yeah, absolutely. I just couldn't believe what this went to. Yeah. And it's because, if I show you at the front, we're making the tools for ourselves now. Ah, oh, I see. Literally, we're making the tools for the set for ourselves. These are jewelry maker. We haven't sourced them from somewhere else. So you've cut out all the middlemen. Exactly. So that's making not only gemstones um, achievable. We're bringing you the tools um, to actually uh, to create these amazing designs. Now, as you can see, 
This is the one with uh, the sea turtle, the shell, the starfish, and the little seahorse. We've overlooked the little seahorse. The little seahorse is gorgeous. You will get my written instructions for water casting and um, exactly how to do this. And I've taken photographs. It's like a little book I've done in this, a little passion project. So you get that as well. Do you say a little passion project? Yeah, you know when I'm passionate about something, I have to write it all out. Yeah, and, you, you can know, tell you, that you love it. Yeah. yeah, so it's like my passion project. So I just, I love to put all that info in there <laughs> for you. So there is a lot of info in here. They're called action shots. And wow. Loads of writing and... Um, and you get that for free. You get that. Now, um, Liz is saying, thank you for that informative demo, Debbie. Love your jewellery designs. And that's Liz in Tyne and Ware. Oh, thank you, Liz. I was aware I couldn't bring all my equipment. It wasn't a masterclass. But as I say, 29th of July, you will see me water casting um, if you want to do it that way or else just melt it on your fire brick. Sure. Um, now, we do have another message, but it cut off the message cut off at the end so um, here's what we can see Christine Christine in Staffordshire says I have made a fingerprint of my mother uh, she is oh. 101 years young and I have a four centimeter thick piece of silver my question is how long do I need to keep the okay message in the rest because we got the first part if you can do the continuation because obviously we only got that first part christine can i i've got a question for you have you seen um philippa i think it's philippa herbert philippa herbert which i was thinking about this as well while um you were talking about water casting yeah. because i love philippa herbert jewelry but it's expensive now she does the fingerprint pendants but you are talking thousands of pounds this is a fingerprint here um how do you do a fingerprint this then in is water a, casting? Because I'd love to do that for the girls. This is a fingerprint. This is I've never done it in water casting. I've only done it with. Oh, sorry. Um, PMC, precious metal clay. Oh, so you do it in precious metal clay. So what I did with this one because Clemmy was a quite a little tight. Sorry, it's so I've got D on the back. I uh, see on the back for Clemmy, and then that there on the heart is a fingerprint. Um, you can either take their fingerprint in a mould if they're not with you you know if you they're far away from you i just got her to press her finger into the precious metal clay i can do your girls when i come i'll bring it with me oh i've always wanted one of those but they're thousands no, of pounds uh, yeah. i think it's a lovely idea christine so do text in the the the, the um remainder of your message we have actually got a few more questions yeah, go for it please um so uh is that catherine hello catherine could you put resin into the molds do you think Mm. No, because um, they have got no give. So how would you get the resin out without cracking it? Oh, good it? point. Um, what I do sometimes put a bit of badger balm into uh, the mould. Badger balm? What's badger, badger balm? Badger balm is a bit like Vaseline. Um, okay. it, you use it when you do precious metal clay, but sometimes I'll put something like that in there so that the metal's easier to get out. Especially yeah. if you put a, a small piece in, you can do that. But I would say, because there's no flexibility in the mould, it might crack. But if you're willing to give it a try, never say never. Yeah. You I won't guess. ruin the mold, but just make sure you put something in so that it, you know you can you can get you it can out. Flick it out, yeah. and it's not going to set and glue because yes. resin will glue, won't it? It will glue, and I and I just don't feel like when the, with the resin I've done, I've always used the very um, flexible mold. Yeah, so I would one. say no. Yeah, good question though, Catherine. Great We've got question. another one for you from Linda in Derbyshire saying, "Good morning. I was wondering, could you use silver clay, uh, please? Um, uh, silver clay. Same, same." Um, answer in the fact that every silver clay mold I've ever used um, is flexible so that because you know before you heat it it's just like clay isn't it so it could actually just flake apart so I would say no, you know what you could do is get the two pound uh, the two part silica mold making what's it called that stuff we've done it for the blue yes. and white stuff right mm. push that into there make your own mold and put the pmc or the resin in the mold what about and again this is me extending linda's question here so what about if you got the silver clay you literally let it turn too solid it, so you're not using it as wet form in a like a free form shape and then you did it you'd have to heat it in there which i suppose you could do because you, you know like you've it. just done with hard yeah, silver but it doesn't you do that with it doesn't turn hard till you heat it it's like flake it dries it doesn't turn hard so after it's dried after it's dried, if you try to flick it out, it would probably crumble. Ah, uh, okay. 
Right, because it is. These are all really good questions. But just try, um, you know, try it for nothing. You can always melt it back down, can't you? You can if melt it, goes it back wrong. down. Yeah. Now, um, let's introduce this to the price. This is your Ocean Shop plate. Seventy nine ninety nine is actually nowhere near your price. That's basically twenty pound per mould, effectively, which is great. And we've looked at shop plate prices elsewhere, haven't we, Roscoe? And uh, you know, and they're sometimes three figures. Yeah, yeah. Um, really expensive. And yeah. I, I guess, listen, I'm not, I'm not saying that that's wrong because this is a, it is an investment. Um, or they are elsewhere, and they're a tool that you'll be able to use repeatedly. And they, most of these companies don't make their own, so they have a, like a number of middlemen that need to be True. paid in between, you know, the manufacturer and the shop. Yeah. If if we're making our own then that's how we can do this yeah i presume yes that's me saying exactly. but i presume that's how we do it because they are literally we do make our own um and you can see that by the actual branding on the shop plate itself so you can see that yeah, and the maker. quality and the detail if you bought our press me and you did that show yeah that was fun ago. if you've got the hydraulic press and you've never used it that's perfect for this is 79.99 anywhere near our price tag nope 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 no, no. and you get deb's instructions as well these questions have been fantastic. It's amazing. That's amazing. That's that is amazing. I said it last time. I'm sorry, I'm excited. That is amazing. Four pound each. That is amazing. Sorry, five. Five pound each. I mean, this is a tool that you're going to have for the whole length of your jewelry making career. Sorry, no, it's not. What? It's incredible. Yes. Seven pound fifty per. Beg your pardon, my maths went all haywire. And it's haywire. a fab way of upcycling the I silver. I love that. That's what I love about Even it. Even if you're not a silversmith, you. I know you've got a ring that's broken, or earrings yeah. that are broken, or something, a bracelet you don't like that you know somebody bought you. Cut it up and repurpose so it. So that it's precious metal ultimately. It's upcycling. Um, I haven't. I didn't own any of these until I was given this for my demo because of the considered purchase yeah, when I've looked yeah. before. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you're talking hundreds of pounds, which they can be. They can be. A lot you can also get some for about 50, but that's for one motif, isn't it? Oh, yeah, just one. So just yeah. the shell or just the, yeah. you know, you can do so much. Once you get the whole feel of it, you know, you could have little turtles swimming around your mother of pearl cabochon. Oh. You know, you, you can really, really be creative with this. Yeah, I love that. And the sea is... Oh, the ocean is such um, an amazing uh, source of inspiration as well. How many do we have of these, Roscoe? We had 50, so I would encourage you checking them out. Um, a couple more questions for you, which is fantastic. We have got the second part of, oh, of Christina's question. Uh, Christine's question, sorry. Um, so Christine says, how long do I keep the flame on the silver till it goes cherry red? Does that depend on how um, much you're heating? I'm not understanding the whole how you've got the fingerprint. Is this because you seem to be talking about precious metal clay? How have you got her fingerprint in a mould? If it's in a mould, then you're going to need to use precious metal clay to make her fingerprint. Not you can't use molten silver because that will just wipe away the fingerprint. So fingerprint jewellery is made from precious metal clay um, and precious metal clay again depending on which one you use um, of how long you keep the um, flame on I tell you what Christine if you message me privately on JM guest designer Debbie Kershaw on Facebook if you're on Facebook or if you send an email maybe to and they can send it to me I'll be happy to talk you through there you that. go that's that wonderful right? thank you Christine um, yeah we're here to help one we of, are and what I a love lovely that. idea there is definitely a way that you oh, can get her wonderful. fingerprint into metal and I'll help you if I can and have a little look at Philippa Herbert jewelry because yeah. they're really expensive or have a look on YouTube at yeah. fingerprint jewelry uh, message from Deborah in Essex <laughs> saying hi Debbie uh, great name, by the way. Uh, can you use sheet metal with these, or will it be too thin? Um, I don't, no, you'll get more of a sort of a concave. Um, you probably need to bash it a bit more. Um, you can't use like 0 0.3 or anything. I'd say it'd need to be 0 0.5. Yeah. But you can use sheet metal by cutting it up. I'd say cut it and then pop it on your fire brick and melt it together to make yeah. a blob. I was going to say that. And mine is, is spelt Deborah just like that as well. There you go. Spelt the same. Deborah in Essex. Um, good question. So if you've got metal sheet, then yes. If you yeah, melt it down. Um, it'll be a bit like fold forming, you know, yes. that kind of thing. So just keep he keep heating it. That's cool. Um, and keep um, gently tapping it in. You might have to use a small hammer and like spread it out from the edges. But this is a great thing to 
just practice with everything. Mm, Hi Debbie, can you please say where you put the instructions on how to season the crucible? Um, hi Janet, if you go on to JM Guest Designer Debbie Kershaw, it is pinned to the top of my designer oh, page because so many people ask me that. Um, have I said about how to do that in here? No. Um, it's on your it's on your design page. But it's page. on my designer page and I've di I think I've, I did a video and I've put a video on there. So, so that's Facebook, by the Facebook, way. Facebook, JM Guest Designer Debbie Kershaw. It's pinned to the top of my page. If you can't find it, Lots message of questions. me. Hi, Pauline in Cornwall saying, hi, Debbie and Al. Uh, can you pour molten silver into a silicon mould, please? No, um, a silicon mould will... Uh, molten silver is incredibly, incredibly hot and it will just perish. And go through so you can't that's why we have to have things like sand and crucibles um, the great way to use molten silver without, without having to have all of those sand casting skills is by doing this by yeah. having it on your fire but you've not a big amount if you want a bit more add a little bit more silver and it will go molten but you can't pour it on anything other than something that is made for it like sand casting which is why people do uh, or the clay the delft clay casting because it's so incredibly hot yeah, do be careful. Do be, be careful. careful. Um, one more question from Kate and Dorset. Could you cast directly into the shop plate? Haven't done it. Um, but up, but up. Uh, could you potentially dam damage the shop plate doing that? I Yeah, I think you would damage it because everyone would do that otherwise, wouldn't they? They wouldn't bother with sand mm. casting. Um, I would say that you'd get an equal effect. I don't know why you'd want to, because you'd get an equal effect by what I just explained. So if you just melt your metal to molten, quench it, and hammer it in, you're going to get exactly the same effect as if you cast. In fact, you'll probably get a more even effect than if yeah. you cast. So I would say no, I've never done it. I can't categorically say no, but I don't think so from what I know. And also, the minute the molten metal hits that cold, um, shop plate it's going to call and you're not going to get the detail right okay is so what these I think great questions everyone I love these questions yeah this is fantastic so shall we bring the other shop yeah, plate yeah I've not seen this one close up this other one it's like literally we've got earth and sand here um, also don't forget as well we're going to be bringing you the last opportunities of your waterfall sterling silver oh, I yeah love oh them. amazing they'd be nice hanging from a turtle or a star oh they would you think of all the components you can make yourself you can yeah. make them multiple time and time and time again exactly the same oh i'm loving that it all works so perfectly together right next shot plate they're coming up by the way we had a 500 quantity of those waterfall sterling silver. Now, Nikki originally had this. I haven't seen her jewellery, but I bet it's amazing. So if you go and look on her YouTube for Nikki's show doing the, sh the shop plate, I'm sure there'll be some brilliant um, more um, inspiration. She takes a lot of inspiration from the sea, doesn't She's she? She's amazing, Nikki. She's a brilliant jewellery yeah, maker. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I would have said ordinarily, before I knew the price, that it was an either-or purchase for my personal budget and most people's. Yeah. But at that price? Yeah. Both Maybe both. Um, you have a butterfly, you have a bee, <gasps> you have a leaf and a flower. Oh. I love these. I mean bees. Everybody wants bees. If you're making to sell, everyone wants butterflies and everyone wants flowers. Think yes. of the stacking rings you could make. Yeah, loving that. All the inspiration. Um, you literally have got earth, earth and water, haven't you? Yeah. In You've these got two both. shop plates. Yeah. Um, loving that. Do we have a quantity of this one? 40 it's a little Ooh. bit more limited we're going to do it in one. one price crash have you not got this one yet? no i've not got this one do you get any instructions with this one ross from nikki, nikki we'll Newman. have a little look bear with do bear with straight away collectors have got involved well if you're if you are purchasing on both of the shop places well what 60 pounds for the two that's amazing and imagine you what you know you're making so you're making for gifts you're like right for christmas i'm going to make people stacking rings so my three nieces i'm going to make them flower ones because they'll argue <laughs> you yeah. can make exactly the same flower time and time again you do get instructions did you say yeah so you get nikki's instructions if you get both of them you get mine and nikki's that's the one you get 
Oh, there you go. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at see that. Nikki's lovely, uh, lovely jewellery there as well. Look at the leaf. Isn't that lovely? Stunning. Absolutely stunning. $29.99. Um, we've only got 40, so this one is more limited jewellery makers. And again, if you've got any more questions, do text in. We are live here in the studio. Uh, Sheila, Christine, Jan, Tracy, Fiona, Nicola, Ali, Sue, maker in Lanarkshire, Eileen, Tracy. I just love the idea of, of, of being able to sort of repurpose. Definitely the upcycling. Um, I'm a big upcycler. I think especially if you work with metal, you might have sterling silver findings that you thought were a good idea at a time. You know, it's an astronaut or something. <laughs> you know, you've got some <laughs> sterling silver astronaut earrings. Oh yeah, and then you thought, what the goodness hell did I buy that for? You know, melt them down and make something yeah, else. Yes, exactly. It's still got the precious metal value, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, and you're still using it and you've repurposed it, especially if it's something that was given to you. You know, you've still got the metal from the person. You've got the sentimentality of 100%. it. 100%. I don't think there's a single person who watches right now who hasn't got, like, a broken jewellery little pot or something like so, that. Yeah, you scrap pot. And if you're a silversmith, you definitely have. Yeah. You know, I've got a scrap pot with all my bits of wire. And, you know, I always say to you, don't throw anything away. When you've sawn around that pendant, when you've got that little bit of sheet, keep it, melt it down. Yeah. You know, cast with it. Not everyone's a caster. It's, it's quite an advanced technique. Do this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay, we also have some other goodies there. Ooh, if you want to water cast, this is what Shall you I need. I'm gonna pass you this. What you tell us which order you want to do. Right, these so in. can we go with the crucible first? Please? I love this. And I need the tongs as well. Okay. Do they come together, Ross? Or Separate, Separate auctions. Right. right, so if you've only got one crucible, I'd get another one because they can crack, you can drop them on the floor. Sometimes you just think that's yucky, I've used it too much. I've got about four or five in different shapes. You need this um, crucible with your tongs to melt your molten uh, cast jewellery and make it and pour it. So if you want to pour it into water or you want to put, do the whole sand casting thing, which I've done shows on, you need this. Now this is essentially, your fire brick is flat that we usually use for soldering. This is made for molten metal. Mm -hmm. So you've got that round um, little indentation in the middle. You pop your casting grain, your, your scrap pot metal, your upcycled metal in there, and you heat it with the torch. And then you're ready then to pour it. Now, if you have a pot of water and you pour it in you'll get some really interesting shapes you can pour it into spaghetti and it gives you like this oh, kind of really? like kryptonite um superman shape do you know what i mean like it gives you that yeah what cooked spaghetti? yeah you can put, pour it into rice you know as long as you're doing all the safety measures you've got your heat proof surface and a bit of water in the bottom um you can pour it into water you can pour it into rice anything that you can think of that won't it doesn't matter and you pull it out and it's like a concertina when you put it in spaghetti it's great fun so you've got that and also if you're uh -oh. sand cast obviously i've done whole shows on this um i love sand cast i'm obsessed with it at the minute do you remember i made a rubber duck with sterling silver you can make anything when you sand cast you need this so this is a crucible you'll be able to melt enough mess it's, it's a good size this one to make a bangle or anything that you need um and these are invaluable. Now you do need to season it before you use it, but I have shown you on YouTube and there is a pinned post to the top of my guest designer page on this, but you do need the tongs. You can't touch it like we were talking no, about. It, yeah. Molten metal, you cannot touch it with your hands because this gets incredibly I hot. I bet it does, yeah. And so you need these. Okay, so we're gonna be bringing the tongs literally afterwards. They're fairly self-explanatory, self aren't they? But if you've already got those and you've only got one crucible, it is really advisable to have more than one because okay. you'll be in the middle of a project and you'll be like, oh, I really wanna finish this, I'm in the zone. Um, I need a bigger crucible, I've got more silver to melt or mine's just a bit yucky, I've been using it for a couple of years. Have another one. Also, you need different ones. If you're doing gold, you're doing silver, yeah, you're doing copper. Yeah, don't mix them. Don't mix them. No. Um, especially if you're selling that. I'll shut up now. <laughs> no, don't. Can you, tell, can you tell I'm passionate? No, but I don't <laughs> shut up. I like it. Sorry. Please don't. I love doing we this. We don't want it to shut up, jewellery makers, do it we? It brings everything I love together and makes it achievable for everybody. Some people don't want to sand cast. They don't want to get... They're not confident enough. They just... You know, if you want to pour metal into water, everyone can do that. And also, you need very little. You need very little. You, you need that. very, very little. You don't need huge amounts of equipment. It's do not you? a big financial investment to be able to do this technique, which I love. Yeah, love that. Um, Twenty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Have we got a good stock of the crucibles? Because I'm. Th oh, there's thirty. Here's your price point, jewelry makers. Again, make sure you are checking out your baskets. I should imagine, especially <gasps> on Deb's advice. That's amazing. 
Okay. I should imagine on Deb's advice, people will be multi-buying now. Yeah, you do need, um, I've got different size ones. So I've got a little round one. If I'm gonna do something really little, you know, like I mean, if you've got casting grain, if you've got any of our casting grain, that's great to melt down. That melts down really quickly. Um, you're asking me about sheet. You know, we've all got little corners of things, haven't we? We've yeah. sorted something out or we've-, we've um, It's really satisfying melting it all down. And too. just melt it down. It goes into liquid terminator, pour it out into the oh, water. But make sure you're not in like a plastic cup with your water. You want to be in like, you know, glass, a glass. or heat proof. You know. A ramekin. A ramekin is perfect. Yeah, ramekin. What uh, do do people actually use ramekins for anything else these days? I d I've even I even got my because um, I was in a hurricane for my ramekin. I got my thing that I use for camembert. <laughs> oh, for baking camembert. Don't ever. I know this is obvious, but I have to say, don't ever use it for metal and then use it for camembert. You know it. What are you going to do with your camembert now? Well, I'll just get a new one because you know I have to have camembert. <laughs> This, you know, it's a necessity oh, in my house. <laughs> baked camembert. You know, oh, stop, I'm hungry. Do you put garlic slices in it as well? Yeah, and and then the olive oil on the top and then the crusty bread on the top. Oh. Delicious. But you can use it for water casting. Yeah, well. you can also use it. <laughs> you just have to get baking. a different one for the camembert. Um, okay, let's, uh, so this is a crucible tongs. Scorifier tongs, yeah. So these? Yeah, those. Okay. So they're adjustable. Do you want to show us? Yeah. So these are adjustable. So if you're thinking, oh, I could do with another um, one of these. What's great about these, you can bring the um, the tongs in and out. So you put your crucible in there. So if you've got a smaller crucible, obviously you can go up there or here. Can and I borrow that yeah, one? Yeah, can I borrow that? It might help. <laughs> yeah, you can see it there. <laughs> so this comes off um, on the top there. I don't actually use that bit because it gets on my nerves, but it's just extra security. So you push that down and then you make sure that it's done up and do a couple of tests that that's not going to come off. And if you feel like you need more security, you can bring this, I won't bring it up on the top, um, and it will hold that even tighter. Okay. Um, so then your hand is completely away from this molten metal. Now, if you are going to use this, just pop it on your fire brick or another heat proof surface um, to melt. Pop your flame, you don't need an enormous torch, you can use your little torch if you want, and then that will safely be able to pour out into whatever you're pouring it into. So the good thing so about no this- So no point you touching the molten uh, metal- No point you touching this. Or the crucible. Or are you touching the molten metal? And if you notice with this scorifier, um, it's got a nice long handle so that you can keep your hands right away. And then you've got this um, ergonomic, comfortable wooden handle that will protect your hands. So this is a really good piece of kit. Um, I would never say attempt um, to pour molten metal with anything else but the proper scorifier um, for your crystal. Yeah, we need to remember this is obviously, you know, we need to be careful you do. Um, and safety conscious here. $14.99. This is amazing. This is a one-time purchase as well because, um, I'm just going to pop that back in there. This is a one-time purchase because if you look after it, like any of your metal smithing tools, it will do you for the lifetime oh. of your jewellery making career. How good's that? So hang on a minute. This is $14.99 and I can get the Crucible for $12.99 today. Yeah. How good's that? And then so, you can get one of your, um, one of your shop plates. For twenty nine ninety nine, um, shall which one next? The Argentum or the flux? Can we do the flux? Yeah, because I think this is quite important. What's flux? So this is a powder flux, and you put this into your molten metal, and it cleans it. Especially if you're upcycling, there's going to be you know there's probably some muck in there um, for where it's been sitting, or it's oxidised. As silver does, silver always oxidises over time, oh. and it actually looks like talcum powder. Okay. And what you do is when your metal is molten, put just a little tiny pinch of this in. Make sure you're wearing a mask because you don't want to breathe it in. Pop a little pinch of this into the molten metal. It will stop being molten for a second because it cools it down. Keep the flame on it and then just pour. Okay. So what it's essentially doing is you'll see sort of like a skin form on the top and then it'll disappear. It brings up any of the impurities and the muck and kind of cleans so it. So it's a cleaning Yeah, it's agent, really good. Um, and you need to use that in sand casting, any kind of casting. Little tiny pinch. This will, oh crumbs, I've had mine for years. It lasts years. It's a big pot. Years. It's a big pot, isn't it? And some places will charge you um, extra postage for things like this because it's seen as um, a chemical. So they'll charge you like £10 postage. But Whereas we, we, don't, we don't. We don't do that. 
Um, and that's going to last years, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's a big, big pot. So it's really good. I usually get like a little teaspoon um, out, put a little teaspoon full in something else, and then so that I can just take a pinch. And there's, it's really, you know. You use that little of it? Yeah, just a tiny little pinch. And you'll see it in my demos in the past. Um, I literally get a tiny, tiny little pinch. Um, we haven't had this for ages, and it's come back in recently. I kept yep. asking for it, and now we've got it. Again, we've made it ourselves. Again, this is oh, jewelry of maker. We have. Um, that's why you're seeing it at a more affordable price tag. Do we have quantity of these? Sixty. Okay, and it doesn't stop at forty nine ninety nine. This will last you ages. Wow. Um, do, if you're comparing, make sure that you look at how much in the comparison, because sometimes they come in a tiny little pot. This uh, is a really substantial. How many? What's the grams? I was just on looking that? for that, funny enough. Oh, 250 grams. Oh, yeah. There. So that's so, a big pot. You know, sometimes it's hard to see, isn't it, when you're online or you're looking on the telly? You can't get an idea, but sometimes you might get one in 50 grams or, you know, so 250. Make sure you don't get it damp. Keep the lid on. It's going to last you. You there need you it. There you go. You do need your flux. Um, amazing at £19.99. pence. We only had 60 available opportunities. Um, so make sure you are checking out everyone. Um, I'll leave that with you. Gosh, they are really affordable, each of these items. Now, let's do some Argentium silver. Oh, this, this casts really beautifully. Um, the Argentium, I should have brought my pendant. I'll show you a picture on my Facebook page. I've done a pendant in Argentium and it's so white silver. Yeah. Argentium doesn't have the same sort of tarnish as 925 has. Um, so you could even cast this without popping your flux in if you wanted to. Um, it's cleaner. And so it just casts re a really white, bright, lovely silver. Um, and also, of course, Argentium fuses oh, together. Look so, at this. Yeah, if you haven't got any scrap that you particularly want to cut up, then use this instead. That could be a wallpaper, that could. It could, couldn't it? It melts really beautifully because it's tiny little balls. So it's very um, an easy melt. So it's like, it's like, uh, it's hypoallergenic, right? Yeah. Hypoallergenic. Mm. Um, so basically, am I getting this right? Feel free to say no. Um, I melt that down in my crucible. Yes. Yeah, using the tongs, pour basically. It, pour it into your camembert pour dish. Pour it into your camembert <laughs> dish. In water. Uh, in water to cool it, quench it, and then I use my shot plate. Yeah, and if you don't like the shape, which is what I absolutely love about casting in all its forms, if you don't like the shape that you've got, pop it back in the crucible and melt it again. Yeah, amazing. Now, we're going to do this in one price crash. This is Argentium, which is purer than sterling silver. So I've just noticed our graphics. It's not sterling, is it? That's a typo. No, that's a typo. Sterling silver is something different. So sterling it's silver is 925. So it's purer. So it's 940, uh, yeah. So it shouldn't say sterling. It's 940 silver, purer. Yeah, Argentium you get the, you also, get the idea. if you work with Argentium, if you've got Argentium sheets and things, you'll be able to just fuse this rather than solder it. You know if you work with Argentium. Amazing. I love 1999. That's a big amount of Argentium there. Is it 10 grams? 10 grams, yeah. 10 grams, that's a lot. I mean, if you molted that, molted? Melted you'd that get a down. Big piece. You wouldn't want to use all of that. Um, That's a big piece, isn't you'd it? You'd get a really big piece. So you're going to get enough for probably every motif in your shop plate with that. Really? Yeah. Gosh, that's a fantastic price point. And also, it's really appealing to look at, isn't it? And it's easy to melt. So is if it? you have got a smaller torch and maybe not the flame isn't too strong, then this is easier to melt because it's in little tiny balls. So it just it behaves itself when you're melting it. <laughs> But yeah, that's actually really good because if you look at it in the crucible, you can see how much you're actually getting. Yeah. It is masses, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good. I love this stuff. Hang on. I'll bring it over to you, Debs, in a sec. There's such a feeling when it when it goes into liquid terminator mode, you know, like liquid mercury. That is. There. Look at all that. Look at that. So you can see how that's going to melt quicker because you can see all the little air holes, little places in between the little Argentian balls where the flame can get in and under so that it can melt really quickly and easily. <laughs> ASMR. Sorry, right I just feel like I felt Hello. like I needed to. Look how lovely that is. Argentium. 
Amazing. These are absolutely flying out, aren't they, Ross? Have a practice because you can't go wrong. If you pour it, whether it be sand casting or water casting or whatever you're casting, put it back in and melt it. You can't go wrong. It just doesn't matter. Love it. Absolutely love it. So, like, literally everything that you need, start to finish, we've brought you today. How good is that? And it's not a massive, massive outgoing. No, you're not paying hundreds, hundreds of, of pounds. pounds. No. Which normally, if you start certain, well, certain mediums, especially anyway. with metal. Yeah. That often is the way. Um, I mean, you keep them forever, but if they're good, but yeah. Oh, right. Okay, jewellery makers. Well done, everyone. Exciting. Keep on dialing through. Um, have we mentioned we've got one of the most dreamy shows for you today, literally from start <laughs> yeah. to finish? They literally go... Um, oh, and a dreamy director. And a dreamy well. director, yes. He's funny as well. He is funny. If you hear us just randomly chuckling, it's usually it's at Adam. Adam or Ross in the gallery. Yeah, yeah. making us laugh. Yeah. Um, anyway, but everything, absolutely everything, is just stunning today. Um, did I mention you've got the most amazing Pearl Secret Showcase coming up in the next hour after your deal of day? Did I mention you've got your multicolored gemstone strand as a deal of day, which is absolutely amazing? But right now, you've got a beautiful star by, one that created an absolute frenzy um, it was mega auction status I've got the last remaining opportunities how many times do you hear us talking about the beautiful waterfall earring oh, design yes. or waterfall pendant well normally you'd have to buy the chain buy mm -hmm. the ball head pins buy the jump rings buy the pearls um, you don't need to do any of that this comes at the most unbelievable star by price last of stock opportunities up next Now, I don't think there's many a week that goes by where jewellery maker doesn't at some point talk about the waterfall <laughs> earring. True. And if you think, you know, we've been going almost 14 years, that's how constant it's been a popular trend. If you've not heard of a waterfall earring, I'll show you a photograph in a second, but it's basically where you have lengths of chain, essentially, and then you have your gemstones on the bottom. They can be on a stud, they can be on a shepherd, shepherd hook, and they create that lovely waterfall effect. They are a constant in terms of style, oh, aren't they? Yeah, they never go out of fashion, do they? And I think everybody loves them as well. They can work for day, they can work for evening, special occasions as well. But a waterfall sterling silver pair of earrings, um, I had a little look. If you go on okay. the high street, Debs. Oh, they're nice. They're nice. How much are they? 130 pounds. Goodness me. Now, and again, I know that our jewellery maker audience are going, I can make those. Yeah, definitely. I, can, I mean, I think I could make them, and that's saying something. It's, it's getting the right components, soldering if need be, or wrap looping if need be. Yep, yep. So they are 925 sterling silver. If you want those earrings from Lily Rue, they're going to cost you £130. And actually, let's be honest, let's not be... That's not so bad. That's what it should be. We're in our bubble here. I'm being complacent again, aren't yeah, I? Yeah, no, that's probably what they should be. You know, if you go to any, I don't know, bridal event, £130 for those earrings isn't a bad price. No, bridal is, a, uh, yeah, considered. And often it's not real pearls in the bridal yeah, jewelry. Yeah, true. Um, do you want to see another design? Yes, please. Oh, they're nice. Lovely. £135. <laughs> now... You actually get one less pearl than ours. Yeah, you do. And that's not as pleasing to the eye, in my opinion. I like threes. Me too. Odd numbers always work because you've got one to focus on in the centre, haven't you? Yeah, roll of three. Um, can I say yours is, looks to be the same chain as well? Now, yours aren't on an earring post, so you're going to need to attach that, whether it's a shepherd hook or it's a butterfly, or it's a chain. Because we, you know, we're not just going to say, "Oh, these must be earrings." You can actually turn these into. T and I was talking about the fact about imagine multi buying, which yeah. you'll be able to, and creating that big fat tassel. Yes, yeah, so I was thinking that you'd only need two for a tassel, and if you wanted a really fat tassel, you'd get four. Oh, fat tassel! I like fat tassels. So do I. If you're going to have a tassel, have a tassel. <laughs> You know what I mean, don't you? Well, I tell Please you what, help. it's a good job. <laughs> it's a good job that we've got quantity then, Debs. Yay! Because if you like fat tassels, <laughs> if you want to make multiple waterfall earrings and pendants, then this is going to be perfect. Um, so again, let me show you. Um, Winterson, £135 for those earrings. 
They are genuine white freshwater pearls, solid sterling silver, and they're lovely. Very nice. They are, they're lovely. Should we save yourself some cash today? Yes, please. One of my favourite looks is actually the idea we've just described, putting a couple of these together. And I know these are in gold plate, but I really like this design. Oh, I love this design. Oh, that's lovely. And it's kind of, that almost looks like she, that, that they're using scrap, scrap chain in those earrings. Yeah, there's all different chains on there. That's a really lovely idea. That's so pretty. $303. Ooh. So imagine doing that, but with multiples of these. Now, we have the last remaining quantity jewelry makers. We launched these last week and they absolutely flew. Genuine cultured pearls, solid sterling silver. You'd need the jump ring, you'd need the ball head pins and you'd need to factor in your time. The auction is live. These went crazy the other week. And when you see the price, you will see why. Carolyn Barkshire has got four. You're not gonna regret that quantity. In fact, I think I said during the launch, um, weren't there people buying tens? Oh, really? Did they go that low? Yeah. There was, we were talking multi buyers on another level of multi buying. Mm. Because look, I mean, Debs, you can literally open and close a jump ring on a shepherd and make some lovely earrings that are like triple figures elsewhere. Yeah, absolutely. And these are my favourite type of earrings is the chain with the pearl on the bottom. Yeah. Absolutely my favourite type of earrings. And they are just ageless timeless they, they they never go out of fashion i think any age group can wear them yeah you could get three and have a pendant to match which would be so pretty i love them look at the quality of those drop pearls too they're super lovely aren't they we have quantity because we actually had over 500 of these when oh. we launched and, and that's an indication of how low we took it we have just over 100 left again 400 sold, over 400 sold. So if people launch. buy earrings, and that's really 50 left, isn't it? Yes. And look at the quantity right now. Thomas has got two. Manchester has got six. Carol's up to a quantity to 10. If you love the design, then 100% multi-buy. Because believe me when I say, jewelry maker has got your back on the price point. How long would it take you to make these? No, I know, again, probably, what do you reckon? 20 minutes? yeah but have you got the chain and it's sterling isn't it yeah have you got the jump have you got the pearls have you got the jump rings have you got the wrap uh, the wire first price crash not what you're paying okay okay not what you're paying no okay solid sterling silver there's a reason why, and I'm trying to give you as many hints. There's a reason why lots of people decided to get like tens. Okay. Sixes, eights, lots of people did. So trust the process, we are going lower. I had just over a hundred, over 400 of these sold on the launch last week. It was last week, wasn't it? And it went completely crazy. You think Winterson, which I think is the most like ours, yeah. um, those Winterson earrings, 135 pounds and they've got one less pearl and one less selling silver yeah. chain but the chain looks the same doesn't it yeah it looks very very similar you need to buy two granted we already we're already making you savings yes oh, the suspense is killing me oh you it's a goodie <laughs> it's such a goodie again this was an amazing early bird and it'll go beautifully with everything in today's show jewelry makers doesn't stop there you might be thinking just get to the price will you if we did that we'd melt the phone lines and we would not be popular <laughs> and the um yeah call center managers just literally walked past so um yeah if we did that it would literally melt the phone lines we crash the website so we have to stagger auctions and um, trust the process everybody pays that final low price tag surely this is base metal then no oh. solid nine two five six oh debs yeah. What about your starfish? Oh, <laughs> yes, your galaxy collection. You could have a starfish at the top and then have yes. these as earrings. Oh, what about the little turtles? You can make um, a stud earring with those, couldn't you? you yes, just... and you could have the pearls coming yes. from it and then the starfish. It's all going so perfectly together. 
You've got half a gram of sterling silver in each of these. The suspense is still killing me. Oh, it's good, Debs. It's good. How about under 15 wow. pounds? Beautiful, genuine, cultured pearls, solid sterling silver. You'd have to buy the length of chain. You'd have to buy the, oh, make sure you've got the jump rings. You'd have to make sure you've got the head pins. And wire. you need to buy the strand. And the sterling silver wire. Sterling silver wire. Or, or head pins, whatever you're gonna use. And you'd have to buy the pearls. So that's, so that's under 30 pounds for the those pair. earrings that were what? 135. So you've saved yourself like 105 pounds. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That'll do. How good's that? That's really, really good. They're so beautiful. Love that. The quality of the pearls as well, absolutely epic. Deborah's got two, Victoria's got two, Fife's got three, Maker and Sussex has got three, London's got two, June's got three, uh, Mary's got four, Anne's got two, Carol's got ten, Marion's got four, Olivia's got four, Manchester's got six. Guess what? Still not your price. Still not your price, jewellery makers. If you got one or two, you're going to up your quantity. Because at this price, it's just, look, you could make a beautiful, genuine, cultured pearl, sterling silver, sweet earrings and a pendant yeah. for less than 50 pounds. Yeah. And, you know, you struggle to get a base metal with glass pearl earrings like this on the high street, wouldn't you? That wasn't yeah. real, like somewhere like nice, like, I don't know, Next or Marx's or, you know, River Island, Zara, somewhere like that. Um, you would pay more than that for, 100%. for a costume jewellery. 100%. In fact, I was talking about this the other day because I like Zara jewellery. So I love Zara jewellery. I like how, how they're all statement, aren't they? Yeah. Um, and I've, I'm taking some on holiday, but they're about 30 quid a pair of earrings or 30 oh, quid yeah, for a pair of 30, 40 pounds. Yeah. Even. They're not inexpensive and they're not genuine gemstones and sterling silver. No. I can't remember what we took this to. We had over 500. And that's why we went as low <gasps> as twelve ninety nine. You aren't. You're not going to buy the pearls, the silver, the you know, the silver chain, the silver findings for twelve ninety nine a year. And with the way that the pearls three are pearls, going, not two. Yeah, three lovely teardrop shaped pearls, good size. Um, that's a deal and a half, isn't it? Amazing. Shall I hold up to the uh, to the yes, ear so you yeah. get an idea of perspective? They're beautiful. Yeah. How about if I told you, you could make these earrings for less than 20 pounds. We didn't stop at 12.99. In a simple mass, you can do it. We what have 500. What a show. What a show. I know. Oh, I know. crumbs. There's people multi bidding like crazy. Yeah, I mean, is this not going to go perfectly with your masterclass, Debs? Yes. Is this not going to go amazingly with your um, water casting and shop plates? Oh, th this is amazing. I'd love to have like 10 of these in my stash. Yes. Is this not going to go amazing with your deal of the day or the amazing uh, the pearls. pearl selection mm. that we've got coming up? It will go beautifully with all of those. And we go under a tenner, under ten pounds. That's we amazing. had five hundred. There's a reason why over four hundred of them sold on the original launch. I remember it was an early bird. It was, wasn't it, Ross? Yeah. So that means that was within an hour. Over four hundred sold. I can't see one person who's bought one. No. Yeah, they weren't available all day. They over four hundred sold within that hour. Oh really? Yeah. That's how surprised. popular these have been. Not surprised. That big fat tassel that we were talking about is achievable now, isn't it? Oh, it's really achievable. To think what it would cost you to buy the components individually, um, it's a no-brainer. <laughs> just literally attach it to your tassel Just topper. attach it. I mean, yeah, I, there's so many ideas. I mean, this is just classic and sophisticated and timeless. Even down to one of the things Mark was talking about, like with the Lily Rue, he was like, oh, they're not, they're not... The graduation isn't quite right. He wasn't happy with the graduation on those. Do you know what? I think one of those chains is at the back. It I think like so thread. as well. I think it's one that you put on the back. Oh, uh, okay. I'll sit beautifully. 
They're just, I like them, yeah, but they are they are different. They are different. These are the most like the wintersome ones, aren't they, really, yeah. I think. Yeah, um, Yeah. they are different, but uh, again, beautiful. But look at the quality of the pearls that you're getting for £10. The luster is amazing. Yeah. That alone, for those pearls, that trio of pearls alone for 9 99 Unbelievable. Like I said, we had 500 of these. They were launched only uh, last week. Um, only last week in the early bird hour. So within that hour, over 400 sold. Um, we're bringing you the last remaining quantity and it is most likely going to be um, a sellout today. Um, well done. Uh, like Deb said, there's. I don't think there's a single person that has multiple, uh, that hasn't, multi-bought i no, can't see I any can't, can um 14s even fives and fours congratulations now i'm gonna leave that with you jewelry makers coming up we have your fabulous creations in the wall of fame and we also have brand new multi-gem strands which are absolutely incredible and remember you have your pe uh, secret pearl selection as well coming up um so do not go anywhere your wall of fame after this <laughs> Lots of beautiful entries into the Wall of Fame this morning. Starting us off is Sue Thursfield. Hello to you, Sue. Sue says, hi all. Here's my entry for this week's WAF. Uh, it's an eight millimeter Amazonite necklace and earring set ordered to match uh, a stretchy bracelet um, bought from a recent craft fair. I use silver plated findings. All components were from Jewelry Maker, of course. I hope you like them. And thanks for all the tempting ideas which are hard to resist. Um, so a win would help, she says. Well, fingers crossed for you, Sue. That's absolutely beautiful. Your number 327. Next up, oh, I've been wearing a bracelet very similar to this. And it's from Susan James. Hello to you, Susan James. My latest entry is a stretchy for an 18th birthday gift of faceted peridot, green aventurine and alphabet letters. Everything from Jewelry Maker, including the lucite flowers. Wishing all the waffers good luck and have a lovely day. Ah, that's wonderful. Love the personalisation. Good luck, Sue. You are number 328. Um, oh, wow. A real collection here from uh, Karen Romanovsky. Hello to you, Karen. You've been busy. Uh, good morning, all. This is um, an order for five bra bracelets for five granddaughters. I love them because we chose the gemstones, size, colours, initials and charms for each granddaughter, which made them so personal. I even had some jewellery maker moon phrase charms from years ago, which I added to each extender chain uh, to link them all together. Good luck to everybody. Oh, I love that, Karen, all that personalisation in one piece of jewellery. Good luck to you, your number 329. I have some beautiful wire work here from Janet Ray. Hello to you, Janet. This is stunning. Uh, you're number 330. And Janet says, hiya, lovely jewellery maker folk. Here's my waffering for this week. A cheating brooch. Oh, OK, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. A shell pearl and pearl flower with wire work leaves and um, a stick pin, all from you. Thanks for your beautiful goodies you allow us to get um, our sticky mitts on. Stay well, stay happy and stay you. Hugs to all. Bless you, Janet. That's absolutely stunning. Yes, I know. I seem to, I need to curb the sticky mitts because I do a lot of spending. Um, <laughs> number 331 is from Julia Christie. Hello to you, Julia. Hello, everybody. I made these tiny earrings um, and thought I'd try my luck. Amazonite, Knight, 15 seed beads and gold hooks. I hope you like them and good luck to everyone. Well, I think they're absolutely stunning, Julia. Well done to you. 331. Make sure you get those entries in, lovely jewellery makers. You've got to be in it to win it. And it's as simple as this. Send your photograph and a short message. Obviously, tell us who you are to studio at jewelrymaker.com. Uh, the only rule, and there is only one, is that they're Jewelry Maker components. We would love to see them because you truly do inspire us as well. And then every single week, we do a tombola, so it's done completely at random, and we pull out a winner and a runner-up. The winner will receive £100 credit to their Jewelry Maker account, and the runner-up will receive 50 
for showing off your wonderful designs and we get to admire them as well. So do make sure you enter Wonderful Jewelry Makers. Now, coming up, you have one of the most exquisite deal of the days. Let's just say it's a little bit old school, but the finest grade that I have seen in a very, very, very long time. We're super excited about this deal of the day. It's up next. You know that I prep for every show beforehand and sometimes I put together PowerPoint presentations on this occasion and usually for the deal of the day. <laughs> no, and it's not that I, I was like, oh, I just don't go to bother. It was actually, well, what do I prep? Because do I prep the Kunzite? Do I prep the Aquamarine? Do I prep <laughs> all of them? I'll be here all day. Um, do I prep the, the green barrel or the yellow barrel or the Amazonite? Which do we talk about? So our, our wonderful audience, and I know I shouldn't assume, but our wonderful audience, our regular audience have got an amazing gem knowledge. Um, and I think that's something that, that we have learned together, for sure. I mean, even when I worked in the jewelers, I didn't know about Amazonite. I didn't know about Yellow Barrel. We sold very expensive pieces of jewelry, but I didn't know really outside of the, five, the big five. Yeah. Didn't know anything, um, and pearls, obviously. Um, so my knowledge has absolutely grown alongside uh since working here but i want to so instead i was thinking okay i know that we will have collectors who have been with us from day one i i know that um because we have got a fantastically loyal um audience um and we i think it's a real wonderful friendship that we've formed over the years but i also am aware that we've got lots of jewelry makers who are newer hmm. to the actual uh, um, family so i'm going to tell you a little uh, tell you a little story and it's um just something that occurred historically before we came to this studio we used to be in ivy house now ivy house was lovely it was in the countryside it was gorgeous you used to see little deers running behind you had cows behind the building it was just gorgeous anyway um and i remember when we we were part of <coughs> excuse me the immediate group now, um, we've been bought back by Gemporia since then, which is fantastic because whilst immediate were amazing, they didn't have the, the buying, the gem buying ability. And I think they would admit this as well, the gem buying ability that Gemporia do. So what we noticed was with, with immediate, our prices were going up yeah. on, on certain gemstones like this. Um, and that's not a criticism. Like I said, it's literally down to the fact that we didn't have the buying power that we do under Gemporia. Because you can imagine we buy for an entire partnership now. Yeah. Um, anyway, so back about four or five years ago when we were part of Immediate, we introduced our multi-gem strands. In particular, I'm going to focus more on your multi-barrel multi strands. Because like I said, our head buyer at the time, I remember them literally landing in the building and she was running around the premises showing everybody these multi-barrel strands and they were absolutely beautiful lovely pastel palette um we had them in various different shapes we didn't have many rounds in actual fact but the reason why i'm saying this is because they were a certain price point they were round about i'd say 40 pounds depending on um the size now as an average i'd say about 40 pounds however whilst they were stunning, they didn't have the color that you're about to see now. And they didn't include the gemstones like Kunzite, one of the, regarded as one of the most feminine gemstone that exists on our planet, launched by Tiffany's and Co. I can probably count on one hand the amount of times I've seen Kunzite this year. That's how rare. Um, it didn't have the aqua amazonite you know the strands of aqua amazonite that we've been bringing and that we've launched you've got aqua amazonite in your multi-gem strand and the shorter strands that we'll be doing of aqua amazonite do you remember those ross from were they peruvian ones yeah 
it's of that grade, about 10 centimetre strand. It didn't have yellow beryl or heliodor, as it's known gemologically. These are nothing short of breathtaking. Take a moment to appreciate the quality of each of these stones. And again, I'll recap it. Look at those. Deb, they're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? I've never seen anything like it in one strand ever. Look and I've seen a lot of the gems. Kunzai. It's gorgeous. That's some of the best kunzai I've seen in a strand. That this is your aquamarine. And that's icy amazonite, did you say? The one that's coming around yeah. now, icy amazonite. I thought it was. Yeah, which remember how much that was for a 10 centimetre strand? You've also got your aquamarine, which is next to the app. Look at the quality of the aquamarine. Yeah. See, like seriously, perfect azure blues. And also you've got your yellow beryl, heliodor, essentially. Yellow beryl is heliodor. When was the last time you saw heliodor on our screens? These strands are breathtaking. And, and this is just my opinion. I would de-strand it, put them in individual little parcels, and then I would go, right, Amazonite, Aquamarine, Heliodor, Kunzai, yeah. put it in all, and literally just do that. Like the multicolored, like the Gumps jade piece. Yes, I agree. I repeat that, that pattern yeah. and knot it in a long line necklace. Me How too. gorgeous would that oh. be? But you don't just get the opportunity to own eight millimeters. You're also getting an opportunity to own six millimeters. One thing I don't know is quantities, Ross. Is it limited? Okay, so we only have 40 of the 8 mil and we have 75 of the 6 mil. But, you know, okay, it's what I've just had this sort of little reminder to myself. We've never done a strand like this, so 40 is actually quite exciting. Yeah. And you've got to remember, we've got to go to different areas of the planet to source your kunzite, to where you would get your amazonite and your aquamarine and your heliodor. That's the thing, all these different geolog uh, geographical locations. And then, of course, you want to have the best because, I mean, look, you couldn't put the finest kunzite and then not have the finest quality aquamarine um, or amazonite or heliodor. You need them to be complementary of one another. So 40 is actually actually really exciting only yesterday we were talking about boodles boodles is i think we'd all agree a very expensive jewelers here in the uk love it very much respected um, and they're really embracing your multi gems at the moment um, and the prices that we were bringing to air i mean they were faceted and they were in silk uh, in, in gold rather but they were like well, they're like five thousand pounds upwards so incredibly incredibly expensive look at the quality of the colors behind me i mean i could literally just watch that for days so good I. it's stunning shall we bring the graphics live icy amazonite azure blue aquamarine you have your green beryl you have your yellow beryl which is heliodor you've got kunzite Oh my goodness, all in one amazing strand. There's 40 though, so you're going to need to be really uh, quick with this. I'm intrigued to know, and I would like to um, sort of ask you to text in. Are you going to, jewellery makers, not it? Are you going to create a graduated strand if you get hold of the six mil? Debs, what would you do? Oh, I'd not it. I mean, that is perfection as it is. And it's all natural. Oh. There's no treatment. I would get the six um, and put it above the eight so it graduates down and just leave it as is. Because look at that of the neckline. That is absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. It's really, really gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. The graphics are live, jewellery makers. I've only got 40 available opportunities. Um, think about all the pearls that are coming up as well with these pastel palettes teaming it alongside white pearls how amazing that Ooh. would be in fact I'm going to do it because we've got some lovely pearls coming up within this hour as well so how about these which we teased you with earlier on with these I'm going to put them all on there stunning stunning imagine all that would you love that as a project Oh my goodness, the jewellery that you're going to create. Seriously, 
We've got 40 though. It is incredibly, incredibly exclusive. And that's because of the quality of the gemstones. And I wanted to reference, look, look, four or five years ago, we could bring you amazing gems. We could, we couldn't bring you massive quantities that our buying ability wasn't quite as broad as it is right now. And they were more expensive. A strand like this back then, I think would be three figures all day long. Mm. All day long. Your first price and they're natural. That strand is beautiful. Is that Susan? Susan it is. Quarter of the stock is confirmed. Morning, JM. Wow, need these in my life, says D. They're stunning, D. They're absolutely stunning. Your first price crash. First. Again, mm -hmm. five years ago, that would have been our closing price, I think. A full 38 centimetre strand. See these uh, these Amazonites? The icy Amazonite. Oh, I love those. Not that long ago we brought you icy Amazonite in a 10 centimetre strand, didn't we? And it was it was an investment. It was a great quality. It was a great price. But hello to you, Davinia, saying such vibrant colours. Gorgeous. They're lovely, aren't they, Davinia? Wait and we're not we stopping here. Oh, they're even better in person. Now, my call screen's stuck, just so you know, so I can't see your names. But our next price crash. Still not where we are closing. That's a big jump. That is a big jump. That's a really big jump. There's only 40 available. Um, all around the world are watching today. I've seen collectors from Australia. I've seen collectors from uh, U uh, UK, obviously USA as well. In your most sought after eight millimeter rounds. That is Kunzite that you're looking at. I can genuinely count on one hand the amount of times that I've brought Kunzite to wear this year. Yeah. And likewise, likewise, uh, likewise, that would be the same for um, our sister channel. Okay, I can see you there. D, you know you said how much you want them. You were the first person to make your confirmation, so well done, D. You're not alone. See something you love, get it without hesitations, because you know no matter whether you're the first or the very last, and you're chancing it then, aren't you? Um, then everybody pays that final low. So D's got hers, Manchester has, Cambridgeshire has, London, Lorraine, you've got yours, Kent, Nicolette, Davinia, Tracy. Davinia, you're, you messaged in as well. I had 40, that's it. 60 seconds and we're going to get to your deal of the day price tag one of the most exclusive deal of the days we've had um purchase mine and we'll be adding towards um for a fab suite of jewelry rd and i've seen these jewelry it's stunning isn't it yeah absolutely beautiful davinia imagine using the yes. six millimeters and the eight millimeters together to make a graduated long line necklace yes please that's that what amazing. i would do that's what i said divinia were great minds that's what i'd do Ooh. would oh, you knot it with like a pastel color as well yes super exclusive so if you want it you're gonna have to be quick jewelry makers you are ticket you're a gem collector with one strand as well oh. aren't you you've got kunzai how many people on this beautiful planet of ours can say they own kunzai or aqua amazonite with that translucency or goshenite natural aquamarine how many people can say that and how many furthermore can say that they only paid <laughs> see ross never puts the price on our deal of the day star sheet uh star by sheet because uh, i think he likes a live reaction <laughs> that's my reaction ross that's incredible at 39.99 there's multi buyers nicolette's got two davinia's up to a quantity carol's got two well done manchester very very exclusive for a deal of the day normally we might have yeah if we could have bought 100 or we could have bought 75 even we would have done believe me we would have done but we were able to get 40 and that's it 40 and it's still taking pride of place the biggest auction of the day i mean that speaks volumes the qualities that you are seeing here kunzite um a member of the spodgemine group um 
launched by Tiffany's ago at the beginning of the uh, well early 1900s. Um, you've got Amazonite, steeped in history, of course, but not often that we actually see um, Amazonite with that level um, of aqua, aqua translucency. The finest aquamarine with that wonderful azure blue colour. Loads you getting involved, jewellery makers, at 39.99. This will be, it's guaranteed to be an on-screen sellout. If you want the six mil, they are coming up as well. They're on pre-order right now, which is brave which is actually brave of Ross. Um, do you want to see how many genuine chances we have left? 15. Ooh. 15. So if you are Nottinghamshire, Ron, Pauline, Karen, Andrea, Joe, Angus, Catherine, Suzanne, Maker, Leicestershire, Tracy, Oxfordshire, you can do it, but you need to be quick. You really, really, really do need to be quick because there's multi buyers getting involved. I'm with you. I'm, like, like Davinia said, imagine a graduated necklace in this. Oh, it'd be stunning. Oh. It's all natural. I mean, wow. Look how gorgeous it goes with the pearls as well, Debs. I love the colours. The colours are beautiful. It's Ima gorgeous. Imagine your starfish <gasps> on the heliodor. Stop it. If anyone that wasn't with us this morning thinks that's the, probably the most random statement ever, but we had starfish this morning. We did. And they, they were, were beautiful. Amazing. Imagine the starfish charms on the Heliodor. Oh, it's so beautiful. Or in the Aquamarine. Oh. There's 10 left. You need to get a wriggle on. Tracy's got two. Tina, well done to you. Andrew, you've got yours. I've still got collectors in Berkshire, Nottinghamshire, East Sussex, Kent, London, Angus, uh, Lanarkshire, Suzanne, Maker, who wants three, uh, Leicestershire, um, and Oxfordshire. So if you want yours, you need to be quick. That's nine live chances. Oh, sorry, eight live chances as we speak. Definitely more than eight people on the phone lines and on the web. The six meals are coming up. You can literally shop ahead on those. I'm going to leave the final six. Because we're going to dive into, leave the eight, dive into the six. Should I hold this up to the neckline? Yeah. Look at these colours. Oh, it's summertime. It sings at the neckline. I mean, it's just asking to be worn, isn't it? Look at it. Oh. Look at the quality of your Amazonite. Look at the quality of the aquamarine. Look at the blush pinks of your Kunzite. I've still only got 75, and it's a six mil, so you know how popular that's gonna be. Ah, Adam, that recording is stunning. Imagine just a couple of your spacer beads dotted in between. Whether it's gold, silver, rose, it's gonna complement all of them, isn't it, Debs? So I was just, yeah, I was just thinking that, you know, when you can make the adjustable necklace that turns into a bracelet yeah. so that you can wrap it around yeah, your wrist, yeah, yeah. how beautiful that would be either as a multi stack of bracelets or one that you wrap around your wrist or that you can change into um, a necklace just by putting on your magnetic clasps. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. So you, could get, you can see it then, can't you, if it's on your wrist? Yeah, I'd want to. Yeah, me too. I'd want to be seeing this. I think it's been, I don't know, well, like I said, I think probably twice or maybe, maybe I don't even know. I can't remember the last time I brought Kunzite to wear. I, I cannot remember, remember the I last remember time. I seeing it, no. I very rarely now. The only time I've ever brought you Ice Amers Night, it has sold out. Mm -hmm. And it's limited quantities. How often do you see nat natural aquamarine? I know we did this morning, but again, sold out. We have 75 available and everybody that's watched and messaging is just like, oh gosh, look how beautiful that is. How can we not have those feelings with something like this? No, it's so unusual as well. First price crash. I love multi-gem strands. Have you noticed we don't have them that often? And that's because we've got to go here, we've got to go there, we've got to go here, we've got to go there geographically to be able to source all of those gemstones and to put together one individual strand. So they are few and far between and you have to have that quality matching as well. The Aquamarine needs to quality match the Amazonite, the Amazonite needs to quality match the Heliodor um, and the Kunzite. We have 75 and already there's collectors getting involved. We're not stopping there, jewellery makers. You want to see them with the pearls again? Oh, that is just it's perfection. It is. Or with your 12 o'clock masterclass. Oh. Absolutely.
absolute perfection. Good luck though, 75 is not a huge quantity. Would you go for like the, the um, Gump's inspiration? I know they did this with Jade, but would you go with the Aquamarine, Kunzite, Heliodor, Amazonite and do like repeat oh, that? Oh yes, you could do that, couldn't you? Pattern all the way around. These are the six mils. We've brought you the eight mil. I think the eight mil have almost sold out. 34 pounds and 99 pence only so the the eight mils are almost gone jewelry makers if you want those you need to be checking out on the web or speaking to our call center asap if you want to get hold of the six mil um oh there's two left of the eight mil oh i can show you two left of the eight mil so if you want to be getting hold of those you can but just if you want to get hold of the six mil you need to be calling through right now natural believe it or not We have a marginally bigger quantity. And we're not done. Ooh. The reason why I led into this deal of the day is talking about talking about the fact that we we've done multi gem strands before. Yeah. Um and certainly when we were part of immediate we did it. They were much shorter as well. Much, much, much yeah. shorter. They were much more um, expensive, sorry, than what's on your screens right now. And that's because of the buying power and the quality was lovely. Don't get me wrong, but I think you're getting you're getting amplified quality yeah. here as well. And that's because what that's what Gemporian know. They know gemstones. They know they have their own. They work with the laboratories to test them. We work with our own cutting cutters and cutting houses. So you know you are getting that amazing quality. We can source gems from all around the world and still bring it to you at the most affordable price tag. This is Jewelry Maker's favorite trusty six mil, but instead of having to choose one gemstone, you're getting in total Kunzite, Beryl, Aquamarine, Heliodor, Amazonite, five gems, all for under 30 pounds. <laughs> five gems, five rare rarities, That's amazing. five different locations, all going to be colour matched in a full 38 centimetre strand. It doesn't seem right for 29.99. No, it really it? doesn't, does it? You know, when you watch those gem hunting programmes and they go, oh, look, and they've got this tiny little gem. And I think we bring whole strands of that. Yeah. But how do they find it? You yeah. know, we take it for granted because we see it all the time, but it's not easy. No, it's really not. It's really not. The eight mil's gone. They've sold out. Oh. And I think this is a, rapidly going to follow suit as well because there's so many of you there. Jeanette, Alison, Leicestershire, hello to you. Karen, getting to Cambridgeshire, Alice, Nicolette, Northampton, Tracy, Pat, Cardiff, Wiltshire, Carolyn, Berkshire, uh, Jeanette, uh, Leicestershire's there as well. Karen, East Sussex, you've got two of these. Well done. D, Berkshire, Tina, Joanne, Cambridgeshire. I can't keep up with you, honestly, I can't. There were 75 available. It is a full 38 centimetre strand because that's the other thing. I remember the multi some of the multi barrel strands were 38 centimeter strands but they were like in my head 40 pounds upwards that's mm. what i seem to remember the multi gem strands were much shorter much 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 shorter and they didn't have ice amazonite the, the, the quality that david yeoman's working with right now incredible you know and the quality that that that, that louis vuitton are working with you know who are they yeah that big announcement they've done a big announcement saying that they're working with the icy amazonite i have 30 available opportunities jewelry makers the eights have gone should we sell out of the six by the way we should not be going any lower there can be one more crash hello alice oh my days these gems are gorgeous i'm so glad i got mine because i love aquamarine yeah. it is beautiful you know, when you look at these gems, look at the Kunzite with the Aquamarine. Look at the look at the Amazonite with the Goshenite. Just beautiful. Uh, not Goshenite, Heliodor. That's the yellow beryl. How beautiful this strand is. It is like summertime, captured perfectly. Now, I've got 25 left jewelry makers, and in 30 seconds we go even lower. Everybody will pay that final low. Um, since I've been chatting, Fiona, Leicestershire, Alison, Jeanette, Helen, Suzanne, and Virginia have uh, all secured yours. 
it's just they're just it's just beautiful isn't it it is you know it's like a we always talk about sort of like with your Sakura that we've got coming up a little bit later on, sort of the, the pastel palettes, um, the blossoms. Yes. I can almost see those pretty flower, floral blossoms in this round. But they're a rare, beautiful, genuine gemstones, a collection in 138 centimetre length. <laughs> Absolute rock bottom. We cannot go any lower than that. Because you think about the different locations around the world that we have to travel to to make this acquisition possible. It's mind-blowing when you actually see how people mine gemstones. Yeah. You know, if you get an opportunity, go and watch a documentary because we take it for granted. Go, oh, here's a strand of this, here's a strand of that. I mean, it will be miners all over the world to make that one strand. Absolutely. And how do they even match up the kunzite, let alone everything else on there? It's, a, it's, it's miraculous. It's stunning. And, I, and it totally uh, makes me... It, understand you know why we rarely see multi gem strands yeah me too you yeah. know because yeah. the length has to go to to actually source all of these varieties we had 75 jewelry makers these pearls by the way that i'm teasing you with are coming up as part of your secret pearl showcase Ooh. very exciting. exciting um but don't you think they just go beautifully together likewise they look amazing with pink pearls too um these are coming up we had 75 linda donna in saint ives d's up to quantity well done my lovely i'm um, getting to suzanne in Yorkshire, Mary, um, Alison and Rose, well done. Manchester, you've got to, you can still do it, but you need to be checking out your basket. So if you are Fife, Carol, Isabel, Maker, Manchester, Tracy, Tina, Joanne, Kay, Joe, Leslie, Julie, Alison, Pat, Marie, and those, Maria, sorry, and those are the names that I can see. You need to be checking out. We only had 75 opportunities and there's a whole heap of multi-buyers. So all of a sudden that 75 becomes what? 36. Mm, mm. Not quite. But not, not seen a strand, ever seen a strand like it. That was too difficult. 37 and a half. Yeah, there you go. Um, we have, do you want to know? Yeah. Ooh. That many left. Not surprised actually. Really not surprised. Tracy's just snapped up three. Well done, Tracy. I don't blame you. It's beautiful, isn't it? If I was to walk past any artisanal jeweller and they have this gemstone, maybe in a knotted oh, necklace yeah. or a mala or whatever it is, or a sweet, um, I would 100% be looking at that. So would I. I mean, it does look like something you'd get in boodles. It really does. Yeah. But it's the colours. Who, it's all about colour there. Yeah. We've got a message. Okay. Alison in Merseyside. Hello, Alison. Um... Have I missed the pearls, Elle? No, don't worry, Alison, you haven't. So we're going to cut to a very short break. And this next showcase was only planned literally yesterday. Our producer, Ross, messaged me in the afternoon. He said, Elle, it's your last day for two weeks because I'm going away on holiday tomorrow. He says, I tell you what. I'm going to put your number one favourite gemstone in the show, the biggest showcase that we've ever done in two years. Pearls like, it's coming up after the break, Alison, pearls like this. Oh, look at those. Oof. Pearls like this. Oh, we haven't seen that one yet, have we? Oh, pearls like this oh look like angelfish they're incredible pearls like this oh pearls like this <gasps> oh this is amazing <laughs> pearls like this do not go anywhere. And by the way, you didn't see this strand in there and you didn't see the pink pearls either in the heart box. These are massive rounds, absolutely massive rounds. 
it's honestly the biggest showcase that we've ever brought to you and the reason for that is obviously pearls are very difficult to uh, uh to actually source at the moment so we have to monitor the the volume of pearls that we include in any given show so this is the biggest pearl showcase we've done in absolutely ages do not go anywhere jewelry makers allison it's happening after this <laughs> Morning all, Alison Terry here. Just giving you a heads up of what's coming up on Saturday. We have got, oh, the most amazing, Jewels of Splendour. They're gorgeous. We've managed to get some more of one of my favorite ever gemstones, Nilmani, um, and they're absolutely stunning. We've got some more of the Panther um, clasp with the pearls. They are gorgeous. So they're coming up in the 9 a.m. And then in the 12 a.m., We've got a most magical, I love, I love malachite, it's special to me. So we've got malachite, um, we've got some black jadeite, and I'm going to be doing something a little bit different with it. So join us on Saturday to find out a bit more. Bye! it's Ellie and I am back with you on Bank Holiday Monday the 26th of August. We have these amazing beautiful different coloured agates in the greens and the reds also in this really beautiful deep blues. I've had so much fun working with them they come with some amazing cords as well I can't wait to share those with you and uh, that will be at 12 o'clock and at the 9am hour we have got the Czech rondelles along with the beautiful micro beads. I can't wait to see you guys soon. Bye. Good morning everyone, it's Mark here. I'm really excited to be joining you again on Tuesday the 27th of August and I'm here to tell you about my two project hours. Nine o'clock I have been given the most incredible, something I've never worked with before, faceted amber cabochons. And in the tutorial that you get free of charge when you buy either of the two kits is how to make this incredible gothic style necklace from start to finish including how to wrap the cabochon. Also had a little play and made this very, very statement cocktail ring too. And also we've managed to find a few strands of what was one of the most popular items we brought to air, the red and the blue amber. So bring in a couple of strands of those to air as well, all in the nine o'clock. So nine o'clock is all about the amber. And then at 12 o'clock, probably my ultimate favorite product since I've been part of the Jam family chip and nugget memory wire. We've got five bundles, each with strands of chips and nuggets alongside your bracelet memory wire. Absolutely incredible gemstones. We've got some kunzite, we've got some carnelian, apatite, absolutely beautiful. And the tutorial that you get with these bundles is how to, it's, it's basically, it's a, it's a fresh start and a fresh new look at how to make your memory wire bangles. It's not all about the bangles. I've made this really statement necklace, including some shell pearl and also a bit of rosary linking with this incredible lapis strand. So that's nine o'clock, all about the amber, and 12 o'clock, all about your memory wire and your chips and nuggets. I really hope you can all join us from 8 a.m.
I was just thinking, you know, like uh, um, in the break then, as I'm surrounded by some of the most amazing pearls that you could possibly wish to own, that isn't it funny? And I think every year our, our favorite gemstones change or maybe fluctuate a little bit. Certainly funny enough, I had a Facebook reminder and I showed you, Ross, didn't I, uh, the other day. And it was something that was going across social media. It might even be jewelry maker social media. And it was like, name your top 10 favorite gemstones. And pearls were in my top 10, but they weren't my number one. Uh, Zavrite was my number one. Was it? And then second, which I was like, oh, okay. It's, it's funny how it all changes, was Spinel. Really? Yeah. Which I like Spinel, don't get me wrong. But if you ask me now, I wouldn't put it as number two. So they do always change. But... Here's the thing though, it seems to be that the entire globe now has pearls as their number one favorite gemstone. Because pearls have never been more expensive than they are right now. True fact. Remember that before Mickey Moto and the development of the culturing process, every single pearl was, was found by free diving free diving to the depths of the ocean, feeling around for oysters, bringing said oyster to the top of the surface um, to try and find, remember they didn't have the diving equipment that we do today, you know, and seeing if there was a pearl inside. That's why they were the most expensive gemstone on the planet, bar none. And then fast forward to the current situation where we have, we are able to culture pearls. We can grow them in salt water. We can grow them in um, lakes and rivers. But um, we've also got lots of other factors that, that now are, um, are a cause of concern. I learned with you um, the other week that I didn't realize Akoya pearls, which are the original culture pearl, are dying out. Oh, that's so sad. Isn't it? Yeah with some form of disease that is attacking the juveniles, which obviously if you haven't got the juveniles, then yeah. you haven't got a coir pearls. Oh, that's sad. The, the actual harvesting is down by 70%. Really? Huge 70%. amount, huge amount. So do get a coir pearls if you get the chance. And then we think about, okay, it was fine. You've got, you've got other locations, haven't you? Um, Tahitian pearls, 10 years um, harvest bought out entirely so we don't get a look in there what Tahitian pearls we've got is what we've got South Sea pearls there is rumors of the same 10 years bought out future harvests you have the likes of Charlie Barron who is like a, um, a sixth generational pearl harvester who used to frequently go to the French Polynesia used to always be um, in Australia with the South Sea pearls used to be in Japan with the Okoya pearls now no longer actually trades in pearls and um, six generations i think that's really sad and the reason why he's not trading in pearls he's still trading in gemstones don't get me wrong so your diamonds your sapphires your rubies but that's because of the situation of pearls the supply of pearls is massively down add to the equation we knew that was going to be the case we knew that the supply of pearls was going to be down after covid because you remember, they, they call, so you can walk away from a diamond mine, you can walk away from a ruby mine, you can't walk away from a harvest of pearls. Because every single one of those oysters are turned, the barnacles chipped off the shells, the water temperatures are checked and asse assessed, checked for pollutions and things like that. You know, and that is done over day by day. On a, for a period of time, multiple years. So if you just walk away from those harvests, which they had to do, those oysters will literally return to the sea. So, oh, you're like, okay, well, you can do it again next year. Yeah, but you've got to mature the oysters. So there's two, three years um, investment of time straight away without producing a single pearl. Then you've got to start the culturing process, which can be another two, three years, depending on where you are, even more sometimes. So straight away, you've got, let's say, at least six years of no pearls. Oh, wow. Six years. The pearl harvests were, harvesters were actually saying, it's gonna take us a decade to recover. But then, what we didn't predict was the global insatiable appetite, particularly in China, for pearls. And we cannot compete with China's budget, firstly. We've shown you videos of us over in Hong Kong where for the first time ever this year, we went, our team went 
knowing they were never go we were not going to buy a single strand of pearls. We're going because they wanted to see, okay, well, what's the price? What's the price of these pearls? What's the price of a fresh water? What's the price of a Tahitian pearl? What's the price of a, an Akoya? £48,000 for an Akoya pearl strand. £48,000. Freshwater pearls. Remember that VT where, la uh, where Dave's chatting to that lady and she's saying, oh, yeah, here we go. I'm going to hold this one up. Oh, the large, pure white ones, like South Sea. 17,000, weren't they? Or something like that. Wholesale, not retail, wholesale. Pearls like this. So to be putting a showcase like this together is extremely special because we are fortunate jewelry makers that pearls have always been a hugely popular gem with us here at Jewelry Maker. So we can buy big and we have spent multiple millions of pounds over the years on pearls. We can't do that now just because the availability. And um, our team upstairs will actually manage the quantities of pearls that they bring to um, bring to air because obviously we don't want to run out. We don't want to run out. It's your number one favorite gemstone. So this showcase where you have over 20 different pearl opportunities is unprecedented given the current situation. And they're all different. If you love ripple pearls, got them. If you love natural purple pearls, got them. If you want the pure whites, in white, the South Sea uh, uh, shapes and sizes, got them. If you want the Keshis, the Baroques, if you love pearls, you are about to literally step into heaven right now. Debbie, literally, <laughs> she's going to be <laughs> oohing and ahhing like you would not believe. I'll try and control myself. Now, we said earlier on, Why were they a closeout? Only ever 30. Natural metallic, 0.01% of any harvest of thousands and thousands of pearls are metallic. And look at these. We only ever, look at that one. It's literally like 24 karat gold. Do you know what that reminds me of? The World Cup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Literally like solid 24 karat gold. Natural. All totally and utterly natural. How many have we, uh, how many have we got of these? Four. Okay. Straight away, again, make that three. Can we just say that is already too low? Already too low. You will struggle. You will be hard pushed to find any pearls of this quality for £2,000. The biggest pearl selection that we've done in over two years. Amazing. Today, straight down to two, if you're a pearl lover, then you're gonna be in your absolute element. Oh my goodness me, straight down, £299. They are golden. You've got gold, bronze, aubergines. I've got one left, jewelry makers. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. And we've got all the varieties as well for you today, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so if you are a pearl lover, look at that. You can get it home today for £74.75. and This is why, and I know I keep saying this, I'm so sorry, but this is why we should have 18 karat gold clasps. And our team are on it. We are commissioning our own. Um, normally, like you can go to our, our uh, competitor cooks and gold got gold clasps on there, or you can bear with us, and we'll bring them to you at amazing prices. Other than that, you're shipping them in from places like uh, um, places like uh, Italy, which these de these pearls deserve. They do absolutely deserve the gold. I've got one left. Who's getting it? I've got Geraldine there, Julie there, Christine there, uh, Christine there. I've got lots to bring you, so I'm going to have to move on. Natural Orchid, Edison. Uh, these are the ones we launched last week, weren't they? Oh, they're insane, these. I've got two. These are absolutely insane. They are gorgeous. Prepare, prepare, because they're perfection. Orchid is like a purpley colour, by the way. <laughs> oh. These are gorgeous. They are literally insane. Oh, they're beautiful. Because we look at that. 
go to Yoko of London, buy one single natural pink pearl. Mm. By the way, that's eight mil. Oh, is it? 500 pounds. And it's on gold. Yeah, it's on 18 karat gold. That's not an expensive component to buy. It's on 18 karat gold chain. It's the pearls that are expensive. You don't just get one. You're getting a full 38 centimeter strand and they are enormous. These are harvested. This is what was so exciting about Edison pills. They're harvested in the same way that South Sea and Tahitian pills and, a, uh, um, and Akoya pills are harvested with one tiny uh, nucleus bead, a spherical nucleus bead. And it gives it that template to form the most beautiful, perfect round. That was what was so exciting. Remember, that single pink pearl that's much smaller, not far off half the size, 500 pounds the whole strand for you today boxed beautifully boxed i've got two left they're insane these absolutely insane stick an 18 karat gold clasp on there oh my goodness that is i don't i'm not qualified to value but for me it's way beyond my budget if i was to see that in the jewelers that i used to work at it'd be five figures 100%. I'm not valuing it. I'm not qualified to do that. I can only pass on my experiences for prices of pearls of this grade were. I have one remaining opportunity. Oh, Ross, literally, this is the best show ever. Best show ever. Debs. These are, the, it's the color, it's everything about these I absolutely love. Just stunning. You can, you can be there on your sunbed on Hard Angel, be thinking about all these lovely things delicious goodies oh my goodness and you know what you can say like pearl paradise yoko asile lots of amazing brands on the high street well not that high not your everyday high street no. but you know that your expensive high streets your place vendome high streets and um, that produce are renowned for producing the fine or offering the finest pearls we are in that same oh on category doubt. yeah with, with this without strand. doubt oh there are eight people battling out for the last one it's 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 just incredible they're perfection remember your five virtues now from here are they the ones i've been holding oh i've been holding these oh have you seen these have you seen them oh i don't know do i yeah let's go cream oh no oh no Sorry, Jimmy. Are you ready? I've only got two. Sorry. Oh. Look at the luster from there. That's what you should be saying about your pearls. From meters away, look at the luster on those pearls. Oh my goodness me, look on the bust. These are, if you love I would personally describe these as fireball pearls rather than your block pearls because you've got that blaze of nacre. Agree. Which, by the way, you can't say if you say put yourself in a pearl harvester's shoes and you're going to go, okay, I'm going to I'm going to harvest some amazing oysters and I want them all to be fireball. That's not how it works. Um, a fireball pearl is um, a wonderful freak of nature. So every pearl that is uh, harvested, they have to have to harvest. As, a, as they want a, um, a near round, effectively, even if that's not what they're looking for. So occasionally, and it is very, very, very occasional, um, you will get, you will get an oyster produce surplus nacre, effectively. So you get these wonderful ripples, these beautiful folds of nacre across the surface. I all, I've always likened it this way. Think, cast your mind back, and I'm showing my age, cast your mind back to the um, chop, the Cadbury's Flake advert, when they used to throw that silk up into the air and the elk, uh, silk used to fall down and create those beautiful lust lustrous ripples. That's what you get in a fireball pearl. I've got two. This, this piece, knotted, gold class. Oh my goodness me. Breathtaking. This is a breathtaking strand. I would love to own this strand. Me this too. strand is the stuff that dreams are made of. I mean, it how is. could you ever afford a strand like this in a jewellers? How could you? 
what a conversation starter this is. Oh, you know, imagine gorgeous. wearing this. The amount of people that are going to go, oh my goodness me. Just Remember, Fireball Pearls have been, um, uh, and Barocks, have, have hugely risen in popularity. And I think Lady Gaga's got a lot to do with that mm. as well, because she wears them quite a lot, doesn't she? House of Gucci, it was in yeah. the movies too. Um, there's photographs of Lady Gaga wearing Fireball Pearls. Um, she wouldn't have sourced them for £299. So, Virginia, you've done it. Durham, you can do it. Manchester, you can do it. And... Who was the last person? Oh, we've moved on, so I can't see. But you can still do it for the final two. <laughs> oh, it's these, isn't it? Ross? Six? Number six? They're the ones I, I was... Let's put them up to the neckline. There was something about pearls that instantaneously just makes you... Hold your head up that little bit higher. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I know, Margot, I know. There is, you sit You sit up a bit straighter, you put your shoulders back, because a pearl will illuminate your face. Yes. You don't wear pearls. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it does, it illuminates you, and it can lift you, well, for me, I can only speak for me, but it lifts my mood when I put my pearls 100%. on. 100%. Yeah, 100%. I just and feel I a bit more glamorous. hundred percent. You know, if you think, they always say like, di look at them from there. They always say like diamonds on the red carpet, but actually now you're seeing just as much. Well, in fact, wasn't there an article that I shared with you once that actually, that actually said, are pearls the new diamonds? Yeah. I think so. Look at those. All of a sudden, I look like I'm going somewhere completely different, don't I? It's just stunning. Look at the, oh, they, I don't like to use the word perfect because... I don't like perfection, but they are pretty They are as perfect. close to per perfection yeah. as, po as you can possibly yeah. imagine. Yeah. And you've got to remember these are organic gems. You've got to remember that these are formed by oysters, literally, lovingly cared for over multiple years. Absolute perfection. And also remember that Edison pearls are very new to the pearl industry. They were set up by pearl radicals. Uh, that's what they referred to as. Um, pearl harvest radicals and the idea that they were going to take on the likes of the, the locations like South Sea and initially it was like don't be ridiculous you'll never take on South Sea and they're like why can't I nucleus, uh, nucleate an oyster in fresh water using the same techniques that they do in salt water and they achieved it and when they were launched in 2014 they were launched at thousands of pounds now this showcase I'm going to uh, give you a heads up is going to go crazy the first, look at them. They're beautifully graduated too. First, first price crash. If you are comparing, please make sure, well, in fact, what's, it's pointless. It's pointless comparing. Hi, Virginia. Hi, team. These look absolutely beautiful. Pearls are my favorite, not diamonds anymore, pearls. Uh, do you know what? Me too. Virginia, I think, so many people are actually with that same con uh, mindset. Your second price crash. How many have you got, Russ? How many have you got? Oh. I want to join you on this opportunity. These are absolutely incredible. We're not done at 199, but we need to see you there if we're doing this. Oh my goodness me. Right, remember, let's go through them together. The five virtues. And this is, goes for South Sea, Tahitian, Edison, um, Akoyas, Freshwater, whatever it is. Look at the perfection of these. Let's go through the five virtues. And you can find these on the GIA website. Size, goodness me, they're 11 millimeter upwards of. That's colossal. Yeah. Remember what Charlie said, a three carat diamond. That's the equivalent of any pearl over 10 millimeters. Um, remember, so size, color. These are pure pristine white. Then we start talking shape. Round pearls are still the most expensive pearls in the industry. Then we start talking about uh, the nacre, which is the skin of the oyster, the surface of the oyster. Um, these are almost completely perfect. Yeah. Um, then we talk about the most important, and that is your luster. How mirror-like is that luster? They've got all of those virtues in abundance. And then we go and do this. <laughs> what? What, a genuine question, where else in the world are you getting pearls of this quality? Genuine pearls. 
not faux, not plastic, not glass, genuine culture pearls at £149. Have you seen? That's perfection, isn't it, Ross? Tell me there's quantity 20, less than. Um, but I've got collectors getting involved. Imagine those knotted with silk. Oh. Imagine those on a platinum class. Imagine those on Bond Street. Oh, I can imagine those on Bond Street with a, a price on application. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I can imagine. 100%. Because pearls like this are the ones that people are, are just gravitate to uh, over millennia because they are the the, the, the the typical Chanel, the, you know... Constant. The constant, white, round, sophisticated, Audrey Hepburn. It's that classic, yeah. yeah beautiful. Audrey Hepburn or... Um, Jackie Kennedy, yeah, sorry, I went exactly. blank there for a second. Yeah, timeless. But actually, yours are bigger than hers. Yours are actually bigger than hers. And she wore those pearls a lot. <gasps> Royalty adorned. Well, that there's a little nod coming. towards your masterclass, yeah. everyone. If you love pearls, then you are absolutely in the right place. Look at Audrey's pearls. Um, and they're not real. They're actually faux pearls. Oh, was that, um, were they Chanel or something? Yeah. Probably, yeah, they're actually faux pearls, but made iconic, aren't they, really? But you can get that look by getting a vintage brooch and putting it on the front of your pearls. Yeah, 100%. And then take it off again if you, you know, want to dress them down a little bit. If you want those classic pearls, go round, go white. Oh, look at those. I know, just absolutely unbelievable. Rihanna doesn't do anything by halves, though, does she? Oh, that's nice absolutely unbelievable when we were talking about pearls being the new diamonds well here it is and it's not just for us ladies good guys should be able yeah. to get in on the act usher wearing his pearls he looks so cool he is cool he's got a little bag that's cool uh Who's... timothy chavalet uh... i've forgotten his name Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton looks cool with those on. Yeah. And then um, a, a, a drunken Jack Grealish. <laughs> um, amazing. Well done, everybody. I've only got four of them left. They're absolute perfection. Look at that. Literally, if you Google the finest quality pearls, I bet you something like this would come up. They are <laughs> Literally stunning. that image, I yeah. guarantee. I've only got three. You can get them home for £37.25. pence. Um, hello Virginia, I once wore some pearls from Jewelry Maker in Florida. A salesman in a jewelry shop um, said he loved them. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. Sheila in Dorset, hello to you my lovely. I've got these and they are gorgeous. They're perfection, Sheila, aren't they? Look at the reaction, our love of, uh, and it is without doubt Jewelry Maker's greatest strength. I can say that now, I can say that now, Fast forward a year, two years time when we haven't replenished the quantity that we're selling, literally, on a daily basis. Unfortunately, China will not export pearls at the moment because they can sell them at, in China for higher than we're, we can actually buy them for. Isn't that crazy? So what's the point of them exporting them, right? Who wants the colors? Oh, oh I love that one. This is beautiful. I'm going to go on a gold vest with it's this. It's very oh. sort of um, vintage tea party colours, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they're like champagne. Yes. Like pink champagne and yes. normal champagne. There's something, yeah, much, much, much more subtle about yeah, these colours. I love these. But consider that they have to match those colours. And these will be most likely maybe one, maybe two pearls per oyster. Not huge quantities, look at the size of them. Now these have previously closed jewelry makers at, I've got 10 available, that's it. No way if they close there. See that one there, Yoko of London, 500 pounds. Look at that match pair of papayas, match pair of pure whites. For the final 10, let's do a massive uh, closeout deals. We know jewellery makers, word has spread. 
Jewelers are shopping with you right now. Why? Because they know that they can get the finest quality pearls from Jewelry Maker and they also know that they can get them at an achievable price tag. Not paying the five figures that we were quoted recently and they were freshwater pearls just like these. Freshwater culture pearls that were five figures like South Sea, she said. And they were stunning, don't get me wrong. But that was wholesale. Wholesale price. They weren't even stranded. They weren't even on a clasp. They weren't even knotted. The final six, as if we're going lower, Ross. It makes no sense to be going lower. We've previously closed these at 199. They've sold very well. There's no reason for us to drop the price. It is Pearl Mania. The world is in Pearl Mania. And it goes without saying that's the lowest ever price. Debs. <laughs> Oh, I love it though, because, you know, if you love pearls, you love them. And to get the chance to own them, um, oh. so anything like this, I mean, it's just treasure. It's beautiful. Look at the quality of them. They are. Look at the colours. That's that pink pearl I just pointed out. There's nothing about them that I don't like. No, I know. They <laughs> are absolutely perfect. There's not one thing. <laughs> oh, they're so beautiful. Very pink. One. And that's all natural. You remember? Yoko of London, for a smaller size, is charging £500. For that one, I'm just pointing out one. Seriously, where else in the world? I've got one left. Um, I would check out ASAP. These are amazing. £37.25. Look at the quality of the bills. We are literally, I think yours are, yeah, more silver metallic. Um, we are literally comparing with some of the finest pearl jewellers in the world. Oh, the next up. I'm going to leave that last one with you because there's lots of you there. Oh. Oh, I, oh, Debs, are you ready? These are the ones, and I think these have caught quite a few people's attention, by the way. Oh, these. They're, you know the ones, mm. don't you? They're mine. <laughs> have you got these? No, I um, wish I did. How many? Eight. Oh, let's see them. Sorry, I, I've just got to take a moment. Rose overtones. And that's even, it comes presented. That's even, imagine this on your wedding day. Have you got these? No, I oh, wish. That's so beautiful. I wish, imagine if you're getting married and you were, you were gifted these on your wedding day. Talk about legacy jewelry. The most expensive color of pearl has a pink overtone. These are all pink overtones. Oh. oh my goodness. Again, can you imagine those at a bridal boutique? That would be the flagship piece, wouldn't it? Thousands. That would be the flagship piece. Be thousands. Thousands of pounds, yeah. Thousands of pounds. Knotted on a, I, and I would go probably a baby pink silk. Oh, yeah. With a rose gold clasp. Those ones, I don't know what it is, they just speak to me. They, I, is, they are absolutely beautiful. We've got eight, did you say? I think these are speaking to a lot of people today. It's the blush pink overtones that you're getting. It is. And listen, don't get me wrong, a pearl will reflect the, the, the colours that surround it. Mm. But these have also got a natural pink. These go from ten to 11 millimeters. They come presented like so. Again, I've got in my head that these are being gift to a bride on her wedding day. We're gonna go straight down to the price because there's already people getting involved. We're not stopping there. This is the biggest secret pearl showcase that we've ever done. Um, if you just happen to be watching, <laughs> no. How? I'd pay a hundred pounds for that box. One four nine. No, seriously though, what I mean, I'm not saying I would happily pay a hundred pounds, but in jewelers that would cost a hundred pounds. At least, at least. They've sold out. They sold out in 83 seconds. Oh, well done everyone, I'm so jealous. That's They're an unbelievable so deal. So beautiful. Well done. If you've tuned well in done. today, just on the off chance. <laughs> 
Stop I the bet... postman. Go outside now. <laughs> yeah, I bet you weren't expecting this showcase. <gasps> oh, they're stunning. Goodbye. <laughs> they are amazing. Now, Lauren's just brought out... How many, Ross? Nine. These are 10 to 13 millimetres in their size. Ripple pearls, which is all down to that nacre. Just imagine it's just like waves and waves and waves of nacre. Now, before you even see these, I'm going to tell you, if you love ripple pearls, if you love nacre, and most importantly, if you love luster, they are metallic, aren't they? They are listed as metallic too. Well, they should be. They should be. Um, okay. We're going to do a brand new load. Before I even show you them, they're insane. I've got nine available opportunities. Oh, Deb, you're going to love it. <laughs> I, aren't we fortunate? Sorry, I've just had that moment. Uh, how lucky are we right now? It's a full 38 centimetres round, yeah. Can I just say, I, I used to work, those of you that don't know me, I used to work in a, in a high-end jewellers and... It was quite an intimidating environment and I used to have to look after the pearl cabinet which whilst lovely was quite scary because they were actually some of the most expensive pieces in the whole shop and they sold Cartier, they sold Piaget, they sold Bulgari, all those yeah. jewelries, pieces of jewelry, but the pearls were some of the most expensive pieces. If they had this it would not be within my budget and it definitely, definitely would not be anywhere near jewelry maker prices. They go up to 13 millimeters. Look at the size on those. We're gonna do it in one price crash. How many, how many did you say? Nine. Nine available and we're gonna take it to a brand new low. With ripple pearls you get, it's embracing those beautiful folds of luster. Uh, hiya Jane. J, uh, JM pearls are top quality. Yesterday in, sorry, the Abernethy pearl discovered in 1967 was auctioned, uh, auctioned and sold for 94,000, <gasps> just one single pearl. Wow. Do you think as well, Jane, that that's a lot to do with the fact that pearls are probably at the most expensive price yeah. point that they've been for decades, centuries probably. Yeah, it's, they're at their peak right they now. They are at their absolute peak. Yeah. 94,000 and that's one single pearl. Crumbs. Jewelry maker pearls are incredible. And genuinely, I, I'm just gonna say it. The jewelers, that, uh, the pearls that I, used to be in the jewelers I worked at weren't as good as these. Were they not? No, they were lovely, don't get me wrong, mm. but I think our pearls beat them. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm, it was 25 years ago, yeah. but the quality of our pearls, I don't hesitate saying Yoko, Pearl Paradise, Asal, the best pearls in the world these would stand shoulder to shoulder with. We've taken it to a lowest ever price point. Don't try and make sense of the 149. <laughs> it isn't, it doesn't make any sense. We've never taken these any uh, anywhere near that price. It is a brand new low jewelry makers. And as if you can get pearls, genuine pearls, home today for less than 40 pounds. I totally get it. You know, the other day, Bex, who's new to jewelry maker, yeah. she's new to jewelry, and she was like, Elle, I'm a bit confused. How do you do pearls at these kind of prices when you're saying like the thousands and thousands of pounds? I totally get it. You've got to remember, jewelry makers, that you know we go direct where possible. Mm -hmm. Your average jeweler will probably find, uh, will probably buy one or two, maybe even, I don't know, like we had pearl strands that didn't sold the whole duration of my time in that, in that jewelers oh, really? that's why there were five figures you know i've got one left oh here it is abernethy pearl sold for nearly ninety-four thousand at auction the largest scottish freshwater pearl uh found in living mem memory has sold for ninety-three thousand nine hundred and fifty-one pounds at auction wow and it's one single pearl goodness me one single pearl amazing thank you for that by the way jane Make sure you're checking out, everybody. These have sold out. Next up. Number. Here. The, you, you'll know this one. You remember? Yeah, a lot of us have been going, ooh, ooh, <laughs> when the photo comes up. Yeah, you know when we were going, um, and Pearl's like this. Hiya, hi, Margot. 
Um, the Queen Mother had Tay pearls from the River Tay. There you go. There you go, which is the same place that that Ebenethy pearl was uh, was actually um, harvested. Amazing. That's lovely. And Sheila, uh, did I see a message recently saying Jeweler's Pearl Notting is now £35 plus? I looked into that, Sheila. I did look into that. I can't remember who was saying that it was about £35 per knot. I couldn't find anywhere saying that it was £35 because I was like, goodness me, I mean, that you could literally start a business, couldn't you? Mm -hmm. That's what they're charging. Mm -hmm. um, I heard that it's, it, it varies depending on where, where and are. obviously if you're commissioning it for a jeweller, but I think it might be, it's, more, it's done by the inch rather than by the knot. Oh. Either way, it's still expensive, so, but it's, a li it's less than that. But still, by the inch. I mean, it was five pound a knot when I was in the jewellers, twenty-five years ago. Oh right, so it must be considerably more. It's going to be more. It yeah, with inflation and everything, and it is an art form as well, isn't it, Sheila? Now, you know when we were building up, when we were leading into this and sort of talking about getting excited about this amazing uh, little secret showcase, and Adam was showing you little teasers, wasn't he? Pills like <laughs> yeah. this, and pills like this. One of the ones that you're about to see definitely made me, me uh, raise my eyebrows and stop me in my tracks. To, right, sit down, sit down, everyone, sit down. Adam, can we show that? Because that's absolutely incredible. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> Hello. There are nine. There's only nine. Oh, these are just incredible. These Aren't are. They? Oh. Because they're the most silver pearls I've ever seen. They are. Here Look at, at Jewelry the Maker. Luster. They are silver, aren't they? Yeah. When have we ever described a pearl as silver? It is like a silver pearl. Can you see the flashes of greens? Can you see the flashes of pinks? Yeah. And blues? Remember, can I show, sorry Ross, the Lady Gaga House of Gucci necklace? And I'm going to tell you these are better. These are better than Lady Gaga's Baroque pearls. Wow, I don't think I've seen her in... They're lovely, don't get me wrong. Are they from the film? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yours are better, aren't they? She looks amazing in them and she's been photographed. She didn't just wear them in the film, though. She wears them in real life. Oh, I love her. She's lovely. I love her as well. Mm. Yours are still better. Because look, yours are metallic. Would you agree? Would you all describe these? And I don't care what's on our graphics. Lady Gaga, what? She'd kill for these pearls, 100%. I don't care what it says in black and white on our graphics right now. Do we all agree they're metallic pearls? Yeah, yeah. Do you see a definite silver color to them? Yep. So we know that you've got the rarity of metallic 0.01% of any harvest, which a harvest will include thousands of pearls, mm. thousands. And then you've got the rarity, furthermore, of it being naturally metallic and a fireball. I've got nine. I think these would be one of the fastest sellers. They come beautifully, beautifully boxed. Oh my goodness me, I'm just gonna hold. Let's bring a clock to, to screens because I think this is gonna sell out in a heartbeat. Look at those, that blaze of nacre. Oh my goodness, look at this one. Oh my goodness. And they're all totally and utterly natural. They look like some beautiful tropical fish, don't they? They do. Why don't they say fireball? Because they look like They should say fireball too. and they should say 100% metallic, shouldn't they? Look at the sheer quality and sheer size of these. I've got nine available jewellery makers. Every single one will be completely unique. Oh my word. But there's nine. 22nd morning. They are the most silver pearls I've ever seen here at Jewelry Maker. They really are, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, isn't that amazing? 
normally we talk golds, don't we, and yeah. bronzes. Yeah. But these are the most silver or blue, borderline blue. Once, once, if you wait for the clock, I think you'll be disappointed. If you wait for the price. Uh. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. I don't want to say about that other than to just do a nervous <laughs> laugh. And go, yes, please. <laughs> do you reckon Lady Gaga bought her earrings for £149? First of all, I think they probably gave them to her. Yeah. Uh, but if she had to buy them, they're probably like 50 grand or something ridiculous. Because, yeah. Because, you know. And is, are they hard to make? No. Because they're through drill pearls. No, they are not hard to make at all. Through drill pearls, loop at the top, attached to a stud. Not it's, hard to make. No. Um, you can make multiple pairs of those earrings. How amazing is that? Um, I hope you don't sell them for £149, those earrings. I hope you, you know, look at the market and see the prices, especially given the natural metallic rarity, the size of these. I mean, they're colossal. 20 mil. <gasps> I've got one left. Oh, I'm in my element today. They're incredible, aren't they? Mm. One left. Who's getting that last one? Donna in St. Ives, Stella in Essex, Maker, Sorry, Jay, Rachel or Virginia. Who's, oh, Virginia, you got yours. Who's going to do it? Who's going to get that last one? Who? Toyin in London, you can do it. Oh, now there's Dorothy and Jacqueline for that last one. Oh, and Dorothy in Merseyside. Ah, hello to you, Jay in Lancashire. Wow. Three set of earrings and a pendant at £50, um, worth much more. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Do you know what, actually, Jane, when I was uh, three years ago in Tucson, uh, the only time I ever saw fireballs were individually, and they were not £50 each. They were literally individual yeah. in the little white boxes. Do you remember? We yeah, did it as we well. we did it. Yeah. Little individual white boxes. They weren't £50 each. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight and almost 20 mil. They're gorgeous. They really Nine are. on the one in the recording. Okay. And they come boxed like so. <gasps> Next up. Oh, these are amazing. If you want the strength of colours, I'm going to go with my... Look, you know I'm excited because I've got a selection <laughs> of busts here that will complement the pearls. See what I mean? I coordinate the busts of the pearls so you know that... It's like you were saying about your water casting. You can tell I'm in my element right now. Oh, yeah. And these are, just to clarify, your favourite gemstone as well, aren't they, Oh, Debs? hello, yes. <laughs> hello, hello. Have you, can you not tell? Sometimes I get so many pearls and I think, where else can I hang a pearl? <laughs> yeah. I need somewhere yeah, else. Hold on, I'll put one in my hair. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness me. I remember us launching pearl strands like this for the first time. And it was pre-pearl mania. Um, as I, that's an Lism, by the way. That's not something I've ever seen in any article, but the world has gone crazy for it. No, so. I think that's accurate. Um, and I can tell you they weren't anywhere near the price you're about to see today. So if you can't put your finger on what's your favourite colour, are they the natural purples? Is it the natural peach? Mm. Is it the purest of whites? These are literally... White, peach, purple, white, peach, purple, white, peach, purple, all the way around. How many? Nine. Nine available. Ah, oh, Debs. When I look at pearls, I'm fairly unimaginative. I just want to literally knot them and put them on a gold clasp. I think that's what, you know, we used to back in the day, you know, the most complicated thing that you could do. And now, if something's beautiful, you know, I'm more likely to wear it just knotted or, mm. you know, strong. Um, because you know it's perfection it's beauty it showcases them it just showcases the, the sheer beauty of them and it's safe as well another reason why we knot pearls is because obviously if, if heaven forbid it does break yeah. worst case scenario you're only going to lose one pearl exactly um, now the first price crash jewellery makers but also not what you're paying they are near round pearls. We always err on the side of caution. I think sometimes we're a little bit too cautious because look at the quality of these. First price crash, not what you're paying. We've never done, like when was the last time you saw a pearl showcase like today? It's been years, it's been absolutely years. But they've all been limited quantities. Mm. First price crash, 
We're going lower. Virginia Wiltshire, well done. Near rounds. Oh, look at them. Oh, look at them. Aren't they beautiful? One, two, nine. Oh, that's amazing. What an amazing gift for somebody, you know, if you're thinking about Christmas. Um, imagine that giving that to somebody. Or if you've got a special birthday, special anniversary. Just what a gift. Pearls are an heirloom. Yeah. I, I, you know, pearls for me, like any, any piece of jewellery, basically, they're an absolute heirloom. You know, I buy t pearls not just because I'm fanatical about them. I'm sure you're exactly the same, Debs. I buy them to pass on. Because Absolutely. Because let's, 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 let's put ourselves in, say, Clemmy's shoes, for example, or Daisy's shoes, mm. you know, um, or Willow and Tiggy's shoes. You yeah. know, when I'm gone... Say they fall, they fall in love with pills, then they're most likely not going to be able to afford them because look at the prices at Yoko in London. Look at the prices yeah. in places like Pearl Paradise yeah. or in the jewellers local, local to us. £500 for two. Five, can we show those earrings, actually, Ross? The ones when you were window shopping in Stratford. Literally, that's about 18 miles away, by the way. 18 miles away. It's a lovely jewellers. It's not a big name. It's not Boodles. It's, okay. not, it's not Louis Vuitton. It's not one of the big brands. Um... It's, a, it's a, a privately owned, family run jewellers. You've got, you could make so many of those pairs. So many of them. They were charging 500 pound for two. Oh, look at those two, there you go. You've got loads there that you could do earrings with that yeah. are matched beautifully, haven't you? Down to the last one. Marion, Virginia, Christine, Wiltshire, Janice, Maker, Linda, Cheshire, Surrey, Jay, Patricia and Virginia. Not all of you have checked out as of yet. I've got one left. What's the split payment? £32. Wow, that's absolutely incredible. Well done. I'm going to leave that with you, that last one. The other one in the box, this one. I've not even looked in this one yet. Do you know, I was like, oh no, keep some of it as an element of surprise. This one. It's a lovely colour. I've been looking at that box thinking, I'm dying to see what's in there. You see? It but hasn't been open, has it? No, I deliberately haven't. Oh, they're special. <laughs> Come on, share, share, no, share, 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 share. Oh, I've got 14 of these. Ah, oh, that what? Natural metallic pearls. Sorry, I'm sorry. I literally lose concentration of where I am and everything when I'm... Are you ready? In fact, I'm going to give you the experience that I've just had. So firstly, imagine this. Mm -hmm. Imagine that one of your nearest and dearest... I've, I've, I don't know, maybe it's a birthday or Christmas. You know that I love it because I, I literally stroke, stroke it. Stroke it, yeah. <laughs> and I'm there with you. It's my birthday, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. it's your birthday, yeah. Debs. Yeah, And you're and a I very open. special friend to me. And Aww. I've treated you to some something really special just like you are we in barbados at the time we're in barbados yeah, yeah. we've it. both got a cocktail yeah good okay yeah. just setting the scene <laughs> yeah um and this is what you open oh <gasps> they are round if we've put near then it needs editing natural metallic Multicolor. Look at those Debs. Oh, I've just spilt my cocktail in surprise and gone, oh. hell, you shouldn't have. But you're worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the quality of these. Oh, they're beautiful. These are perfect rounds. And also, look, I get it. We can bring you the 20 mil. We can bring you the 13 mil. Mm -hmm. Not everybody wants those no, sizes. No, no, no. So these are a little smaller. They're not small by any stretch, but smaller. Um, so something that you could absolutely wear, you know, on every given occasion. But we need to focus on those five virtues. Uh, those five virtues: size, shape. They're perfect rounds. I know we've put the word near in there. We shouldn't have. These are eight to nine millimeters in their size. Right. Okay. Color? Are they dyed? No, they're natural. Oh. Have I said so? What have I said? Size, shape, color. Nacre, remember that statistic. 0.01% of all pearls are naturally metallic. Hello, Maurice. I have two sets of these. They are fantastic. Oh, lucky you, Maurice. They're absolutely gorgeous. Just down the road, Maurice, you are. Naturally metallic. So, yes, they have high, um, amazing luster. 
and smooth nacre surfaces. I've got, did you say 16, Ross? Now with the exception of the green pearls that you see in that shop window, you've got the whites, you've got the pinks, and instead, so yeah, actually, look, let's go this, this. Natural purples, like a dusky, natural pinks, pure whites, purple, pink, white, purple, pink, white. Oh, these are stunning, Debs. Yeah, these are gorgeous. Uh, you know what I love about this size as well? You can layer them and get more pearl strands on. <laughs> you know, like sometimes mm. I'll wear a thinner pearl strand yeah. as, as a shorter length. Yeah. and then a longer one. I don't multi-strand them because sometimes I want to wear them on their own. Yeah. But you know, if you've got like a white blouse and jeans and you just want to jazz it up with your jewellery, then I just, I get my layers out. <laughs> and I love just, that. I love the fact that Deb's even talking about <laughs> layering the pearls. Like, like, like pearls being one of the most expensive gems at the moment in, in, in the industry. Darling, layer sometimes them. Sometimes <laughs> with my jeans, I just want to throw on more pearls. You know, I can't, how amazing is that? Because I can. We're at 149, Debs. If you want to layer these, yeah. tell you what you need the best price, don't you? I've got 16. I've got 16 available. Virginia's there, Wiltshire's there. Thank you, Maurice, for messaging in as well. Catherine, Wiltshire, Cheshire, Sheila, and Virginia. I can't keep up with you. Lucy, we're going even lower. Oh, yeah, just like, we are literally talking about throwing on some of the most valuable <laughs> gems know. at the moment aren't we and that's because of jm that's because of split pay that's because yeah. of our buying power because i wouldn't be able to afford pearls like this from anywhere else i wouldn't i wouldn't have one strand i was in um a costco once and they had i didn't know their jewelry in there and they had this really average strand of pearls and they were like 400 pounds and i was like this is costco and they're not even very nice i mean i don't know if they were dyed or what they were but i just I had to look at them because they, they were 400 pearls, pounds 400 though. pounds yeah we're at 149 and going lower and these are natural near round they were nothing metallic. like this they were nothing boxed like this. yeah beautifully boxed i mean at prices like that you can lay your pearls i'll let you, you go ahead <laughs> do it do it but they're heirlooms, aren't they? These are heirloom oh, yeah. pieces. Absolutely. Oh, I'm loving this. Today. <laughs> Layer your pearls. £129. You go to Ernest Jones yeah. or Beaver Brooks. Yeah. See what £129 gets you in the pearl world. Maybe a pair of studs? Maybe. Yeah, maybe, I don't know, I haven't looked, I but know. maybe a pair of pearl studs, maybe, yeah. I, and even then I think you're probably hard pushed. And it really annoys me at, at some companies, when I'm looking, I'm looking at all the small print and everything, and they don't tell me about the gemstones, they don't tell me if they've been treated or heated or, you know, we're so transparent with everything that we sell here that we can trace it right back to where it came from. Yeah. And I won't buy unless I know those things, and we no. take it for granted because we tell everybody all those things here. Yeah, I mean, would you, I, I didn't even know they could dye pearls. No, me neither. But obviously that takes away the value. These are not dyed. These are natural colours. And you've got to match that colour. You've got to match that colour. You've got to match that colour. Do you know how hard that is to do? It is so hard. From the heart, you've got to imagine. I've, said, I've, I've shown photographs before. They are, of these sold out? If you think about a pearl harvest, so literally they will sit in amongst hundreds of thousands of pearls, literally surrounded literally individual pearls and then they start sorting that out <sighs> hours i'd love to do that job me too just roll around with it yeah i feel like oh hello little pearls oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh what now i can't <sighs> deal with this excitement i need to lie down on like put rounds oh these are incredible i'm gonna go this one i'm gonna go this one there's only two so be quick <laughs> just yeah. roll around in the most amazing place. Can you imagine? Oh. oh, they're lovely. Classic. Classic. My nana had some like this. Classic, Beautiful. classic pearls. Do you know, that's the thing as well about pearls. You remember, don't you? You've got, they've got lovely memories attached to them. I mean, they are perfection, aren't they? That classic. Ripple pearls, again, you do have very... With these, I have to say, it's a very gentle ripple. Yes. So, um... It's not, you know, like, a, for example, with your rosebud pearls, where they're very mm -hmm. textured, a ripple pearl is really, really, really subtle. Um, 
we've only got two and by the way it, marion you've just got yours well done we're at 129 ross gone well done under the blue box under the blue box i've got six this is the biggest pearl showcase I don't know. In fact, let's do both. These are nine to ten mil. They come. <sighs> I Graduated. Love huh? I love the box. It's always a good start, isn't it? You know something good's coming. Ross, you bought these, didn't you? You bought these for your sister, didn't you? Oh, I've worked with these. Are these the ones? Yeah. God, they're lovely. They're amazing, aren't they? Yeah. Debbie um, also... <laughs> are you a good egg, aren't you, Deb? <laughs> Debbie, you also knotted my mother-in-law's pearls. I find it really mindful, sitting and knotting pearls, because I love them so much, I get to hold them. And you should be charging, Ross, for that £35 per <laughs> knot, remember? <laughs> I'll charge him a cup of tea. I'll, I'll charge him a cup of tea. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You can basically bill me for the ones that you did some, uh, a few months ago. A cup yeah. of tea and a biscuit will do. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking, Ross. I'll look at them though. And um, Ross, you know, you see probably thousands upon thousands of pearl strands in any given day, don't you? Um, but this is the one that he chose as well. I don't blame you, Ross. They're absolutely gorgeous. The fact they're presented, you've got that whole experience. Six of them available. Um, beautifully graduated as well, you can see. So the reason why I put both busts is because remember we said that pearls will reflect the colours of their yes, surroundings. Yep. So they'll literally colour, reflect your skin tone. That's yeah. why pearls complement everybody. Um, but if I take it off here, and show you on here. <gasps> oh, again. Oh, I love it on the blue. They look like you're going to give those to a member of the royal family. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Hi, Sonia. Um, I've got these pearls. They're incredible. Yeah, they're they are lovely. incredible. They're gorgeous, aren't they, Sonia? Do you know what else is incredible? This. <gasps> oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I hope your sister's not watching. But now they're knotted and they've got, you know, they're all... They've sold out. The reality is, they would be four figures. Upwards of four figures. Well, yeah, they would. If you're knotted and you put your gold Anywhere clasp else, on... 100%. That's what they're going to cost. Ross, where did you get your gold clasp from? Cookson, same as me. Cookson, they've There's got gold clasp at the clasp, moment. Yeah. Or... It, were they similar? It was, yeah, very similar, yeah. They might um, be the same, I think we actually. had the conversation, didn't we? Like a little leaf, like a little... Yeah. yeah. Or, literally, if you wait, it's on the horizon. I'm going to wait. <laughs> and listen, I've got no problem with, with silver. I haven't. But when we're talking about pearls of this grey that you're seeing, putting them with gold or platinum is only amplifying and also complementing the quality of the pearls that you're getting agree right okay we've got a few more auctions but we're going to do a massive closeout deal on the next one brand new low star by opportunity on the only as i've mentioned them the rarest pearls that we have in our vault full stop natural multicolored rosebud pearls. No way have we got quantity of these. There's over 50. And we're gonna do a brand new low price tag on Un unbelievable okay i'm going to show you on the back uh, in the hand first before we do i know there will be people who are watching go what's a rosebud pearl i've never heard of a rosebud pearl i hadn't until um dave actually launched these you can get different variety of pearls you can get we've spoken about a few we can get your keshis beavers baroques buttons rounds you can get uh, drop pearls, you can also get gems, uh, pearls like Bahrain pearls, you can get turtleback pearls and you can get rosebuds. Now can I ask for that 
yeah he's he knows because this isn't mine i actually don't know where um where we sourced this from but basically i'm just putting those down for one minute just to explain so you have pearls are all cultured at the moment yeah well full stop pearls are all cultured now if ever you if you see anywhere that says just natural as in what that suggests is obviously the color and the process, they're not dyed and anything like that. But the original natural pearl was the free dived mm. ones that we were talking about earlier on. Imagine how difficult that is in the vast oceans without any diving equipment, yeah. diving to the bottom of the sea, feeling around, because obviously you probably can't see down there, for your oysters. Oh, found an oyster. I'll take it up to the surface. Oh, no pearl. Back you go. Can you imagine? Can you see why they were so expensive? Yeah. Now, these days, obviously, we culture them. The rosebud pearl is the only cultured pearl that you can literally call natural. Because even though it is formed as part of the culturing, um, not, not the only pearl you can call natural, I don't want to be confusing, but, but you would put in that category of rarity as the free dive pearls. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because even though these are formed as part of the culturing process, it's again completely, completely unpredicted. So I want to show you this chart, and it's not something that Jewelry Maker or Gemporia have put together. But can you see, you've got there sort of your Keshi pearls, you've got your different varieties, colours, tones. But let's look to the right-hand side that shows you the different uh, pearls that you can get. Turtlebacks, exotic snails, exotic rosebuds. Mm. So, and a rosebud pearl, sometimes referred to as a popcorn pearl as well, has got these really wonderful, beautifully gnarly textures to oh, them. Lovely. I love it, absolutely love it. Now I'm gonna show you this because they'll have a flat surface on the underside, which is great if you wanna, obviously you'd knot them so that that goes down. But can you see, you get these amazing textures and they're all naturally colored. Look at that blue, look at that blue one there. All naturally colored. Look textures that you're seeing there this is without doubt and it's the only rosebud strand we've got in our vault without doubt the rarest pearl strand that we have because there is no way of saying i want you to be a rosebud pearl what do you think it is and i honestly don't have the answer that happened during that harvesting process that created these beautiful ripples are you ready these are completely and utterly natural. We're going to pop it up on the bust. Um, totally natural. Yeah, here you go. There's 50 available opportunities. So I'm going to pop this on the bust. Um, and this is your call to action, jewelry makers. Our sister channel, who is about to... Can I get one with a, an elastic, Jimmy? Is that all right? Um, our sister channel, who is about to celebrate their 20th birthday. Aww. Massive event, massive, massive event. I've learned from um, their management team that actually they haven't spent... Normally they allocate 30% of their budget, perfect. 30% of their budget to uh, pearls, 30% of their airtime to pearls. They can't do any of it because they can't, they literally haven't got the quantity for the first time ever. This, we could so simply, and I don't want to seem like I'm gloating right now, but we could so simply knot this, put it on 18 karat gold class, pop it on, pop it on our sister channels, um, TV screens, and I can tell you it won't be at your price point as it is today. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you for that, Jimmy. Um, here they are. Every single rosebud pearl will be completely unique. Yes, you do have one flat surface to your rosebud pearl, and then you get these really beautiful textures. Obviously, as you are creating, you will make sure that you position them perfectly. I've got 50 available. They can be big as well. You think rosebud pearls are literally third down on that list. That's in terms of the rarest, rarest pearls in the world. In the world. Believe it or not, I've got over 50. Your first price crash, but not while we're closing. Look at them. Look at them. Not, what are you thinking, Ma? Seriously, though, we could actually. You know, you do know, I've just seen Jake walk past. Jake, Jake is gonna be looking at this auction going, I could literally just put those on Gemphoria with a gold clasp. Ross, he's like, no, they're jewelry maker pearls. 
That's the reality. These are jewelry maker pearls. You get first refusal. Look at the quality of those debs. They are just stunning. They're almost like they've got almost a stardust effect. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Like when you do it on silver, we call it a stardust effect. It's like that magical sort of glittery effect. They're so amazing to think that they're naturally formed like that. Naturally formed like that. Like I said, it's in terms in terms of rarity, you know, it's up there. With, well, it is considered to be one of the uh, one of the rarest in the top three, most certainly. Um, already, we have collectors securing theirs. We have jewelers shopping to get today as well. Suzanne, Jan, well done to you. Lanarkshire, Peter and Sharon, Maurice, Jeanette, Manchester. They're so different to any other sort of. Any, probably any pearl necklace that you've seen anywhere else. Yeah. Because it's, I didn't, I've, first time I saw rosebud pearls was a couple of years ago. They're very Lich contemporary. Yeah. You can make some really unusual designs with these. Your jewelry is going to really stand out whether you're wearing it, gifting it, whatever you're doing with it. But like look it. at these. They're just, they are, they're contemporary, they're unusual. I'm gravitating, where am I, towards this one? Yeah, look at the colour of that one. And this one though, look at that. I was looking at that one, that's my favorite one. Aren't they amazing? Are you ready? Because I've got 50, that's the only reason we're bringing this price to air. A brand new low price tag. Oh, really? it's making me really nervous, Ross. We're talking about the rarest strap pearls that we've got. This is the rarest pearls that we've got. Doing a massive closeout on the rarest pearls that we got. That's a strand of rosebuds as well. These are normally sold individually. Well, yeah. I mean, I want these for my galaxy collection. Oh, yeah, they'd Can be lovely. Can you imagine your little starfish on there, on the bottom of there, or statement pendant, or one of those baroques? Oh. I mean, yes, please. Yeah, mix those up together. And they're all so unique, totally natural in their colours. Look at those beautiful ripples and those wonderful kind of... I almost said gnarly, and I don't know if that's a fair word, but, yeah, you get these lovely, almost spiky-like textures. Yeah, you do, which I love. A little love. bit like a sea urchin. Like you found it yourself. Yes! I love that. Oh, with the cut, with the the techniques you were showing yeah. in the nine o'clock hour, they'd exactly. be amazing. They'd be gorgeous. Bracelets. I can't charms. believe we're anywhere near double figures, Debs. We should be. This should be the most expensive strand that we've bought yet. I know. All right, they're not the biggest, but they're popcorn pearls. This should be, or or whichever rosebud pearls, whichever you term uh, call them. This should be the most expensive strand that we've bought you thus far. How? Are we at 69.99? <laughs> oh, that's a nervous laugh. That is a nervous laugh. 17 pounds and 49 pence on split pay. I mean, I, I listen, I'm happy for you because I'm out the door this afternoon and literally I don't have to take the repercussions. <laughs> <laughs> no, you'll be far, far away. I will be far, far away. How amazing is that? We had 50, London, Gerda, London getting two, Genoefa, Virginia, Denise, Barbara, Pamela, Anna, hello to you, Patricia, Cardiff, Rupal, Toyin, Linda, Carol, hello to you, Marion, Karen, Donna, Janet, Nikki, um, oh, it's our lovely Nikki, um, Gerda, hello to you, Brenda, Donna, Kate, we were talking about you earlier on, Nikki, all good things, all good things, uh, <laughs> Donna, well done, hello Dee, this is the best show ever today, I'm finding it hard to not keep buying. I know, it is Dee, I totally agree. But I think when you see things like this, I know we say it, but you have to get them, because it's not like we're going to get them... No. You know, when you get them all in one show... I mean, we're not meant to do them all in one show, that's the thing, <laughs> so that's the reality. So, <laughs> hiya Jane, rosebud pearls are fab, made a necklace of white ones for a friend's oh, yeah. uh, teenage daughter and she loved them. Yeah. I bet she did, Jane. Oh my goodness me. I'm literally in heaven. There's only five left of the rosebud pearls and I'm only moving on. Can I just say, I know that there are jewelers shopping with us right now. Mm. Um, I've got two more strands they want to, I want to bring to you. Mixed color, we always err on the side of caution, near round. Um, over here. In white. Oh yeah, sorry, you did the same mixed colour. I've got them, Ross, they're amazing. Oh, you've got, you've got literally like a glass of champagne colour in these. Oh. That's what I feel like we should be doing, jewelry makers. We should all be sat here admiring these amazing pearls with a glass of champagne in hand. 
I've got 40 available straight away. We're going to start at this price. Natural. Straight down into double figures. Oh, look at that, Debs. I've never seen those before. Look, they're ombre for you. I love them. Literally ombre from the darker purples to the pinks to the pure whites. Literally mirror image. Then we're going to go up. Then, says Ross, I'm going to go to this price. And then, I'm going to put a minute clock on the screen. <laughs> Is there many of these? 40. Oh, but, you know, normally we're like, oh, I'd ombre that, which takes time, doesn't it? This is all ombre for you. No, it's perfect. You just restrand that. Shall we, shall we, here you are. So I turn sideways for Jimmy. Look at this. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful purples. There. <laughs> then you've got the beautiful pinks. <laughs> Adam, you're fired. <laughs> into the beach <laughs> and into those beautiful pure white. He's making us laugh again. Oh, my goodness me. There's 40 available. As if we're even suggesting going lower. The what, sorry? The ultimate pearls. Penultimate. <laughs> <laughs> and ultimate as well. <laughs> Let's go with it all. All the eight. <laughs> Natural ombre. No way. No way. Oh, fuck. it is literally. I'm gonna D. What you said. This is the best show ever. The best show ever. And everything has gone together, isn't it? So beautifully. There's only one thing wrong with this show. What? I'm not at home watching it. Yeah, well. <laughs> But then I wouldn't get to see everything really close up, which I love. Bring your purse. Your, 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 bring, bring your purse. <laughs> bring, your, bring your phone on How air. How much for your pearls? <laughs> yeah. Literally, uh, literally, bring your phone on air. That's what I do. Yeah. The only reason I'm not shopping today, A, is really busy, so I probably miss out. But also, I, I'm going on a holiday tomorrow, so I really can't afford to. Yeah, well, true. I would love to. I would be in my absolute element. But for me, it's a privilege just to be with them. That's what I mean. An just absolute privilege. Since when do, we're quite lucky. Since when do you, in the flesh, see all of the sorts of things that we bring? The variety and the rarity yeah. that we actually get as well. Yeah. The quality, the most importantly. Like you just said, as if I didn't know, I didn't know Costco do jewellery. No, I didn't. I was they don't do jewellery like this, by the I way. I was looking for the car shampoo at the time. The car shampoo? <laughs> for my son, who has to clean his car every, like, two times a day. And I went, oh, look. And, and I couldn't get over the prices. And they're supposed to be, like, Are you talking car shampoo or pearls now? Pearls. Oh, a car shampoo I'm not bothered about. I don't know what's good and what isn't. £400. £400. And they were, hmm. they were... They were pearls, and I love pearls, but they weren't anything special, in my opinion. Yeah. Potato pearls? Yeah. All right. Are you ready for the finale? <gasps> Yes. Can we just take a moment for those people that have just joined? This showcase it was only planned yesterday. Um, Ross dropped me, Ross producer Ross dropped me a message and he said, Elle, um, I've put together a secret pearl showcase. It's the biggest showcase we've done in years. And that is because of the current situation. Mm -hmm. um, basically, you think about the pearl market when you've got Yoko of London reaching out to us, not us directly, Dave, where are you sourcing your pearls from? Because there are pearl pieces they've got on their website that they can't offer. Mark, guest designer Mark, lives um, in Whitney. In Oxfordshire. In Oxfordshire. Yeah. A nice area. Mm. And he's got some lovely jewellers local to him. Mm. And he said, for the first time ever, he's actually seen a sign in said jewellers who always have had pearls that says pearls are no longer available due to supply issues. Oof. We are seeing it happen right now yeah. firsthand. Mm -hmm. So this showcase was, is something that really the management team would want to avoid because obviously we don't want to sell out of our pearls and we can't replace them. Hello, Maurice. Costco charged two hundred pounds for a single Brock <gasps> pearl as a pendant. Really? Do that. I would been never for think of Costco for for jewellery. No, and, and they've just got like a cabinet. It just surprised me because I didn't expect to see it. So I had a little. Look. So I've never been to Costco. Yeah, it's good for Christmas. 
Good for crisps. You can get a and they do box. a nice cake as I'll well. Have this box of crisps, car shampoo and pearls. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a, that's a, this is the thing. Like Tom, my husband always jokes. It's a little bit like Aldi and Lidl, Central Isle. Yeah. Like you go in there for some milk and you come out with a canoe. Yeah. You know, yes. it's like, it's true. I bet that's the same. And I've never been to Costco, but I feel like I should. Anyway, I bet they're not bringing pearls. And this was a while or ago. Or not replacing their pearls. This is about a year ago. We have the finale strand to round off what has been an amazing showcase. Which, which is what? Ooh. Oh, classic. Classic pearls. We've got the most amazing project coming up with Debs as well. If you love pearls, this doesn't finish here. We go from a showcase to regality with Deb's masterclass and also enormous sizes, oh. specially commissioned pieces coming up with our amazing Debs. This is pure white. Did you just, are they described as nugget, did you say? Nugget pearls, when was the last time we had nugget pearls, jewelry makers? Which basically, they have these kind of freeform shapes. I love that. And it's not the most romantic description, is it, I guess? Um, however, neither's mutton fat for Jade. No, I always think that. Neither's chicken skin um, or pigeon blood. None of these are romantic <laughs> terminologies, but that's literally what you describe some of the gems as. Um, nugget pearls, they've got beautiful free formations. Now, it is our finale. Okay. Let me just leave this with you for one second, because we're just dotted I's and crossing T's. Right. And let's admire Debs, because they're very different opportunities as well, Debs, what I hold here and what you have before you. I, now, there are 70 of these. So the, this was inspired by our lovely late Queen's um, three-strand pearl necklace, and they've, they've really tried to emulate the um, clasp as well. When our Queen died, I was really upset, mm. and so do you know what I did? I made a pearl necklace in memory of her and wore it and it comforted me and that, you're probably thinking that is really weird but it just really comforted me no, because you don't think of, you're like you think of our queen you think of pearls yeah and it just comforted me and I wore them for ages and I just you know it was my little tribute you know and this is um they've deliberately sourced the strands and sourced the class so that you can make a very similar necklace to the one that she wore and I think that's absolutely wonderful and now we're seeing, obviously, um, now we're seeing that same necklace literally be worn by the Princess of Wales. Yeah, she looks so um, beautiful in she it. She looks stunning. Mm. And it really does suit them all. Now, it's coming up after the break. So these are, I'm going to say they are actually slightly bigger than the Queen. So I amazing. Would say so. I would. Um, yeah, I've got bigger pearls. But again, without the diamonds, we've got a gemstone encrusted, specially commissioned clasp. And of course, the tutorial from our wonderful Debs coming up in the next hour. Okay, we've got a hundred. Dotted I's, cross T's. Okay. I can't remember the last time I saw pearl nuggets. Can you? No. The lowest price that we have seen of this in entire pearl dreamy selection has been... Yeah. Have we? Did we go to 49.99? Did they? That's the lowest price we've done. Do you want to see on the gold as well? I've got two more price crashes, believe it or not. There's a hundred available. Oh, seven to eight millimeters in the side. Uh, again, look how lovely, look how different they look on different backgrounds. That's the thing. When it comes to pearls, they will complement every single skin tone. The lowest price that we have done of the whole surprise pearl showcase has been 49.99 and I've got two more price crashes. Stock up your stashes. Do you find potato pearls in Ernest Jones for 49.99? No. 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 I don't know. I don't think there's a single jeweler's that you do unless they're faux. First price crash out of two. Are you kidding me? Close this showcase and to lead us into the amazing masterclass. What on earth, Russ? We haven't seen nugget pearls in absolutely ages. Stock up. Are we limited? Can I get can I get whatever quantity I want? 
that we, within 100 quantity. Now, the reason why I ask that is sometimes we say, okay, you know, four for, four per customers yeah. on 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 Jefferson's like this. Then no, there's no cap. There's no cap. If you want to get four, get four like Manchester. If you want to get five, get five. If you want to get ten, get ten. Um, within the quantities um, that we have available, obviously. Sue, Manchester's up their quantity to six. Judith, Janice, Geraldine, Lucy, Virginia. In 15 seconds, we're going to take it to your amazing price point. Jane, Wilch has got two. Paula's got two. Virginia's got two. Lucy's got two. You get the idea. Loads of multiple. As if we're going lower. So, by the way, Pearl Mania, you know, the, the price increase, dramatic price increase of pearls, doesn't exclude potato pearls. And that, that is something for everyone. Not everyone can afford £199 no. or £149 or even £49.99. This is £14.99, which means that everybody who wanted to get pearls today can get pearls. Can get pearls because this is for every budget and this is why I love working here. Yeah. Because I do recognise not everybody can spend, even with split pay, £199 yeah, on a stand of pearls. But £14.99 for real pearls? Well, yeah. I mean, like, we ourselves, we are on budgets too. It's like I've just said, I'd love to be able to get involved along lots of these opportunities today, but I'm going shop. I'm going on a holiday tomorrow. Exactly. So I can't afford that, but I can justify £14.99. If you're making to sell, this is an absolute no-brainer. Because they're still pearls because they're amazing and this is the sort of pearls that you see on your monica venadas and your ashley clarks you know they're all on their stretchy bracelets with yep. the charm yeah 100 pounds you know if you're making to sell then or if you've got a bridal jewelry business if you're going to do some craft fairs these are perfect tiaras as well yeah anything like that. i made my own when i got married i made my own headdress lovely i bought some lace it was a shape of lace i bought it and literally i sewed pearls onto it beautiful and literally i sat there every evening sewing more potato pearls and they're all potato pearls onto this piece of lace beautiful. that i pinned to my hair mm. um do you like that? Yeah, no, and it's also some of those things that I'll give to the girls. Whether they wear it is up to them. Hiya, Jan. One set into a ring uh, would cover the cost um, of at least four strands. Yeah. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Because people have that perceived value of pearls as well. Oh, yeah. Rightfully so. And usually what, what us as makers would charge is much less than they see on the high streets. So they're more than happy to pay that. Yeah. So you, you must never undercharge or they won't believe that it's real. No, well, that's it. That's the thing. You can set your prices too low. If you set, and we've made those mistakes before as well, because it's almost like subconsciously you're like, oh, what's wrong with it? What's wrong? Oh, that yeah, can't, can't be. be real. Do you know what I mean? Um, there's less than 20 of these remaining jewelry makers. Now, pearls do not stop there, jewelry makers. Oh my goodness me, literally in heaven today. <laughs> I, Debs, you have created one of the most beautiful, timeless, classic pieces ever. Um, yeah, some might say we've saved the best till last. I mean, you're, what's better than one strand of amazing pearls? How about three? And a specially commissioned class, um, literally inspired by our late Queen's famous pearl necklace. Um, and of course, you get the instructions from the wonderful teacher that is Debs. Don't go anywhere, jewellery makers. We've got 70 of these available, and I can tell you they're going to an unbelievable price tag too. We'll see you after this. <laughs> Morning all, Alison Terry here. Just giving you a heads up of what's coming up on Saturday. We have got, oh, the most amazing, Jewels of Splendour. They're gorgeous. We've managed to get some more of one of my favorite ever gemstones, Nilmani, um, and they're absolutely stunning. We've got some more of the Panther um, clasp with the pearls. They are gorgeous. So they're coming up in the 9 a.m. And then in the 12 a.m., We've got a most magical, I love, I love malachite, it's special to me. So we've got malachite, um, we've got some black jadeite, and I'm going to be doing something a little bit different with it. So join us on Saturday to find out a bit more. Bye! Hi Jewelry Makers, it's Ellie and I am back with you on Bank Holiday Monday the 26th of August. We have these amazing, beautiful different colored agates in the greens and the reds also in this really beautiful deep blues 
I've had so much fun working with them. They come with some amazing cords as well. I can't wait to share those with you. And uh, that will be at 12 o'clock. And at the 9 a.m. hour, we have got the Czech rondelles along with the beautiful microfaceted beads. I can't wait to see you guys soon. Bye. Good morning everyone, it's Mark here. I'm really excited to be joining you again on Tuesday the 27th of August and I'm here to tell you about my two project hours. Nine o'clock I have been given the most incredible, something I've never worked with before, faceted amber cabochons and in the tutorial that you get free of charge when you buy either of the two kits is how to make this incredible gothic style necklace from start to finish including how to wrap the cabochon. Also had a little play and made this very, very statement cocktail ring too. And also we've managed to find a few strands of what was one of the most popular items we bought to air, the red and the blue amber. So bring in a couple of strands of those to air as well, all in the nine o'clock. So nine o'clock is all about the amber. And then at 12 o'clock, probably my ultimate favorite product since I've been part of the jam family chip and nugget memory wire. We've got five bundles, each with strands of chips and nuggets alongside your bracelet memory wire. Absolutely incredible gemstones. We've got some kunzite, we've got some carnelian, apatite, absolutely beautiful. And the tutorial that you get with these bundles is how to, it's, it's basically, it's a, it's a fresh start and a fresh new look at how to make your memory wire bangles. It's not all about the bangles. I've made this really statement necklace, including some shell pearl and also a bit of rosary linking with this incredible lapis strand. So that's nine o'clock, all about the amber, and 12 o'clock, all about your memory wire and your chips and nuggets. I really hope you can all join us from 8 a.m. Something's just dawned on me whilst I've been admiring Deb's amazing jewellery, but also when I'm thinking about, okay, we've, um, we do incredible prices on the finest grey pearls. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I genuinely, genuinely, hand on heart, do not know anywhere that can bring you the pearls that you get mm -mm. at anywhere near the prices. No. I, hand on heart. Absolutely. And then the trust thing. Yes. Like, I'm there going, mm, I don't know. Well, yeah, again, this is a conversation I had with Becky the other day because she was like asking me about pearls. So she clearly loves pearls. Yeah. And she was like, hang on now, but I don't understand. If you occur in London, it's like £52,000 or something. Mm. How, how do we then do them? I was like, well, first you can buy a pearl for a quid. You can buy a pearl for a million pounds. Um, you can. I was like, there's always different degrees of quality. However, this is where we buck that trend and that statement yeah. is because, you know, we do buy big. So if you put it this way, you could go to a pearl. Not right now you can't because pearls like this. In fact, you know what, Russ, 
You know that video? I can't remember, but you know the one that where um, Dave is talking to that pearl trader and she literally singles out the white ones? Doesn't, aren't they about £8,000 per strand? And she says, like South Sea. Yeah. Now, again, that's at wholesale price. Now, this is how jewellery maker buck that trend. And it's not, it doesn't apply right now to this current day because obviously everything has changed. But previously, we would go, where possible, direct to the pearl harvest. We will say we'll buy that entire pearl harvest. And we will buy it outright. Yeah. So that's how you get your pearls, which are literally, you buy pearls from the same harvest as Cartier. That's mind blowing. The same harvest. That's mind blowing. <laughs> it's just sold differently. That's all. And the reason why I'm wittering on about this because I am wittering. No, you're not wittering. And, and you know, you know, like that that lady was saying, oh, it's uh, you know, like South Sea size. They're big, yeah. yeah. The luster. She talks yeah. about that. She like South Sea shape, lovely. What one strand of rounds? That one right there. I'm sure she said 7,000 wholesale. So times that by four plus that. And the reason why I'm going on about this, Debs, is because that one strand reminds me of that video recording and the price of this kit, I would expect to be more than what you're going to pay. More for just one, that one, mm -hmm. than what you're going to pay for all three. These are this kit blew me away because i knew what was coming because kate told me and i expected maybe three strands of of potato pearls you yeah, know yeah, with a yeah, little yeah. the weight of these strands and i mean look at the necklace how round and you know i hate that word perfect but they are they're, they're perfect you know and you've got three strand connector that is a replica of our late queens and it just i don't know it's just absolutely what a beautiful project to be able to yeah bring. amazing For somebody what a to make what a privilege to be working with pearls of this grade oh and they're they're gorgeous so this is the piece of jewelry that inspired deb's masterclass. yeah so you can see it there on our beautiful late queen oh and you can see it on our future queen so the, and by the way, I can imagine that this is a piece of jewellery that she will wear literally for the rest of her life as well, Princess Catherine. And it will be passed down to yes. Charlotte. Or, and it, when you look at, at this as well, if you look at different pictures of the Queen, she wears different earrings with it as well. Um, so I chose to take a couple off of each strand and make some matching earrings. And there's so many ways. You know, if you are, have been watching and following us and you've never made jewellery before, you can make this. Really? I've written it. Oh, yeah. It's, you, you can knot it, yes. I stranded this on 49 strand beading wire because okay. I like the drape and I like the strength of it. And I wanted to put some crimp covers on um, at the back of the clasp because I, I didn't, I ran out of clots. <laughs> I was in the drawer again, um, looking down at the bottom of the drawer yeah, for the clots. they have gone. Um, so you can either knot it, but obviously you can also just crimp them on. And that is a very, very easy technique and you're gonna get written instructions on how to do that. So if you've never made jewelry before, imagine this being your first piece of jewelry that you made and you show someone go, I made that. Yeah, I made that. And they'll say, are those real pearls? Yeah. Really, they're not plastic pearls? No. Cut, like, Debs? Yeah. I, you, do you know what this is going to? No. Might have helped okay. find Rast. <laughs> Rast? Would you agree the price that we take this project to is unbelievable for Look this strand? Look at that strand. strand on its own. Absolutely unbelievable for that price. But there are only 70. Oh, okay. You don't just get this. You get the, the graduation of your sizes. I'm going to put them all on a white Look piece of paper. Look at the luster. Oh, my goodness me. And there is that clasp inspired by our late queen's favourite pearl necklace. Um, the techniques, even if you are brand new to jewellery making, Debs is saying you can make it. You can, oh, hiccups. You can make it. Do I get the silk as well? You get the silk and you get the clasp. Should now, see the clasp. You've got two metres, I believe, of silk there. So if you wanted to knot every single strand of pearl, you'd probably need to get another strand of silk, I would say. 
um, depending how long you want the necklace to be. If you want choker length, you might get away with wow. it. Wow. Look at those there. Like, if you have a look at those. How pure they are. They're almost so perfect that you wouldn't believe they were real. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, you'd think... And I'm being unfair here, putting them on a white piece of paper. Well, that's true. Because if there were any imperfections, they would literally... You'd show, they'd show. Oh, they'd fly out. So yeah. look at the quality. Um, there's the class, which is a classic box class, which is quite iconic, I think, when it comes to um, yeah. to uh, your pearls, especially our late queen's beautiful pearl necklace. Um, okay, we have 70. Oh, 70, that's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. It is a lot. It's the biggest quantity of the pearl selection that we've done so far. The biggest quantity. You also get Deb's amazing instructions to recreate this classic, iconic, regal piece of jewellery. And we're not bringing it to you in faux pearls, imitation pearls, mm. glass pearls, or even shell pearls. They are genuine cultured pearls. The sizes, which I know it doesn't say on the graphics right now, but the size of your pearls is definitely double digits. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And, you know, if you look at the picture of the Queen, she's wearing them more... Um, space together and of course that's up to you how you want to connect them to your clasp I deliberately spaced them out so that you could see each individual yeah. strand I prefer that um, it becomes yeah. much more of a you know a, a focus I think across the decolletage as well I, that's how I wear them I like to have my top layer quite high and then my bottom layer lower so I wanted full pearl impact yeah <laughs> Go all out with the pearl impact. Go full pearl or go home. <laughs> oh, I love it. And you have the pure white silk that's going to complement that pristine colour. Now, the graphics are live. Even here, jewellery makers, do you think you could go into... We talk about a classic pearl necklace, knotted single strand pearl necklace all the time, don't we? Yeah. Um, if you went to Blue Nile, Blue Nile, another amazing jewellers that you can get um, um, the finest quality gemstones. It's all online, I think. Um, but they do per your classic pearl necklace. Mm. Do you reckon on Blue Nile you can get a triple strand for anywhere near 999? No. No. Not of this quality. No. I mean, look at them. They're, they're incredible. They're absolutely breathtaking. <laughs> yeah, they are. Look at this one here as well. Sorry, I'm just drawing. Look, out, look, out, look, at, look at the luster on this. I hope it comes down the TV screens. Look at that luster. I've got full orient full overtones on these remember luster is the most important of your five virtues how crisp how mirror like is that luster these are epic Debs. they're so epic like when we were looking at the um pearls in the boxes and they were like 299 pounds or whatever they ended up going to i was thinking that that largest actually any of these strands in this project could be in one of those boxes 100 percent yeah, 100%. I don't really know how we've got them of this quality in a project. I mean, I'm, I feel so happy that I got to make with them because I was blown away, really. Let's say this then. What was that price that we saw, saw on Costco? One pearl mm. pendant. Yeah. Was, was it where? 250, wasn't it? 250 pounds. Yeah. 200 pounds. 200 pounds for one Baroque pearl pendant. Okay, it's actually not that bad. It's not where you think to buy luxury gemstones from, <laughs> is it, Costco? No, no. But okay, why not? Look at this. Look at the quality of this one pearl. I'm singling out. Well, any of them. I could single out any, but just because for ease, I've gone to the end of the strand. Now imagine this with a simple bale, like a, Yoko of London, or a starfish, or a starfish. Mm -hmm. Yes, any one of these. Imagine. And now imagine the £200 price tag. Oh, yes. Just one. This is not your price. We have 70 available opportunities. I can't even begin to think, count how many is there in that strand. And Strands. <sighs> Because they're all 38, right? Yeah, yeah, and they are weighty. They, you put them around your neck and you feel like you've kind of gone to a museum and plucked a piece out. Or you've, uh, you've gone to the Tower of London and you've said, can wow. I just borrow a crown jewel? Yeah. You know, just... We're at £100 per strand. 
And I'm going to tell you, Debs, we're nowhere near done. But oh, if really? I'd have brought you that one, any one of them, if I, but the biggest one in particular, if I'd have brought you that one in a box at 299, would have any been been surprised? No. So, okay. So we're not 299. Mm -mm. Okay. Because I'd be thinking, I was thinking that we might be this or 249. Okay. Because it would be like paying for the big strand and getting the clasp in the other two. Because sometimes we do that, don't we? Yeah. And they're specially commissioned clasps as well. The, the, the yeah, clasp special. Is literally, uh, well, Unique. we don't believe you can find it anywhere else anyway. Yeah. Inspired by um, our late queen's beautiful necklace. We have 70. And again, you might think 70 is loads. It's the biggest quantity, certain, certainly, that we've brought you today in pearls. You have, let's just bring you the sizes. A strand of seven to eight mil. Look how beautifully round they are. A strand of nine to 10. And a strand Look. of 11 <laughs> to 12 millimeters. Graduated as well. That's actually the end of the strand. So they're the smaller ones. We're at a hundred pounds each. And we are not done. This is probably, if you're looking for quantity and quality and inspiration, then definitely this is the, yeah, this is a top project. Because normally, normally we don't get that amount of pearls in one project. When was the last time we actually had a project like this, Debs? I've never had a project like this. Not with, I've, I've had one with shell pearls. So I've never had one like this. I thought that potentially I would get three small strands of potato pearls. Well, you said pearls. this morning that it might be shell pearl. It could be shell pearl. I just think that, yes, you know, we put these projects together and say, here's the inspiration. But if you're a pearl lover, if you even take that inspiration aside and look at the three strands that mm -hmm. you're getting, and usually if we put things within a project then we can do something with the price that's how it usually works yeah. isn't it so if it's in a project then the price can go lower i'm not ready I'm I, don't, I, don't, I don't think anyone's fully prepared for this <laughs> you know that we've got we had jan messaging earlier on was that our jan? Guess, that's our oh, jan guest yeah. designer jan who sells her pearl jewelry very successfully this shall we just say is all gravy for jan because we are not stopping at 299 pounds so just before we crash hello michael in cheshire Monica Veneda has a single pearl for 128 on a gold Vermeer I've chain. Seen that. Um, necklace of pearl nuggets and spaces, £295. Jewelry maker pearls are a bargain and more plentiful. And by the way, Monica Veneda pearls aren't actually. I, th th that's quite affordable. She's actually quite competitively priced. They're nothing like this. Nothing like They're this. They're nothing like this. Are you ready? Are you ready, jewelry makers? Is this the price? This this is the price. <gasps> That's why I said you you're buying one strand, whichever one you're looking at, whether it's the whether it's the eight to nine, the smallest pearls at one nine nine is amazing. Let alone what did you say? Twelve to fit twelve to what? Eleven to what size, Russ? Seven to eight. 9 to 10, 11 to 12. They're enormous. They're huge. That's what I mean. I think you've bought one strand. If I was to present this in that amazing showcase, just one on its own for 199, how incredible is that? And you're getting the other ones and the clasp for free. I've got 70. And the silk. And the, and the, and the know-how. Loads of you have in your basket. Well done, Wilma. Well done, you, Cheshire. Well done, you, Janice. Well done, you, Lorna. Well done, you, Catherine. Well done, you, Andrew. Getting two. You've got six amazing pearl strands coming to you, Andrew. Uh, Valerie and Suzanne. Um, already approaching twenty percent of the stock actually being allocated jewelry makers. So, um, Pat and West Midlands wants three. You can get it home for forty nine seventy five. I can't. I think that that. Sorry, I've gone speechless. Um, I think that price for one strand, and mm -hmm. I tell you why I say that. I know we do get pearls that are forty nine ninety nine, and they're beautiful, but they're not the quality of the two hundred ninety nine pounds. Nope. Obviously, yep. When I got these and first looked at them, I thought, "Are oh, they shell?" Because of the quality, and yeah. then of course, when I felt the weight, I knew they weren't. They're so round. So, like, if I told you that this was a two nine nine strand, would anyone be surprised? No, if you were there in that showcase with no. that in a box. No. So I don't know how we can do this for 
this quality, the luster. Yeah. The, 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 everything, all the five virtues in this, you've got in every single strand. Absolutely. Which kind of blows my mind. <laughs> yeah, and you've got the knowledge. So if I said this, 299, but we've only got three. Nobody would be surprised. No, they wouldn't. You get this, and you get the two other strands, and you get the specially commissioned clasp, and you get the silk, and you get Deb's amazing knowledge on how to create this beautiful piece. We had 70, though, jewellery makers, and they are flying. Um, fast approaching half the stock being allocated. So make sure you're checking out. And as always, if you have any questions for our lovely Debs, do text in. Debs, obviously, you get the instructions with this. What yeah. are you going to show us? So within your instructions, I've told you how I've strung these. And I've actually done them on a 49-strand um, beading wire or tiger tail if you like um, because it's got a beautiful drape and really great strength to it and these pearls are a really good weight mm. now of course you could knot them as well if you want to you do get a silk included in with your project it's a lovely silk but too. you would need probably another one or another two if you were gonna if you were gonna knot all of them now the instructions that I've included, and obviously I only got one of this kit. Sorry, Deb, on that, you can get silk on, on, on its own though, can't you? Oh yeah, you I it think it's its about £1.70 yeah. or something. Um, you can get it on our website. Um, so you can knot it if you want to, but you can also crimp it if you want to. So it's, you know, it's up to you, it's how you want to do it. If you're a beginner maker, you're probably going to want to crimp it. And I have referred to knotting in here, and there were so many tutorials on knotting, all different ways that um, I haven't done it that way, I've done it another way. So, But I have done pictures for you, um, how to set it out and everything in there. So that's there for you. Now, because of um, how amazing this project is, I only got one so that there's an extra one for you guys. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to make some matching earrings, because you know, I always do this when I have a really lovely string of pearls. I always take the two off the end to make earrings. And I had some beautiful little uh, black faceted spinel that I had some left of. So the earrings are actually oh. over there next to, the, yeah, those ones. So I thought I'd show oh, you how to make lovely. some earrings, and then it's very straightforward to make the necklace. It's just crimping or knotting. There's there's no advanced techniques involved in that whatsoever. Okay. And do you know what they remind me of? A little um, passion flower. Oh yeah. Because they've got quite large central. And I just thought when I looked at the queen's earrings, she tended to have like a. a a stud which was a little bit decorative and then she'd have the drop so that one she's just got like a plain diamond at the top but sometimes she had like little decorative studs and I thought well let's do let's do some um earrings that we might like to wear amazing so I've actually this isn't from the, those pearl strands because I use them all but imagine we've taken one off of maybe the larger and then one off maybe the medium or the small so I just used for this um wildfire or fireline thread this is a six pound you could use a four pound size 10 beading needle or a size 12 beading needle and i'm using black so that you can see what i'm doing so you need to go through your pearl mm -hmm. and it's just going to be a bit like um, a halo technique so i'm going through my pearl and i'm not going to knot anything i'm just going to leave a little tail at the end there so that I can knot it into place a little bit later and then I'm going to take so anything will work here you can use seed beads if you want but pearls of this caliber I think it's lovely to have a, a genuine gemstone going around it so imagine you know we've done lovely black diamonds before that you could yeah, use or exactly. you know anything so these are um, black spinels so I've taken four of those on my needle and I'm going to halo so I'm going to take them around the top and I'm going to take my needle back in the other way so i'm going to need to turn it to face me because i'm in an awkward position here so i take my needle back through now if at any point you think oh, i'm struggling to get my needle through don't worry about that because you can go down a size of a needle um, but i found that these drill holes were really okay so when you pull it in <laughs> you get that really satisfying moment where they all kind of lock into place there so you've done sort of half a halo and then i'm going to do the same again on the other side so I'm going to take four now of course if you weren't doing the Queen's um, necklace if you're thinking of it as just a, a project of components then you could add this to your length of 
pearl beads and actually make it into a feature which I think would be really pretty you could do maybe one or a line of them now you'll find that when you first do it they're a little bit floppy so we're going to do multiple passes through these beads to straighten them out and to add um, some nice structure to it so it sits like a flower so once you're there you'll find that these obviously aren't really behaving themselves but they will do in a moment so what I'm going to do is go back through the first four beads again now the reason I'm not putting the extra beads on now is because they won't sit in a complete circle if I do that come here let me just pull that down so if you do find that your um, thread gets a little bit oh, what's happened here I've got a knot let me just give it a pull what's happened there oh there we go so you go through Ugh. This is what happens when you've been up since half three in the morning. <laughs> but again. also, it's not a bad thing, Debs, because it happens <laughs> to even to the most talented. Right, so I'm going to go through there and pull it through again. There we go. And so what you do is, so I've completely messed that up, but don't worry about it. So imagine we've still got a four on the other side. Yeah. And so instead of actually coming through the hole and adding the two, you go through... You add your two and then you go through again. So I'm going to add the four again. So just bear with me while I do that again because I got on a little knot. I could have had a knot in my thread because I've had it in um, in a little bag rather than taking it off. In the transit. Spool. In transit, as we do. So there we are. And then what you're going to do is just needle through those again and then add your two. So obviously I've lost my end, so this may come apart. Where's my end gone? So I'm going to go through these again. I'm going to keep my finger on it. And if you keep your finger on um, while you're working, then you can kind of get through it a little easier. And then through the two again. So it's really, it's just a halo effect that you're doing through your beads so you've got two there and then instead of sort of coming up through the middle I add the two now so that it, they sit in a circle and don't worry if you've got a bit more room here you'll also be neater um, because it will all pull in and the more passes that you go through with that the more it will structure out so when you first start you'll find that you're all floppy but as you go round you'll find that it'll sit into place can you grab me the earrings that I finished sure sorry I could have helped you out a bit there that's Deb. all right sorry, thank lovely. you so let me show you on the finished one where the thread's not broken so as you saw when they were first um really kind of flopping about when I first did it because I just had one pass of thread going through there but I've gone through a couple of times and now they're kind of sitting like a flower, you know, where they should be. So that when I wear them, they're not going to droop to the side. And I'm just going to explain the rest and fiddle about with that cord. So then what I did, I came out of the bottom and went through my pearl, added on a stopper bead. And then, of course, you don't come back through your stopper bead. You just come back through your pearl. So now your pearl's attached. And then you just need to go up through your pearl. And I added a wire guardian because if you have a look, these sort of gemstones can cut through your thread. That might be what happened just now for me. So you've got to be careful when you're um, stringing them. So if you just relied on your thread at the top there to go through your shepherd hook, then you would, would have the risk of, of that fraying and you losing your earring. So if you pop on a wire guardian or a wire protector, whatever you want to call them at the top, and then I just brought my thread all the way back through and tied half hitch knots to make the earring. Can I borrow, if we got the connector on the table? Yeah, or Can I borrow the go. connector? Thank you. Um, so on the actual instructions- well, It's a box clasp, isn't it? It is a box clasp. So if I show you how it works, if you just squish down and open, it opens oh, like that. that. So what you've got is your three, and they look soldered to me, jump rings on one side, and then you've got your three connection points on the other. So you could use your callots um, if you're knotting. So that would be a nice, because it's quite nice to have those um, beads you know right next to it to give you that that nice finish so I just used 
crimp beads and a crimp cover so I use some tiger tail beading thread if you're going to use beading thread I would advise that you don't use like just regular seven strand tiger tail you know th this project deserves something luxurious so get something like a 19 strand or a 49 strand it just makes sure that you've got that breaking strength because they're quite weighty pearls and they also the drape is beautiful yeah. if you are knotting with your silk then you're going to be able to knot straight onto these loops but once again I would probably use some French wire or a wire guardian through this class. But when we were talking about making this kit, um, they were saying how they'd worked really hard to make a replica of our late Queen's class. So presumably she would have diamonds in there. What are these? Does it say what the what? Uh, topaz? Topaz, yeah, my so favorite. it's still a beautiful, genuine gemstone. So you're going to get all of these beautiful sparkle so it, you know who who doesn't know that that's not diamonds <laughs> and no, all you of can't the look tell the difference at that size you can't tell the difference at that size and if you have a look at my instructions oh, look at those. I show you as well how to um, space it out on your bead board so that you get that different ways of getting that drape that you mm. want so we were talking about at the beginning how you can um, have a larger space between your strands or the queens was more sort of together yeah but make sure that you hold it up to a bust before you finish knotting or finish crimping to that clasp because it's always different held up on a bust than it is flat down okay. on the surface why is that it's because it's spread out here and you've got no weight so when you lift it up for gravity yeah. you can have bits falling into other bits that you didn't anticipate when you okay. were flat flat on your bench so you need to once you finish just knotting your strands and you're getting to that final point where you're going to knot them up to your clasp maybe just hold them up onto that bust and make sure that you've got that equal measurement that you want between your pieces and it's it's literally as simple as that to make the necklace and then you can make the um, earrings by, you know, I made a hash of that because the, the uh, thread broke, but it's just haloing your gem and then putting one of the Lovely. bigger gems underneath, which you could also do with a jump ring if you wanted to and, yeah. um, and a head pin, but you get the idea. Debs, I, I literally, here's another, here's another way, I, whilst you were demoing, I was looking at this going, <laughs> do you reckon you'd buy, find that anywhere for 200 pounds anywhere else? Would you even find that? Well, let's talk about Chanel. Mm -hmm. To my knowledge, they don't use real pearls. No, they use plastic pearls. Right, plastic pearls. A uh, um, necklace like that with you know this, the Chanel logo is thousands. Yeah, yeah. Even well, secondhand you saw, ones. You saw um, Rihanna earlier on in those photographs. I don't know if we can still grab that. You know the one where she's literally oh, yeah. decked out is in all Chanel? the pearls. They're Chanel. She's at, if you look, there's a Chanel, she's stood right in front of Chanel. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Adam. <laughs> sorry, Adam. He's going through many, many photos. Yeah, literally, she's literally on the catwalk for Chanel. And also, you can notice just oh, about asymmetrically, there's a Chanel logo. Plus, Chanel do that flower, too. So, that's a beautiful necklace. It's lovely, but they're faux. But they're the, faux pearls. They're not real. And I'm like, but why are they so expensive? But I suppose as a jewelry maker, I don't understand that. But what you're looking at here. I'll tell you why real. they're so expensive. Why? Because it's Chanel. <laughs> Chanel will probably, well, have you seen how much their, their perfume is? Oh, that's very Everything true. Everything from Chanel is very that's, expensive. That's very true. I just, I think that to be able to get these three strands to replicate that design's beautiful, but also on their own, they really, they really stand out, don't they? Oh, amazing. We have literally a limited quantity of these left now, jewelry makers. Again, you get all three strands. These are 11 to 12. I think they're actually more than that, personally. They're sizable. I think. They are sizable. Um, so you've got 11 to 12 millimetres. You've then got, I think it was 9 to 10 and 8 to 9, I think. 7 to 8, beg your pardon. So eight, 7 to 8, 8 to 10, 10 to 12. Um, and you get that beautiful sterling silver class. You get Deb's amazing instructions. We've just, what an amazing show today has been. I know all the all the um, gorgeous items that we've. Can I just say that my instructions are much better than my demo. <laughs> Don't, don't beat yourself up. It happens to the best of us. I know, but it doesn't usually happen to me, but it just did. So there you go. Oh, she's the pro. She's a complete pro. But then 
the show must go on so yeah uh, no but it's good but it shows it happens to everyone of course as it well, does like, you know can what space can't you no big what, arno, yeah, that i can't do to, that that wouldn't happen to our debs of course it does all the time but you know, you just carry on, and usually I'd have another ten minutes and go. I just do that, and but I don't. Time is not on my yeah, side. Yeah, live TV um, always adds a bit of pressure to it as well. Um, again, jewelry makers, make sure you're checking out. We had seventy of these. That's an unbelievable. Look, just do the maths. Seventy divided by let's say four, mm -hmm. and I, I, I won't include the silk. Okay. Okay. But let's talk about three strands of beautiful pearls. Mm -hmm. That one topaz encrusted. Oh yeah, I love. Oh, have I got still got that? clasp. Oh yeah, I've nicked it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so four components. Let's do that. Fifty pounds each. Oh, You're that's not amazing. It is amazing. You're not finding pearls like that. Um, um, at fifty pounds elsewhere. Coming up on tomorrow's show as well, you're going to be joined by the lovely Carol. So nine two five sterling silver cord ends. Oh, that's exciting. I haven't seen yeah. them in a while. No, have I? Um, then at nine o'clock, you've got Jade Blossom with Susie. Um, at 10 o'clock, you have Natural Purple Edison Brock Pearls. That's <gasps> an exciting deal of the day. Um, and I'm guessing there's going to be lots of people who have watched today who will be interested in those. Um, at 11 o'clock, you've got Last of Stock Cotan Opportunity. To be honest, all Cotan in the um, in the world is Last of Stock, really, because it's now illegal to mine. True. Um, at 12 o'clock, then you've got Purple Pearls with Susie, too. Um, so that's going to be an amazing... What day is it tomorrow? Saturday? What day is it? Friday. 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 Um, she's tomorrow. made some amazing jewellery. Go and look at her jewellery. It's beautiful. Is it? Oh, she's made this bracelet and I just... It's beautiful. Wow. Well, make sure you watch that. It's going to be a fabulous, fabulous show. Um, have we got these? Have you seen these? No. It's the last auction of the day. Now, I'll be honest. When we these turned up, Mark and I were like, what do you do with them? No, but what is it? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what we were like what do you do with them what is that so mark i can't take any credit for this okay. so where i hold it there we go so mark figured this out okay so basically imagine your necklace yeah yeah you haven't got any clots you say no um. okay no problem so imagine you do your usual tiger tail whatever it is yeah, you're yeah. working with or silk whatever you bead in one direction, you've got your tiger tail, whatever beading thread going through here. Mm. You literally then push it back through there. So like a crimp, and instead of having to squash your crimp, you push that down. <gasps> Who invented this? Exactly. I need this, what's it called? Exactly. Do you want me to show it? Yeah, what's it called? Can I borrow your pliers? They're called crimp ends. <gasps> I need these. You do have to give it quite a bit of force. Is there a groove for the thread to go in? I can't so, yeah, yeah. If I hold it that way, can you see there's a hole? Let's have a look. Oh, can yeah, 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 yeah. So your thread goes through one end. You do it like you would normally do with a crimp. Yeah. Yeah. Now, and again, let me just... No, once you've done it, you can't undo it. Good oh. question, Ads. That's amazing. You could use that on these. Um, with Can this I bring kit. it up closer to me a second? So then you basically. I, see. I don't want to. You squish it, do you? I did it with the tweezers last time. So first price crash. You do have to give it quite a bit of force. Have I done that completely in? I think so. A box crimp. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I like that. There you go. How good's that? Oh, I've never seen those before. Are they genius? That is very genius. You get two as well. Minute clock, we go again. Well, like literally, we had to figure these out. We were like, what do you do with them? I don't understand. And then Mark discovered that, yeah, it's basically called a box group. You push that little bit. That's what we yeah. couldn't figure out. Because originally we were like, oh, is it something maybe like a guru? Oh, yeah. But no. Mm -hmm. So you push the button basically in and that's what crimps it. Oh, right. Well, if Mark can't figure it out, no one can. Well, he did. And he's clever. Well, you know, he's very good, isn't he? Let's yeah. face it. He's good at these sorts of things. He's a very clever guy. So, yeah. Well done, Mark. Because I'd have been absolutely not knowing what they did. I'd have been stumped, yeah. yeah. Oh, there's no way. I'd have gone, oh, they're nice. They're decorative. Amazing. So let me hold up the one that's not squashed. You do need to give it quite a bit of um, force. Yeah. Um, but it's a pretty such too. A clever invention. Pretty too. It's our finale auction of the day, Deb. Do you get two? You get two. Oh, yes. 
such a genius invention. So I remember us actually saying about Y Guardians, wish I invented them. Magnetic class, I wish I invented them. These are the latest, aren't they? Ooh, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna get some of these and try them. Cause I, I have a bit of a love hate with crimps, if I'm Do honest, you? yeah. Think these are gonna change your life. Pac-Men go flying and then... <laughs> So, yeah, I can't. It's a do, bit like my last I can demo. Do the crimps. I just can't do the crimp covers. Yeah, I, I just can't. Send a, uh, yeah. So can you see? This is where you thread through, like you would do. So, so imagine I'm holding a crimp. Yeah, a yep. usual generic crimp. So you thread through here. You loop it round 360, back through. Very clever. Push the button. Push the little button. And there it is, your crimp. Magic! Loving those. So clever. They're so pretty clever. too, not just functional, but pretty. Look at the little design. Yeah, way more decorative than a crimp and a crimp cover. Yeah, I, I might be addicted to these, I think. Yeah. People getting threes going, yeah, genius! They are genius, they're a really clever idea. Well, they put the bottom in and then basically, that's it. It's secure, nice and like secure. It. It's all beautifully decorative. Uh, 7 99 how many do we have, Ross? 100 available, but they're flying, yeah. Absolutely flying. Well done, everybody. Now, if you do want to still get hold of Deb's amazing project, you can do, but it is getting limited. Ooh. Look at that, the end result. Beautiful jewellery. Um, make sure you're checking out. So if you are, um, oh, sorry, that's for the previous auction. So um, yeah, if you've got any basket, make sure you are checking out. When are you back, Deb? Sunday. Sunday. And I've got conch in kits. Oh. And panther in kits. One in two million. But I won't be here because I'm going with Elle to see the turtles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, we joke. We joke. It very nearly happened, actually. Because, like, I, if Tom didn't get a fit to fly, I was like, you, you better believe I'm going anyway. <laughs> I'll just be taking Debs with me. Um, oh, I'll see you in a couple of weeks, jewelry makers. Well done to each and every single one of you today. Thank you, Debs. You're welcome. I'll see you Sunday. We love you lots. Have oh, a lovely love day. Bye. Thank you.